Ooh. I like that. Look at that kind of like low poly environment, man. I'm a tiny fox. Oh, sweet. You can like roll. Got a little bit of like... Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Souls roll, dude. We're doing it. I like that. I like the little tiny things. Like, look, he looks stressed out when you run out of energy. Look at that. See? He's got the little stress out marks. That's cool. I dig that. Nice little touches in the physics, too. Hi, YouTube. Yeah, it's true. Oh, you can left click. Look at this. So you can change so that he only faces in one direction. When you do that, it puts on the borders. This looks really nice, dude. Some kind of an inventory, and it looks like there's a bunch of runes there. I wonder if that's dis decipherable in any way. Hmm. I don't seem to have a weapon. Yeah, I hope I enjoy it too, dude. It looks good so far. Alright. My shirt design is transparent. You're right. Look at it. Oh god. I'm dropping the... Mm. It's it's my alien shirt. It's al it says alien, I want to leave. <laughs> and it's got people going up into a spaceship. It's great. I got a stick. This clearly says stick. Abs definitely. Zultraylord is a meme. All right. Take that, Zultraylord. It's true. Yes, I'm once again retaliating against you for insulting my honor. Ha ha ha. That's 100% true. Zultraylord is in fact a meme. So I got a stick now. I can hit stuff. Alright. So you target using this. Nice! It's got like combos. Look at this. One, two, three, four, I declare war. <laughs> B does everything. Thank you for the hundred bits. That's actually really interesting. I dig that. I like the combo system. I like that you can target an enemy. That feels good. Hmm. Hero's Grave. So we can't get in there just yet. Wait a minute. Can I get over there? Can I go through these? Let me in! Let me in! I want to get the tuning fork and that chest over there. Oh, okay, so now we got a dude that doesn't get knocked back. These ones get, like, stunned when you hit them. That other one did not. Zultraylord has not responded to my challenge, the coward. <laughs> maybe he's not here, dude. Maybe you're just making, maybe you're just bullying him. Yeah, dude, this is actually a really, really good aesthetic. I like the aesthetic for the environment. That was cool. Whoa. So they have a full directional lighting system for when you rest. Look at this. It actually is like moving the light for a full day-night cycle to show that you rested and it brought my health back. I like that a lot, dude. What is this? What's that? I got some kind of a key. Implying you don't bully Zool Trailord as a national pastime. To be honest with you, bullying Zultralord is definitely a national pastime. There's a strange man down there, but I can't get over there because these bushes are in the way. I need to find a way to get in to that door, but I have that key now, so maybe that's the way in. Let's go back down. Dodged it. Once you, like, learn their habits... It's pretty easy to dodge them, too. It feels good. Like, it feels responsive.
Let me in. Yeah, use that key. Sick. It's a tiny Dorito. Give it to me. Whoa. Beginning your adventure. In a far off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it is the power to defy death. Ringing the East Bell, East Forest, Hero's Grave, Guard Captain, Ringing the West Bell, Old House, Flooded Well, Dark Tomb, West Garden, Question Marks. I love this, dude. Oh, this is so nice feeling. It's like a page out of like a like a D and D book, man. This looks great. And you could flip it. Look at that. Oh, it's so nice feeling. Health, stamina, and magic. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. So when I'm low on stamina, he'll actually take damage, like extra damage. Zultre Lord is the community bullying target. It's true. Prove me wrong. You're not wrong. There's no sword. Where's that sword? Someone has stolen it. I was gonna steal that. What is this? Ah, very good. <laughs> Super readable. I love breaking pottery. Nice. A large rupee, I see. What is this? To the East Forest. And I still don't have a sword. I've got a stick. East Bell Tower, alright. No, you don't. Another Dorito. Give. Oh, that's really nice, dude. Look at this. They have page numbers and everything. I didn't even realize that the last time. 11 and then 12. It's actually building a book. Oh, that's really cool. That's really nice, dude. I think Doritos have three edges instead of four. You can't stop me from calling it a Dorito. There's nothing you can do about it. That's right. If I want to have square Doritos from a different dimension, I'm allowed to have those. What are you going to do about it, nerd? Nothing. Nothing. What is that down there? There's dudes over there. I kind of want to go upwards first. There's definitely like a route downwards, but I'm going to go upwards first because this is, it, it was like a bell tower or something. Leads me to believe we should go up. Well, I may have been wrong. <laughs> stick is mighty, and let's be honest, what is sword other than sharp stick? True. That's true. Thank you for the hundred bits. Agreeing with Zul Lord. What is the universe coming to? Also, this game is beautiful and is inspiring me. It's Especially really nice. Especially the way the character Ooh. is modeled. I really like the way the character is modeled. If we actually look at, like, kind of all the environment, it's very low poly, but it's really nice. Like, really polished. It all fits together very well. And with the lighting, the way that the lighting is like this, it looks incredibly good. It's one of those things of, like, low poly but high texture quality and, like, high lighting quality. It's just nice, you know? It's just really nice. Okay, those shoot. Don't like that. This is bad. They're made out of glass. Okay. I wonder what I'm going to be able to use all these orange bits for. Taking a lot of hits. I gotta learn how to fight those better. Oh dear god. A 
There's so many of them. Okay, that looks like it's up top, so that's not going to get me just yet. So I have to do three hits on that or two hits on it and then dash, dash away. Or I'm going to get killed. Oh, god damn. Nope. I'm very low on health. I gotta get out of here. Interesting. So I have a refillable health potion now. So refillable health potion. It's still on my bar on the top right, but I used it already. So I wonder if when I sleep that'll come back. Yeah, I dig that. Can't go down that way. That's a nice find, though. That'll be useful for later. Wonder if enemies respawn when I sleep for the night. There is grave, still this direction. Hey, there we go. Got my potion back, too. Look at that. Yeah, so far I really like this, man. I love the environments. I love this very, very much. Like, this is super nice. Stability. Face your adversaries. So, right trigger is actually block, which I didn't know, but I don't have a shield, so maybe I can't do that yet. You have an invulnerability frame. Look at that. So when you have dust during the dodge, that's invulnerability. The dust is. That's a really nice effect. Usually invulnerability frames aren't described to the player. Like the iframes, they're usually not in any like tangible way. It's really a good way to do that, to show the dust behind that. That's awesome, actually. I really like that. What are these guys? What are these ne'er-do-wells up here? Oh, this is bad. Whoa! Those dudes are kind of badass. I don't know how I'd feel about that just yet. I feel like I need a shield. We're gonna go inside this first. Wait. Maybe up here. Here's Gravers to the right. Is there something back here? Oh. Well, he's large. Hello. Oh, I dodged and he... He dodged with me. God damn. That thing hits, dude. Holy crap. Yeah, I can't block. There's no blocking just yet. There we go. Yeah, they actually hit like an absolute truck. I don't know the timing of the big ones yet. Much easier. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 <laughs> I'm so low on health, dude. Hey, what's this? All right. Oh, that's nice. Look at that little puzzle. I dig that. Yeah, it's nice and soothing in the environment, huh? Like, the music is really nice. The lighting is really... The horrifying pig man is pretty nice, right? Wait a minute! Come up here. Just... Oh!
Got him. I was going to get him to open it, but I couldn't get the angle right. Yeah, he can cut down the bushes. I was like, hold on. Yes. 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 I love destroying. This is so much better. Yeah, now I can do it myself. I got the sword, dude. Hell yeah. What is this? Gold. Yeah, destruction, dude. That's the way. I actually really, really like this environment. It's very cool. The light through the, like, from the top like that, the fact that it casts onto the character this way, is just very pretty. It's really, really nice. Surprising, too, honestly. It's surprising, like, how simple of an effect that is, really, and how just really nice that is, too. Like, it looks very nice. Where can we get the game? On Steam. You can get it on Steam. It's called Tunic. I also really like that when you chop down one of these bushes, watch this, they shrink. They don't just disappear, they actually shrink out of existence. It's just cleaner, smoother. Oh wait, I should probably sleep first, because I'm out of health. Did the fox look at the chest when you're far away? Oh yeah, they, he does, look at that. That's such a nice touch. Like, that's a really nice touch, actually. So he notices the nearby consumable stuff. What is this? The hell did I just pick up? Some kind of a radish? Okay. I guess I could... Maybe I could eat it? Maybe it's like a health thing? I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Oh, God, that hurts. This sword does dramatically more damage. Like, look at that. That is outrageously stronger. That enemy over there has a shield, though. We're, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I like that you can sneak up on enemies as well. That feels very good. The sword is also doing a little bit of, like, stun on him, or kind of like a stagger. That's new as well. Uh. Yeah, the knockback's pretty high. Another one of these little flip-ups. I like those. The design on that is very nice as well. You see that? Like, turns into a gear and then pushes it all the way down. Like, the mechanism makes physical sense. It's quite nice. When it flips up like that, you can actually see the little gear turn with it. Oh, that's cool. Are you guys trying to engage with Zoltra Lord and Jet? Oh, you fool. Do you actually think? Yeah, look, he's collecting vitamins. You see what happened there? You listen to him. What is this? Oh, shit. Whoa! Okay, no more enemy. No more ad. Ow. Oh boy.
I had to eat the the radish or whatever that was. Got him. <sighs> well, that was nasty. But he's dead now. I didn't I wasn't ready for that. I thought it was gonna be like a little cinematic thing. But no, he was just like it was like cinematic, and he's running at me and attacking. And I was like, oh, well then. Oh? Free stuff? Another potion bottle. We love another potion bottle. That's pretty nice. And I got two of those. I already feel like way stronger now as a result of this. I didn't even go down the bottom route. Hmm. Yeah, the lighting is amazing. The lighting really, really makes it, man. So we got barrels now. A little bit tougher. I still don't have a shield, by the way. <laughs> oh. Well, either this is very radioactive, or this is good. I'm not sure which. There's a chest over there. Rope. Yeah! We did it. Alright, I'm gonna go back, now that I've done whatever that is. Nothing giving off that much light is good for you, by the way. I rang that bell tower. Now remember, we had in the book, in the little book that we got, the pages, we had a whole bunch of different bell towers that were listed there, so that's just one of them. It is beautiful. Yeah, the effect is really nice. Really, really nice. Fox radiation did is true. It's happening. Might just be layered panning textures. Could be. But it's definitely like a noise channel. It's just nice. It's just a nice feeling. Oh, that feels good. I like that. Oh, I can one-shot these now. Hell yeah. That means that the sword is about three times as strong as the stick. Hey, Emerald Knight. Thank you for the prime sub, dude. Deleted. What's the light up there? Up where? Like up top? I don't know. Oh, that one. That comes through the door. We went through that door before. So now that we've rang that bell, and we have a sword, I should probably start searching to see if I can find a way to get a shield. Because I don't have one yet. And now I can recharge these two potions. But I don't get back the radish, so that is unfortunate. It sucks. That's nice. That right there is really, really nice. Interesting? Huh. How do we get down there? Vistas like that feel very good. Yeah, it's just vibing there, dude. It's down there. That vista actually led to kind of like showing off this secret. It's not a secret. It's just an environment. There's a hook here. What is that? Is that a big spider? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Holy. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what? Fox ghost, fox ghost. Well, that's it. That's the game. Uh... 
Hey, Death, can I, like, get a redo? You're like Death, right? Or God, or... Whatever you are. Huh? Hey, redo. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Giant spiders are horrifying, is what we've learned. Giant spiders are very strong. Mmm. A bomb. Two bombs, even. Alright. I wonder if there's breakable walls. Yeah, note to self, spider's bad, dude. That was outrageous, honestly. You see this? There's like a little bit of light right there. Maybe that's a breakable wall. Maybe not? I don't know. No, there's- it's on the floor here, too. Look at this. It's almost like a circuitry. Look at that. It's very weird. Oh? Hey! Some kind of mana potion, maybe? I don't have magic yet, so I have no idea. It looks like that is consumable, though, so they don't regenerate. There's that fox that we saw in the afterlife. Must be some kind of god. Is this like a giant tuning fork? Does it have a base because I did one of the tuning forks so far? Hmm. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no. Oh no, it's here. Wait, what is that? I picked up my own soul. Okay. Spider's bad. And you stay the hell away from the spiders. Okay, so I guess you can go pick up your own soul and get your gold back? That's cool. Neat. I dig it. Can you upgrade yourself with these souls? I don't know. It's just a well? Okay. I'm going to try to go back sort of the way that we came because there was other stuff that we couldn't get to because there was plants in the way. And I don't think I'm strong enough to fight... Oh, wait a minute. We can't go back up. The only way is forward through the... Through the spiders, maybe. Or maybe up into the left. I don't know yet. Hmm. The difficulty curve with those spiders is quite high. Which leads me to believe that maybe I'm missing something? These are way easier to kill now, though. And we could definitely farm gold, too. Although, there's no use for it quite yet. What is this? Hero's Grave. We already did Hero's Grave. Let's go this way. Because we've done all of this. That was creating the ladder. That ladder right there is what we made this last time. But why? Is that a chest over there? It is. There was a chest just off screen. That's funny. So what's the point of this ladder? Because it's like a shortcut back to an area that you'll never really need to go to again? So I'm kind of wondering now. There's got to be a reason to backtrack in this. 
Has to be a reason. Maybe not. Maybe I just need to go forward through the spiders, man. How have I been? Pretty good, man. How you been? Let's go over there. And I also have these bombs now. We've no use for them just yet. Good day, Mr. Software. It is I, Mr. Software. No, Mr. Software is my dad. It's true. Weird, man. Alright, clearly it wanted me to go this direction. And that does get us back before the ladder. How is the new PC handling this game? Awesome. Where is CPU at? 10%. <laughs> and that's with me not only streaming with OBS, but also recording with OBS at the same time. This is where we wanted to get back to. See, now we have all these other options out here. Yeah. Wait, there's one of the pages. I need it. And thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. It's very nice of you. What's this one? Okay. So we're all the way... We're all the way over here. Right now. We went to the east forest. But we didn't go to the lower forest because it was too hard. There's a sealed temple up top. An old house. Yeah, we have a lot more access to new areas now. It wants to protect something, but what? Circle around and use the shield. Slorm. A type of slime who just wants to be close to you. Stun it by blocking. We need to get... Okay, so under the well has these new types of enemies, but we don't have a shield. So going under the well probably wouldn't be a good idea just yet. Those ones were slightly stronger. Interesting. wonder why. Maybe it's because I had too low stamina. You're not in the West Garden, though? I think I am in the West Garden. But the East Garden was the place that we just came from, and that's where we got the sword. Now that we have the sword, we can start using it to do other stuff, right? Going to different areas and doing different things. Yeah, we are doing really well. At least I am, you know. This game is a blast so far. It's really nice. I just love the environment. What? Did I just die? <laughs> Did I just look at it and it killed me, dude? Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. No, it's different. No, it's different now. One of the tuning forks, now the other one. Goodbye, I guess. Oh, it's the giant fox again. Wait, whoa, whoa. No, something's wrong. She's dead. It's probably not good when death is dead. You know what I mean? Oh? Or imprisoned. Something about that is deeply horrifying. It would seem, Thor, that are wrong once again. This PC is simply overkill. PC building company was right to downgrade specs. 10% CPU is ridiculous. 10% CPU is awesome, dude. It's great. It's super nice. I love this machine. Oh, 
Huh. The hell did I just watch? So, what it seems like... ...is... ...this fox spirit, whatever this is, used to be a god of some kind. We've seen the statues all over the place. And it's been imprisoned... ...by whatever's going on in here. And what we need to do is start ringing, ringing the tuning forks to break the three different seals to release her. And since we're her champion, as it seems... She is bringing us back to life every time that we die. Although, dying is probably not the best option, so I'm gonna try not to, you know. Another page! Moment of safety, stability, damage taken 100%. Vulnerable, 150% damage taken. Interesting. Sword, keys... Okay, let's see. Oh, the bottle isn't a magic potion. It's a frost bomb. Okay. So I thought that was going to be like mana or something. That's actually a... It's a bomb. It's a frost bomb. Effigy, lure, golden coins, and the normal bombs. We have that's a fire bomb. Interesting. All right. There's magic items too. Can't wait for that. Got him. Whoa! Okay, that guy's way, way different. Alright. Wait, he hit the enemy? Alright. Interesting. Those ones don't get stunned the same way either. Friendly fire. Okay. I like that. Friendly fire is quite cool. Get the enemies to kill each other, dude. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Tiny tuning fork. Why don't you work? What about this one? There's nothing here. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was the enemy from the book. We definitely don't want to mess with that because I don't have a shield yet. That was good. Got him. Got him. Give me your shield. Give me your shield! Nope. Alright, so... I definitely can't fight the little robot things. What is this? Yoink. I'll just rob this guy, it's fine. Little flower thing? Explosive bombs? What's a little robbery, right? You know, it's fine, don't worry about it. How would we get on that? This is obviously a door of some kind. Ooh, that's a big dude down there. Ow. Screwed that up a little bit. If I can get the jump on the shield guys, they just die. But there's a really big guy down there, and I don't really want to mess with him. Oh crap. It's a tiny fox. Thank you for sharing your knowledge equals. Man with Linux, 
absolutely. Anytime you want to ask anything, man. I'm always down to talk about stuff. The, the hard part is getting me to shut up. That's the big issue. You can't see me. I'm in a bush. I'm in a bush and I want to pick up that key. That's not really what I thought that was going to do. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a little... <laughs> I thought I was going to like put it on the ground and the guy would be like, That's a fox, I'm going to go attack him. But no, it's, it's a little piggy bank, apparently. Alright. Eat a bomb, nerd. Yeah. Yeah, get bombed on. You're on fire. Man, that must suck to be you. What is that like, slowly burning to death while you watch me? Is that, uh... Is that fun? Alright. Very cool. <laughs> uh, I mean, if they're gonna give me a bomb, I'm gonna use it, right? Cheese? That's not called cheesing. They gave me a bomb that lights things on fire. I'm gonna use it. Do I like water? Is water okay? Okay, water's okay. Never realized how OP that was. It was pretty OP, I have to say. That was, um... It was quite nice. Yeah. I was a little afraid. That guy seemed pretty imposing, but now he's dead, so... He's got that going for him, which is nice. Ding. I do like the ding. Yikes. Alright. Was this his shield? Oh, it totally was. Yeah, I feel like I should have a shield by now, but I somehow missed it. I feel like you're probably right about that. But I'm doing alright, you know? Killing stuff. What's this? Can I open this? Lift! Yeah! Yeah, we're buff. It's another one of those wells. Small fragment of something? Interesting, it's in the top left. That's two of those that I've gotten now. Ah, I haven't been here yet, and I have a key now, because I got it from that big guy. I've beaten the game. If I have, if you've, uh, you have any questions asked? No, I'm okay. I like playing games like this blind, to be honest with you. So don't worry. Oh. I just, I just took one one gold out of that chest. Hey, a shield. I feel like I could use that, right? Hey. Hey. Whoop. Interesting. It's changing sounds. Like over time. It's matching with the music. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it's timing it with the music. That's amazing. That's such a nice thing.
Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Look at the secret tunnel, dude. If I would have known about this secret tunnel earlier, I think I would have gotten that shield, like, immediately. It's actually kind of cool. Speedrun strats in this game must be nuts, man. I got a tooth! <laughs> How descriptive! Hmm. <laughs> Skulls. Oh, God! Wait, I pressed the wrong button. Ah! I pressed the wrong button. I did not expect them to, uh, suddenly arise. But here we are. Right? I'm on you. I'm on to you. Bullshit. You're all alive. I know it. Yeah, die. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. Easy peasy. Just really wanted to lick you. Pretty true. I understand. Let's go this way. I still need to find out what goes on these little hooks. Another one of those flowers. Alright. One guy made this game mostly by himself over seven years. He didn't do the music, though. I understand that feel. How are you up there, sir? There we go. Oh, we need to hit the tuning fork. Hope you're liking the game. I am so far. It's quite nice. Sneaky, sneaky. And you're dead. Ah, crap! Alright, we have a little bit of a problem. Perfect, that's what I was hoping would happen. Friendly fire seems to be very, very helpful, dude. It's, like, really useful. I was worried that when it was blowing up, it was gonna kill me, by the way. Interesting. So at some point, we're gonna have to learn to swim. That animation is very nice. If you seek to increase your power... Okay. We have to offer these items at the shrines. I've already found a couple of these. So that'll be really useful, actually. All right. Yeah, the skull splashing in the water is very nice. And even that bridge, when it goes down, it hits. And it actually splashes in the water for a moment there. Yeah, the game manual's amazing. 
Ads are about to start, by the way. We will pause the stream while the ads are going on. Got all my stuff back. And the game manual is lovely as well. Like, really, really lovely. Oh, there we go. We'll look at the instruction booklet as long as the ads are going on. It's going to be the next two minutes, don't worry. That way people don't lose anything. But look just how nice this is. Like, look how pretty this is. And the, the way the pages turn just feels so nice and good. You can see it's the same animation every time. But it's got the texture bound to it like that. It's really lovely. Yeah, exactly. The, the little things in it feel very, very nice. And I think that's the biggest thing. Is I talk about this a lot. Is When you add small details, they add up to something dramatically good. right? The little details show people the passion that you put into the game. Every time. And there's so many little details in this. Is there a physical book you can buy? Would love to have this as a physical copy of this book. I'd be really cool if they did. Game Manual has a lot of hidden secrets as well. I'm not surprised. I mean, you can tell they've they've put a lot of effort into this. You can see all of the different runic language on this, and the runic language clearly comes out to something, right? We've seen that on, like, labels and things throughout the game so far. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's secrets and small things all over the place. And they allow you to do this, where you can zoom in on it. And it's really even got, like, a very paper quality to it, too. Even with the kind of, like, smudging along the inside of that bit, that page there to show that it, the page has been turned multiple times. It's really nice. They're fox plushies? Yeah, that's cool. Making a physical book is a tough thing, and I know that. I know that very much, because we've looked into it for Heartbound. Um, a physical book is tough to do. Kind of looks like it's been printed on linen. A little bit, yeah. It looks like it's the, got the dots from comic books. Read a lot of comic books. <laughs> it's the same kind of deal, but it does look like linen because you can see kind of the cross hatching on it diagonally. It's got a very linen kind of aspect to it. I love that. Waypoint Radio did a podcast with the main developer. That's rad. Hell yeah. I dig it, man. This is very good. It's very good and it feels good too. I'm still getting the hang of fighting certain monsters, but I can feel. Skill-wise, I'm getting better at fighting the ones that I've, you know, encountered so far. Ah. We can shield bash. Okay, that's not what I wanted. What? Okay, time it, time it. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted! <laughs> I tried to shield bash him when he was just sitting there and nothing happened! I just died! I thought maybe he was close enough for a shield bash and he definitely wasn't. Oh, God. That didn't turn out well at all. Things that I've learned. Shield bash is really hard to do. These enemies are really obnoxious. Let's go and fight them again. So Shield Bash has kind of like a, like a little bit of a timing thing to it. But we can also get the jump on him like that. Get all my stuff back. That's good. Alright, we're good. These are clearly made out of some kind of magic, right? Yeah, it's kind of like a parry, but it's really, it's super hard to time. It's rock candy in a little wrapper. Delicious. I'd eat that. What is this? Okay, so these are the offering items. I have a bunch of the offering items so far. Maybe I have to go offer those back up. I maybe use Shield Bash one entire time when I played? Are you serious? Well, I've used it once. It's quite good. Ah. I can save here. 
But also, let's see if I can... Wait, what happened? I can offer these now. That's pretty cool. I love the idea of burning it as an offering to the god. I really like the effects on this too. Potion? So I guess my potions are stronger now. HP bonus. Take that. And it's actually increasing the size of my my HP bar on the left side, too. Good morning, Hyperjerk! We're having a blast at this so far. I really like this game. A little bit higher HP. See if you see it over on the left side. And I guess my potions are probably stronger now, too. Page. The envoys. So, I guess what I killed was that envoy. <laughs> I threw a single firebomb at him and he just died, dude. We just sat there and watched him die. So, that was neat. I guess we'll just do that in the future when we see another one. Just throw another bomb at him and he just dies. Has a hard shell, but Krabbit has pals. A friendly bird that loves to eat slorms? So he eats the, the horrible things that spin. That thing. Stun it by blocking. So I guess we can just block instead of shield parry? <laughs> the frog's domain. It's not that music. It's got a serious beat to it. Alright. Come on, come on. Oh! When they explode, they actually deal damage. I didn't expect that. Good to keep that in mind. For the future. How do I get in here? Can I get in there? Let me in! Won't let me in. I want to get in there. I wish to have this chest. Easy. No. Nope. Oh, you can't dodge when you're in water. Okay. When you're in water, your character can't dodge. You can dodge into it, but you can't dodge out of it. Or while you're inside of it. Interesting. Monster explosions actually matter. Things that we have discovered. Yeah. Do it. They hit each other. Oh, his explosion killed them. Hell yeah. Alright. Now I can time these. I can use them as weapons when they die. Dig that. Dig it. Super dig it, actually. I love that. I love that all the enemies have, like, friendly fire like that. It makes them very interesting. Something about that feels wrong. There's probably going to be a turret over here.
Damn. Got him. That little bit of extra attack actually helps a ton. Allows me to do a three hit combo on that guy. Yeah, it's just got some nice music, dude. It just feels good, you know? I think I can get down and around under this. Yeah, there we go. The environments feel fantastic, by the way. The idea of doing that kind of, like, verticality like that, where you can go underneath stuff and you still get the shadow for your character, it just feels right. It feels very good. Even small stuff, like when you go to- Oh! I don't- I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Stay out of the water. Stay out of the water. <laughs> oh, not good, not good. Yeah, danger noodles, dude. Feels bad. Feels deeply bad. We're staying away from that crap. Yeah, the chest animation. It's not just the snap either. It shrinks for a moment and then expands and snaps. So you can see it's it's very... All the stuff in this game is very reactive. The animations are very reactive. It feels good. They interact with the environment well. They interact with the character well. All of it feels nice, you know? And the amount of, you know, kind of shortcuts for backtracking feel very good. One of these is going to be alive. I know it. There's too many skulls for them not to be alive. Oh, a new offering. I wonder what that one's going to be. Come on to you. Which one's it going to be? It's all of them. I hate him. In the water with you. All right. All right. There's a lot of dudes. More frost bombs. Very cool. I haven't used any of those just yet. Kind of saving them for like a boss or something. Weird. Why can I walk up there? Oh? Oh? Well, goodbye. Eat it. Shit. All right. I'm very low on health. Hey, new page. Under the well and beneath the earth. Horrible gem spider things. I don't like that. Fortress of the Eastern Vault. Alright. Time to save. Very nice. Oh, let's see what this new offering does. Burn the tiny fox. Defense. Hey, that's really nice. Anything to make me take less damage is pretty good. I dig that. Yeah, lots of secrets like that. That's what I'm seeing so far. I'm digging this. I don't have a light. This seems like a mistake. Seems like a bad mistake to go in here just yet.
We walked right past this. I didn't realize this was an entrance. Yo. Interesting. That's really, really interesting. Not today, nerds. See ya. <laughs> okay. So there's a big secret up there. Let's check over here. Really interesting secret over there. Nothing off this way. Hmm. The Dark Souls of Zelda? I mean, kind of, kind of, yeah. Right? But not really. Where am I? Oh, I'm back here. It's one of those envoys. I should firecracker kill him. Look, it's got the three symbols on it. Now we have a lantern. Okay. It's part of the containment system. Look. Now we can go into the dark place. I want to kill him. That's one of the envoys. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about this lantern. It's like a reactor or it's like a part of the containment system because it had the three symbols on it. So I guess I wasn't supposed to find this when I did. It's quite funny. Eat it. Yoink. Let's put that there. I'm digging it though. It's interesting that I found that secret before we got to the point where it was like, get the lantern, because the lantern reveals this immediately. Like, absolutely reveals this immediately. Yeah. If you're, like, inquisitive enough, you can just get into areas where you just shouldn't be there yet, you know? And that's fine, I dig that. I'm a fan, right? Oh, hi. You're like, you're like dead for real now, right? Not like, not like gonna like open up your eyes again and come eat my lunch. I gotta get better at blocking with that. Whoa, boy. All right. We understand the method. You. Thankfully, they're only three hits each, which is not super bad. But unthankfully, I can't climb this. I hear things growling in the dark. Looks like there's stairs here. Well, that's not good. What are they attacking? I mean, they definitely weren't attacking me. That was a little bit weird. Can't jump. Yeah, the sound design is very good. The thing is, is the sound design is really nice. It adds to the environment very, very well. And it's so simple. That thing's spiking nothing. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh. Okay. There's some kind of a puzzle in here. Ooh. What are you doing? What are you doing? I wonder if I stood between those if it would crush me. <laughs> I bet it would, dude. Instant death. It's like a ring with a sword above it. But it's not in my inventory? Hmm. It's like a stamp, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what that does. Interesting. Well, that's probably bad. You know, little laser guys like that? I don't like that too much. Oh, there's a lot of them, too. Getting some Zelda mirror shield vibes out of those dudes. Spike's got him. Got another fragment. We have three of them now. Oh! It gave me another potion bottle. Okay, so the three fragments, each one of them creates a potion bottle. That's really, really good. He's down. You, oh, you do want to fight. Okay. I can just knock them into the spikes like that. They attack through the shield. I had my shield up and he went through it. I wonder if it's because he's a skeleton. He's got like a ghost sword or something ridiculous. Or maybe I didn't block in time. Could have been that too. Interesting. Yeah, it's like an Estes flask, for sure. Okay. Well, okay, well that's not how I wanted to solve the puzzle, but it's a little bit solved now. Seems fine. <laughs> oh. Seems alright. I got a coin. Interesting. Alright. What does a coin do? It's a consumable, though. Let's go look at the booklet, because I know that the booklet had a whole bunch of the consumables in it. Kind of listed out. Golden coin. It's pointing at those little stickers. Should I use it? Oh hell yeah! So I can use it to taunt the boss when I'm killing him, right? That's how it works. Woo! Okay. 
I think I understand now. How do you even know where to go? Hum? Aimbot? Cheat engine? Hum? <laughs> yeah, definitely aimbot and cheat engine, dude. 100%. Smash! Now we're doing it. Now we're breaking it. No more puzzle for you. Something in that corner. Something in this corner. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. Very nice of you. Alright. Ah. Puzzle. Speaking of coins, did you ever show... Oh no, I haven't shown that challenge coin. I'd have to go find my whole bag of challenge coins. Interesting. Alright. I got two potions. This is the bottom of that engine. Of the big machine. Got another defense offering, that's nice. You can see that it's powered that way. I guess that's the machine we have to turn off that ends all of the, you know, the runes or whatever it is. Yes! I wish to hit this. I wish to hit it. Look, there's a piece of the big one right there, on the ground. That's one, like, from the, um, the big statue that we saw that looked like it would be a huge tuning fork. There's a chunk right there. We gotta find a way to get up top. And that'll lead us back. Look, there's another piece of it. A tunic fork? I see what you've done. What is that horrifying alligator thing? Look at the right, dude. Long snout. Two-legged alligator of doom. I'm gonna go do this, uh, offering. I think that'll be the next bit. Can't get in there. So pretty, dude. Yeah, there's a huge amount of stuff to discover, to be honest with you. There's a lot of things I know I'm missing, too. Just like a huge amount of stuff that's missing, for sure. Oh, wait. That's the hero. So I guess that's his resting place? That's going to be a way back over there. Never fought one of these. That wasn't so bad. Probably because I snuck up on it, though. Ads. We gotta wait. Oh yeah, no, I'm aware that there's lots of secrets. It's very obvious that there are. 
And I'm pretty excited about that, to be honest with you. I really, really like this. There's still two offering types that we haven't found yet. A feather and something that's unknown. It looks like a mushroom, actually. It's kind of mushroom-shaped. So, I'm gonna bet that one's a mushroom. I'm gonna put my money on it. What does the text at the bottom say? I have no idea. You can see it's in, sign in like a runic language. It's, it's, it's something that they made for the game, right? But we also can tell that there's quite a few pages that we're missing. That goes 18, 19, and this one goes 19 to 28. So there's pages that are missing from this. We still have a lot to find, right? We're basically finding the adventurer's guide as we go through the game. And it starts on page 10 right now. So we don't even have, you know, the first nine pages. And we're missing a ton of these. Yeah, try not to... Don't reveal anything to me. Let me find it. Let me find it. Can I ruin a secret that isn't spoiled in the manual before I eventually go to sleep? Nope. I have not played this game, and I don't want it spoiled. Try to be this strong. Three. Okay, I think I'm actually already at three and three on those. 26 seconds left. I also really like if you if you kind of look when it goes into here, the background turns into a TV screen, like an old CRT. You see that? That's really a nice effect. Like a really, really nice effect, man. Redacted, redacted, redacted. Yeah, dude. And yeah, it's very clear that the language is able to be translated. It looks like a one-to-one -one transposition cipher. I might be wrong, but it looks like that currently. Um, but yeah, I'll probably take a crack at it later on. Keep an eye on your bars. Use your items. Use special techniques. Interesting. There's a thing right there that says, like, coin into stickers. And those are the little sticker markers. Check the map for those little blue eyeballs. So we'll have to want to look for those. Curious pieces of the wall that have come to life. They seem intent on stopping you. Fairies. Champignon. Always hungry. It runs fast, but it can't turn very quickly. Dangerous as a family? Rudling. Ghost of a soldier who has forgotten why they fight. Follows orders, but has no soul. Something is making noise. And I don't know what's doing this. I'm pretty sure it's Steam doing this. I'm going to find out what it is, and then mute it. Yeah, what is doing that? Is that Steam being obnoxious? Shut up, Steam. Oh, I found it. It's Battle.net. It's annoying. I don't even know why Battle.net's open. I actually have that turned off. Be gone. Stop making noises. Nah, it's Battle.net, dude. Where am I on the map? Right there in the... I think in the center? Right there? Yeah, you see? It actually moves you around the map so you know where you're at. It's really interesting. There's a magic dagger on the bottom right, so we, we should probably be looking for that. Looking to get over there. But I can't see a way to do it. Blocks the way to the bell tower. Will kill you. Alright. Pretty good. I wonder if I can go fight those spiders now, actually. Hmm. Oh. Doing the wiggle. Love it. It's one of the symbols that looks like that boss. Interesting. Yeah, I love the fact that the manual's a game mechanic as well. Dragon Slayer, I like that a lot. It really adds to the environment. It makes it very cool, very interesting. And we can, like, open the instruction booklet now, and you can see my character is actually moved on this. See that? Wrong way. There we go. So it's actually quite neat. I like that a lot. Dig it. Oh, 
Oh, that's above me. I was like, what in the world? Interesting. How do I get over there? Can I get over there? Aha! Oh, wait. That gives me the shortcut, so that's done. And a chest. Some kind of a berry. Consumable. Interesting. Yes! Piggy bank. I love cracking these. That one had more in it. I wonder if they're increasing based on the number of piggy banks I've found. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Dig that. Might also just be random. Don't know yet. Can't climb this. Ooh, I was thinking I could. Yeah, it could just be based on where you find it, too. Could have an internal value that's saved per one of those. But conceivably, they're stackable, so maybe not. I don't know. This brings me up here, but it doesn't look like I can get up higher. Interesting. There doesn't appear to be a way forward from this. Like glitch hunting? No, I've never played this game before. I'm blind playthrough. It's really beautiful, to be honest with you. But yeah, for those who are new, who have never watched my channel before, my name's Thor, and I've been in the gaming industry for almost two decades. So I used to play, or I used to work at Blizzard Entertainment. Then I worked for Amazon Game Studio, and then the United States Department of Energy. Um, hacker, pen tester, used to hack power plants for the federal government. You know, whole thing. And now I own my own indie game studio called Pirate Software, and I'm working a game called Heartbound. If you do exclamation point Heartbound in chat, you can find out about it. But on Saturdays, as a community, we play games together like this, and kind of explore other people's work and talk about how how it would be designed and how it'd be implemented. To be honest with you, this game is very, very lovely so far. And I'm mostly just trying to check out the environments and like see what are the bounds of things that I can do right now. Called Dor, dude? My name is Thor. How dare you? <laughs> what made you go from the game industry to government job? I'm a hacker, so... I actually have three black badges from DEF CON. I'm a giant nerd. I have two for cryptography and one for telefreaking. And when I got my third one, the Department of Energy contacted me when I was working at uh, Amazon. And they said, hey, do you want to go cat like go and, you know, hack power plants? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> that sounds freaking awesome. And uh, I took the job and I ended up going to work for the DOE. But yeah, when you win black badges at DEF CON, like people start to take notice after a little while. And, um... On the third one, they, they got in touch. That's about it. This game is made in Unity. Yeah, ah, oh, there we go. Whoa! Hold up. Alright. Alright. We've got two types of projectiles. One of them is red. Got it and cannot be reflected, and the other one is blue and can. Come on, get close. No, that's not what I wanted. Got it. That sound, dude. Ooh. It's very funny. 
Yeah, DEF CON is a hacking convention in, in Vegas every year. In around August, about 30,000 people show up and we act like a bunch of fools, man. Oh, God! Well, that's bad. Okay. Not what I wanted. God, they're everywhere. Tricked it. Nice. Alright, good. Jesus, man. Those things are obnoxious. Yeah, the ice beam was really rough, actually. It's black hair, so... Black hair hacker? No, my hair isn't black, actually. It's like a dark brown. You can kind of see it in the light, too. Shiny. Like the show Mr. Robot? I hate Mr. Robot. <laughs> Don't get me started on that. Oh, man. And no, they're not the only show to do hacking in a realistic way. There's always times that other shows do that. Okay. I feel like I'm physics choosing these a little bit right now. There we go. There we go. Whoa. Hell yeah. Were Edo's numbers involved? I think they were in DEFCON 22. My whole write-up has everything that's listed on there. Like everything that was part of that year's challenge. But we won in DEFCON 23. DEFCON 22 I didn't win, but solved. That was my first year. You mad because they used your ID in their show? No. That is not why I'm mad. I'm mad because they took work that our community made, took the signature off of it, and then posted it as their own for points on the internet. And that's really gross, man. Really gross. Alright. How am I going to deal with you? Oh, gotcha. Damn. Too far away. Firecracker. When I shielded it, he froze himself. Yes, that is exactly it. Not my work, my write-up. From someone else's work that I respect very much. What happens in this game? It's a kind of like an action adventure. And um, it's just a big open world map. And you can kind of interact with different stuff and take it in any different direction that you want to. And it's been quite interesting. It's mostly us finding secrets and then finding upgrades for our character because of those secrets. It's been really nice, to be honest with you. The environment's really lovely as well. Oh, crap. Okay. That was nasty. You call this game a Fez-like? I would not at all. Fez is a very different kind of a game. It's a 2D platformer built in a 3D world. What you're looking at is just a low-poly kind of adventure game. And it's beautiful, and it's unique in that respect, in the way that it is playing. It's decidedly atmospheric. You know, like it's trying to really rely on a lot of this through atmospheric kind of, you know lighting and music and trying to make it so that you feel like you're part of the world. The enemies can actually damage each other, which also adds to that, where the environment feels more alive that way. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Think I missed something? I probably did. I'll wait and see. Yeah, I found feathers finally. So that means that I can sacrifice those at the next save. That's gonna be a boss. I don't have any potions right now, so I need to go and find a save point before I walk into that room where there's no music. <laughs> oh, that's probably a bad idea to go in there, right? It's 
go this way. Hey, this is what we wanted. All right, let's see. A little bit more attack power. Yeah, music stops. Oh no. Yeah, I think the magic dagger is down this way too, Sir Shadow. That's what it showed on the map. Let's see what this feather is. Let's burn that one as well. SP? Oh. My stamina. Sick. That's really useful. It's one of these. So this is part of the system that is keeping that fox spirit bound. In like the afterlife. You can see the runes on it. Looks like there's like a golden statue spot there, a yellow statue spot. But I can't seem to climb up this. Interesting. Yeah, the cube is not a good thing. We need to stop that from existing. At least as far as we can tell. We may be getting tricked by another worldly demon, but... There's no real way to tell just yet. Cube is never a good thing, especially a time cube? I would agree. The time cube is never good. I can kill the fairies in one hit now, that's nice. That new attack upgrade really, really helped. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Okay. That's dangerous. I kind of want to go this way. There we go. I'll go back and save in a minute here so I can get my potion back. Another chili pepper. I've never used one of those still. It's interesting that it holds the item that you last used in your hand. So since I last used that potion, it actually is holding a potion in my hand. I like that a lot. I wonder if this is where that dagger is. But I can't get to it because it's inside of this thing. Yeah, look. Wait, no. We have to go up from here and then to the right. Okay. And that's going to be where the magic dagger is. Alright. Easy. I can't get him because his friend is dead on top of him. So, Chrome just take ten gigs of memory. Delicious. Delicious. Chrome loves to eat memory. So the magic dagger is going to be inside of that cave. Let's go off and check it out. Slowly fusing with the game? A little bit. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's real nice. All right. All right. I dig it. We got frost magic now. It looks like I can use it three times before it runs out of magic power on my bottom left there. Dig it. Dig it a lot. That's cool as hell. I like that a knife is like ice magic too. It feels really correct for some reason.
Didn't get that one down there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Eat it. God, those are nasty. Yeah, cold is pointy. I agree with that. Okay. I have two potions left over. I have one more thing of magic. Let's change this out for... Firecracker. And we're going to go into this boss room. I did get an achievement. I didn't actually see what it was. It says it uses stamina, but I don't know what that meant. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, you can't you can't block it. Blocking is not a thing. Okay. You have to dodge. That's the only way. Shit. timed it wrong. Alright, so this boss, you can't use shield. I was immediately trying to block his attacks, and blocking is not correct. Blocking is definitely not the way to work with this. So I have to use dodges for everything. What I'm going to try and do is run past these so that I don't waste any of my, uh, my materials. Eat. Yeah, we'll kill you. 100%. It's 100% right. Um, I wonder if I can light it on fire at the beginning of the fight. Well, that sort of sucks. I screwed up the timing on that twice. Jesus. I was in the middle of dodging on that one with the smoke particles on that second hit, and it still hit me. Is that one not dodgeable? Hmm. No, I wasn't out of stamina on that. It was still showing the smoke particles underneath my feet. What does Pepper do? really interesting. Yeet. Yeah, no, the manual's 100% right. I gotta get better at fighting it, for sure. I think what I need to do is dodge to the right and left when it is doing that secondary hit, because I think I was dodging backwards, which is really foolish. Yeah, see? Did it again. It's me failing, not it. What does that do? Oh, come on.
Missed. Well, that was not good, Thor. But, it seems you are not using aimbot. Also, disappointing. Off to Twitch Explore to find a new stream of the role model. How dare you. How do I keep getting hit with that one, even if I have iframes? See that? Literally had iframes. The smoke particles are on the ground and it still hits you. How do I dodge it? I don't know yet. I'm noticing that that second one hits me no matter what, even when I have iframes on it. My stamina's not out. Hmm... Hmm... You just need skill kappa. <laughs> You're probably right, to be honest with you. Although I am wondering why that dodge isn't working on that. Have you tried killing it before you die? No. No, I haven't. I feel like I should. Let's check to see what the book is saying. Blocks the way to the bell tower. Will kill you. Will kill you. Maybe I need more upgrades. I'm not doing a whole lot of damage, but I'm also not dodging very effectively. You can't block his attacks. Blocks don't work. There's no bonuses on this. There's no hints. The book is being a smart flowers. Of course the boss will kill me. It's true. It's 100% true. The thing that I'm wondering is, what can we use to effectively nullify some of its attacks? I don't think there is anything. I think the only thing that I can do, realistically, is dodge that second hit. What is the text under the boss? I don't know. It's written in a, like a rune language. We could probably solve it if we sat down and played with it long enough. We'd have to use frequency analysis on it to see like how common each letter is. I, I, it, that is, if it is a one-to-one -one transposition cipher. It might not be. But you can see it's got a period in it, a comma in it, so it's probably A through Z, is my guess, with, you know, punctuation being excluded. Alright, let's think about this. I can do magic, but the magic only lets me get three hits in. We can do our block, but the block doesn't seem to block any of his abilities. The only thing I have to do is dodge well. That's a new attack. He chained him. He's chaining them now. Alright. Alright. <sighs> A 
Hey guys, I feel like... I feel like the book was wrong. You see where it says... Will kill you? I think he's dead. Just saying. <sighs> nah, never happened. Didn't kill me. Impossible. Clearly undefeated. You killed him once, he killed you thrice? Yeah, but the difference is, I came back. <laughs> oh. Dong. We did it. Bill, Bill, Bill. Okay, that's two. Berry. All right. All right. Can I go this way? No way around here, huh? Interesting. Shortcut back. That's easy. Well, I've got a magic knife now. That's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, bud. Uh... I mean, like... A thousand? Okay, I'm gonna take that for 90. I don't know what that is. So that's a consumable of some kind. This is a consumable food item. Interesting. Okay, so we gotta go get a lot of coin and then come back. I need at least 2,999 coin to get the items that really matter from there. Windmill shop. I dig that. Cool. I don't know what this plant does just yet. I'm so low on HP, dude. Oh! Barely. Barely dodged that. They could sneeze and you die? I know, right? Terrifying, actually. I like the wind chime there. That's really nice. So this is just that little that little house that we found before. Kind of didn't do anything. That guy's dead. Hey, there's a chest here. That we missed. Firecrackers. Those are nice. I dig those. I like that there's, like, a shop, because now there's a reason for me to go out and, like, uh... I don't even want to fight those. I'm so low on HP. There's a reason for me to go and fight and, like, just farm enemies. You know what I mean? Yeah, the well I can't go into yet. I'm not able to go down there yet. I think there's probably going to be, like, a like a rope or something like that, because there's also a bunch of hooks everywhere, and I can't use the hooks yet either. So I don't really know what to do with that just yet. Well, well, well. Yeah. Oh, that guy's still following me? Dude. Get out of here. Thank you, Mr. Wiggles, for the Prime subs. Very nice of you.
Well, there's nothing that I can put in this. We still don't know what that does. Actually, wait a minute. Nope, I have no idea. No clue. Could be anything. Everything dies in one hit now. I still don't know what this coin does. Does it change your damage? I don't know. It's completely unknown. It says nothing on it, right? Oh! What? It gave me an achievement called Nothing Happened. <laughs> All right. Well then. I got scammed, dude. I got 100% scammed. Now I don't have a cool coin anymore. How am I supposed to taunt bosses? How am I supposed to do that? God damn it. I got scammed. Scammed. 100% scammed. We still also have these doors, like this one. Where I don't know how to open these yet, either. This is a place I had not gone before. Chest. Look, it's another one of those machines. A lot of money. Scammed out of my coin, dude. You figured out what the coins are for? I mean, I guess. Game looks fantastic. You like the art? Yeah, no, it's very, very pretty. And it's quite fun. I just love how much of it is just not explained to the player, right? Remember when we did the Game Jam last time, and the Game Jam entire thing was set up to be nothing is explained? Remember that? That theme when we did that one? This is very much so nothing is explained. Like, it doesn't really explain a whole lot of stuff. It, it explains basic game mechanic things, but only after you find the pages. And a lot of it is left unexplained, which I think is quite cool. You know? I really, really enjoy it. It tries to tell you through you experiencing it, you discovering it. And I think that's a very good thing. There's still nothing in here. Thor. Thor, do you feel your job as QA ruined the possibility for you to play games as a normal human being? It seems that you see games in different way to me. I do. I do see games in a different way than you. And I do play them in a different way. And I... I don't think that's a bad thing, right? Like, I really, really enjoy games when they have small details. That's something that means a lot to me. Like, if you look at this, see this? See those, like, move around the character? They didn't need to do that. They didn't need to do that at all. But that's something that shows me, like, oh, this game has a lot of care put into it. Not because it can have this, but because it does, and they took the time to make sure that it looked right, right? All the little things, even when you chop the plants, right? The fact that you don't chop the entire square of plants, you actually chop each individual one. Like, if I stand here, you can see I can only cut two off of that, right? Or when you cut them, the fact that they shrink after you hit them. Instead of just snapping out of existence. I like that stuff. Those little details are things that I very much so enjoy in games. It's probably because I've worked on games most of my life, right? Because I know the effort that goes into such small details. And it is effort. It's a lot of effort to make sure that each one of those little things feels right. Because you can just go and make the plant and walk away. Or you can go and make the plant and then put a lot of effort into the plant to make sure that it does all the things we just described. That's it. Plus, I'm getting better at dodging. It's quite nice. Little bit.
All right, let's go down here and look at this weather vane thing. I don't think I looked at this last time. Huh. Is that their version of north, south, east, and west? The first one starts with the symbol that the other ones end in. The first one ends in the symbol that the other ones start with. They all have the exact same symbols, but in different order. Interesting. We'll have to keep paying attention to that. Oh, here we go. Yeah! I love these. Kabam! They're definitely giving more coin each time I find one. That one gave me 64, the last one gave me 32. I think it doubles each time. No way to get up there. I can't go across the water. Blah. Each one you find or each one you break? I mean, it's the same, right? The moment I pick it up, I'm going to break it, so. Nah, you can't seem to go inside of this. Not yet. So I need to find something. Left trigger allows looking around corners, right? I'm using left trigger to move. Right trigger seems to do nothing. Left trigger is movement. The broken bridge? The broken bridge didn't seem to do anything just yet? Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of the symbols that are on the door. Until I do something else over there, I'm not quite sure what. Let's go look at the instruction booklet and look at the maps here. So I'm currently down here. That old house has a musical note with it, do you see that? Anything that has the blue eyes like that is the shop. We're over here. This has some kind of a doorway? Interesting. I think what I should do right now is go to the east forest. Because we can go to the lower forest in the east forest. This place is not rebuilt yet. It's broken. We did all this stuff over here. Everything we could, anyway. Looks like there's a way out over there to somewhere else. Oh, there's a shop over here that we missed. See the two blue eyes there? Interesting. This is where the hero died. The missing chest? What do you mean the missing chest? Take me the one over here. Like, we can't get over there, unless you're taking it down below. Let me go look. The one that was unreachable before? So, the ones on the map show it as if it wasn't broken, but you can see, I don't think we can go over here. Yeah, there's no way over here. Yeah, nah. Top one on the top left. See what you're saying. On these pages or in the world? Can you go into the bridge? You mean in this? Yeah, looks like we can. Interesting. What is this? <laughs> Bro, what? Wish I had my coin right now. Try to throw something into it. Well, all right then. Off we go. Try to throw a bomb in there. Sometimes I just want to go dynamite fishing, all right? 
I'm going to go back to the other and try to freeze it. Nah. I don't want to spend any more uh, consumables on that. I'm going to try to go to the... Uh, what is it called? The forest. Yeah, the east forest over here. Yeah, it's all secrets. Which is good. I like that. We'll solve them over time. Not too worried about it. I'm going to be playing this all day, so... And now that I'm starting to keep an eye out for some of this stuff. The environments are starting to look a lot different now, which is really cool. Because I'm looking out, like specifically looking for... Like secrets and like pathways and stuff like that. You going for 100%? I don't know. I'm definitely going to play through this entire game. Either this weekend or in two weekends, right? Yeah, there does seem to be a lot of secrets. There's another well here. All the wells are connected, so that's good to know. Because that one also says one now. Easy. We don't need to sleep. Should be fine. So, the place that we didn't go to last time was actually the spiders down here. Which means that I have to go this way. I still also don't know what those golden platforms do. Just yet. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, over time you solve the secrets. That's exactly it, you know. I'm not too worried about getting them done immediately. Mostly worried about exploring the game for now. Let's see how well I can kill one of these. Not you. Okay. We can do this now. Last time these things killed me in two hits. This time I killed them in two. Come on. Oh, almost two. I guess I killed them in three. Nice. Six of those? Six bombs? Alright. I'll take it. Sick. Yeah, dude, red indeed. Pathway down here. Demolitionist Fox? Hell yeah. Another coin. Yes. You think I should try to take it under the bridge? Or throw it in the well? I think I'm going to throw it in the well. Because we know it works in the well. This hasn't recovered any pieces yet. And we still have no way of using this. So that definitely is going to need something. Yeah, it looks like a big tuning fork, is what I'm thinking. We found pieces of it all over the island, too. So there were a lot of pieces of this thing. Which is interesting. Just don't know what it's used for yet. But you can see there's like fox statues here, so it's definitely... I'm gonna bet it's towards the end of the game, whatever that's gonna be, right? Is the ding in tune with the music? Let's find out. No, it's randomized. You can hear just the slight variation in it each time. It's probably three different sounds. The tuning forks definitely are, though. And that's very interesting. So we went to the lower forest. We found another coin. We've been to the east forest and done all this stuff. What about up here? Yeah, the lighting is really nice. 
Bro, I can one-shot those now. Oh, feels good. There are a couple chests up here that I haven't obtained. How do I get up there? Look at that. Does that go back out the map? It does. Okay, so I need to find a way up. Which means we have to go up this. Wait. There. Alright, it looks like there's an envoy up there, and I don't have another one of my cool fire bombs to just delete the envoy like last time. You're good. Oh. You're fine. So one firebomb or two firecrackers will kill this. Interesting. Oh yeah, lighting is fantastic in this. It really does. It really, really does. The lighting is awesome. There's a firebomb. Those are great for killing the envoys I found. Just instantly kills them. Now it looks like there's another one that's down there, but there's no way down. How do I get down there? There's got to be another path through this. But how? Well, it's not going to be anywhere here. Hmm. Probably going to be through the trees down there, maybe? Yeah, it looks like there's like a path piece here. Maybe it goes down through those trees. I'll have to go down there. Glad I got that one, though. Yeah, dude, Tunic is great so far. I'm really enjoying this, man. I'm loving it. All kinds of cool secrets and stuff, too. I've managed to ring two of the, the tuning forks so far. We've got a lot more to go. Like, a whole lot more to go, to be honest with you. Can I chop through these? Let me in. Let me in! Wait, wait, wait. Ah, uh, ah, uh, there it is. Yes! Okay, so the last one of these gave me 64. Hundred and twenty eight. Yeah, it's doubling each time. I was totally right. That's fantastic, actually. That's so much coin. We're gonna be rich in no time. Yeah, just gotta find enough of them to break, dude. All those times playing 2048 finally paying off. I know, right? Stonks. It is indeed stonks. I like that, though. The idea that you have a consumable that gives you currency like that is quite cool. So this can't be correct. This is a lie. Because the hero lies... there, but he also lies... here. How is he dying in both spots? Do I have to die here? Is it a vicious cycle where I've died many times? Maybe one is fake. Hmm. Could be more heroes. Maybe every time the world goes wrong, a singular fox arises and saves it, and then dies horribly. You've died a few times? Never happened. Couldn't have. Definitely not. Couldn't be me. You're thinking of someone else.
All right, here we go. Two. <laughs> we did it. Coin consumed. All right, I think I got everything in this zone. Ads. We're going to wait. Ads. I do want to go over here, and I want to see what these two blue eyes are. Because the blue eyes on this side are like a... Like a, a shopkeeper. And I'm wondering if the other one is shopkeepers, too. There's also another... One of these tower things here. We did that one. We did one inside of the East Forest. Hmm. I think we did one inside of the Dark Tomb? Remember correctly? Maybe I should go check the Sealed Temple. I'm going to check that again. I've got a magic dagger. Yeah, the well bestows upon you, too. Yeah, three shopkeepers there. And that's definitely a shopkeeper over there. I wonder if the shopkeepers have different materials, like different items. That's the thing we gotta go check. This shopkeeper right here might have a different item. And I think that's the important thing, is we know what this guy sells. He sells like 3,000 coin of stuff that's important. But we don't know what this guy over here sells. I have no idea. And I've been there. So I should go check that out. Hmm. Hmm. I was just thinking they could have died one place and been buried somewhere else. Maybe. But I think it's more likely that there's something strange going on. Like, I definitely think something weird is going on with that. You start this game today? Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah, it was about two and a half hours ago. I just remembered we can't climb back up that way. I have to go back up the other way. It's really nice feeling that there's like a reason for all this coin, too. So that there's a reason for me to go and kill these things. And like farm this way. Because that coin is turning into items, right? I can go and buy stuff from those shopkeepers. And it feels pretty good because even though I have consumables, I don't feel bad about using them because I know that three more bombs is only 100 coin. And that's not really that bad, right? Like, it's actually pretty easy to get that. Oh, I gotta go out the other way, on the left. Capitalism, yes. Delicious money. Interesting. So I guess this was just for this chest. Thought maybe there might be something else over here. I didn't fully check a lot of these environments. So now I'm kind of going back through now that I have more stuff. Second time you've ever seen me playing games instead of making them. I, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to play a game every Saturday. And then we're going to take that game and after I play it I'm going to put it up on YouTube. You know what I mean? 22-hour Amori stream? Yeah, I put all of Amori in one shot, like one single playthrough, one shot. Played the whole thing, put it up on YouTube. It's fun. That game is awesome. That game is fantastic. Super nice lighting? It really is. The lighting in this is beautiful, man. It's really, really pretty. It's honestly fantastic. Remember first seeing this game and it reminded me of a top-down version of a PS1 game called Kingsley the Fox. Great game. Awful, but great. <laughs> it's when you know it's good. You're like, this game is trash, but I love it. You know? Blom, 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 blom. Yes, indeed. The large blom, blom. So I think I've hit three of these now. Remember correctly. Might be two. Pretty sure it's three. All 
Alrighty. Third time if I include Noita on Discord. Oh, dude, I love that game. It's honestly a blast. I played that on stream before, too, and people really enjoyed it. Mostly because they were trying to kill me. And succeeding. Because we, we hooked up the, uh, the Twitch integration for it. And the Twitch integration is basically kill the streamer of the game. That's kind of how it works. So there's no way down to this. Doesn't seem to be a ladder or stairs of any kind. There's gotta be a, there's probably gonna be like a, a doorway there. But where? If you blink at the wrong time, you'll die? Noita is... It's honestly... It's like a, an exercise in when are you going to die. Not... Not like, if you're going to die, it's it's win. It's always win in Noita. Oh. Could check the map. The map actually shows a little dotted line to go in there. Which is weird. Because it was right up near that dotted line. How do we get into it? Wait, is it in here? There's no way in. Huh. It's supposed to be like right here. Yeah, it's like a secret path. You see where I'm at? There's a little dotted line there that goes out that little that little exit. Could be a bomb. Hey, I like that. I like that. Oh, that's cool. All right. I dig that. I was thinking about that too, but I was like, there's no indicator markings on this, but I guess the book... This instruction booklet is the indicator markings for this, which means there's another one right down here. Let's go check that out. I love that. The aha moment is so good. When the game doesn't really tell you. When it hints. But it doesn't tell. So I guess this is the one that goes out to the other side. So we know that one will go there. But see where this says door? There's a door marking and pen on this map? That's this door right here. There's something here. But we don't know how to open doors yet. Not yet, anyway. Oh, absolutely, Corny. You've seen the website, right? I'm hoping you have. If you go to develop.games, if any of you guys want to make video games, I've been in the industry for almost two decades, go to develop.games, that's the website, and I have a ton of information for people that want to make games. And it's free, there's no ads. Alright, let's check this thing again. Now that we have three of them done... Oh! We're in! It just opened! Okay... There's three seals. So that was the three symbols of the seals. Okay, there's like some high magic bullshit going on. This is going to be the red, blue, and green for the three different symbols. Yep. It's part of the containment for the fox spirit. But what's this way? Yeah, we have to go and break out the fox spirit from the afterlife. Who's trapped inside of this giant machine, basically. A page. Let's see what it is. It's page 24, so there's pieces missing. But we have to hold A for three seconds to attune ourselves to one of the machines? 
so that we can replace the pieces and turn this thing off. So we need to go find those statues again and try to attune with it by holding the A button down for a long time. Boop. I love that. This is a way out, but there was another path down below. I'm going to go back inside and see what it is first. It's always hard to tell which one has got, like, secret stuff in it and which one is, like, the path you're supposed to go to. Oh, this is nothing. Great. <laughs> what a secret! Fantastic. Oh. Oh ho! What's up, nerd? Eat it. Alright. That leads over there to the edge of that. Let's go see if we can touch the statue, actually. The whole game is a secret? Literally true. Yeah, that is. That is actually... Silver Star, you're 100% right. It is literally true. All of this is a secret. Where is my... Where's my map? There it is. Okay. So we can get up here. Was there something in the waterfall? I don't know. Wait and see. I mean, probably, right? This is going to be the big golden door on the... There's a key. Yes! Wait, that's not a key. What is that? Ow! Well, I can hurt myself with it. But it's like a fire thing. I dig it. All right, uses a little bit of magic. Yeah, it's a little bit laser magic, cool. We still don't know what to do with those doors though, and that's the same door symbol, so once I figure it out, hate these things. Nice, that's so useful. Oh, that's so useful. Not quite the same. They're just similar. Yeah, they're definitely not the exact same. This goes to a mountain? Let's go down the other side first, actually, now that I think about it. Opening the instruction manual is only one button, is it? Which button is it? Oh! I can press select instead of enter. That's nice. Chunky. Oh! Their shields also block stuff like mine and reflect it. That's really interesting, actually. Little Berry! There we go. Chunky. Yeah, Chunky, dude. Yeah, Little Blueberry. Secrets? Always secrets. Okay. I bet it's gonna make me a ladder. That'd be really helpful. Oh, whoa, whoa. That was way more complicated of making a ladder than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't expect it to remove, like, the entire wall like that. That's quite cool. goes over here. Forest Fortress. We've never been there before. That's a new level. There's something to do with the tuning fork. I don't know how that works yet. 
Another shortcut here. What does this shortcut take us to? Is that just back over here? It is. Okay. I want to go back down here and see if we can do something with these tuning forks. Maybe shoot it with the magic. Nope, doesn't seem to do it. I, it's hard to aim it. Nah. Oh, it bounces off of it. I should probably stay away from that. It's very funny. I'm going to save it here so I can get all my magic back. I do like the fire staff more. Like the little laser staff. It does get a lot more magic shots, but it doesn't freeze enemies, which is, you know, that's pretty powerful stuff, is having any type of CC effect, you know? That is how I beat that other boss, so. Yeah, freezing is really strong. Hey, what's up, Dirty Rumor? How's it going? My hair's finally dry from my, like, shower that I had earlier, and it's all huge now. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Baby's asleep, time to crash and relax. Nice, dude. I found a tiny version of me! Weird. <laughs> Weird. Little voodoo doll. There's one of the machines. Okay. Alright. Baby in chat, baby in game. Yeah, it's happening, dude. Okay, these are the power conduits here. I'm holding A on it. Okay. I don't know what that did or if it's any good. It seems to be now powering this conduit. Oh, there's like a man over there. What is that? What are you? Interesting. Yeah, they're glowing now. These are glowing now. Let's do this again. It's not good. New page. Coveted in a forest temple, stolen to the top of the sky, and sealed at the root of the world. Okay. Let's go inside first, before we go down. Oh, it's a shopkeeper. Alright. Same exact items. Let's actually... It's only 300? Done! How much I got left? 864? How much is this one? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Easy. Maybe the other one has multiple uses? I don't know. I'm not sure. It may just be, you know, extra because then I'd have five potions, which is quite a lot. Hell yeah. Love breaking stuff. Okay, I like that. These crates aren't just empty. They're like filled with... Like candles. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I can't dodge in this. All right. There we go. Some, like, bones up there? Oh, I love that. Again, the same battle fought uncountable times. Air to the air.
Yeah, I think we understand the multiple heroes' graves for sure. Easy. Those are so simple to kill now. Even though I have the lantern, it's still quite dark in here. What? Oh, they're like little baby ones. Eat it. They're little baby ones, but they still blow up like bombs. That's really useful. That's really, really useful. You playing with a controller? Yes. And I don't have a map of this place, no. I like that these enemies only attack you because they're afraid. They don't really want to. But they do it because you pin them into a corner. a very different spider. When you're facing them, they move away from you. When you're facing away, they move towards you. I love that. That's really nice. Can't seem to get up here. Let's see if we can go through this waterfall. There we go. It's another sticker. We still don't know what those do. No idea what that does. And yeah, I definitely don't have the map in here. This environment is spooky. Okay, so that was all those rounds over there. Can I go under this waterfall? That waterfall doesn't allow me through. Hmm. Like how you guys are just posting smiles, dude. It's very funny. Yeah, obligatory secret under the waterfall, 100%. Should be. Always put a secret under the waterfall. Just not under every waterfall. Even the environment design doesn't intentionally tell you where to go, which is really interesting. It's like super, super interesting about this. Oh, that was cool. Ow. Shot myself in the leg. Was wondering if I could shoot it a second time. That's freaking rad. Mushroom. Okay, so that is the final thing that I can I can sacrifice. That is the final sacrifice piece. No, a lot of love was put into this game, dude. A lot. I'm interested in what that blue marker means on the edge of that spider. You see that? I don't actually know what that means. Eat it. I just got an achievement called Your Pocket Feels Heavier. 
Your pocket feels heavier. Wait, what? I had five, I used one, I got four plus one? Alright. I just get items now. Use enough items, you get more items. That's how it works. Yes, delicious radish item. Maybe it's a sticker? It could be. Someone said, do you have page 17? I think I read this before, is that if you use these things... Where is it? No, it wasn't there. There was something, I think, that showed that sticker. Is it the bottom text on this? No, the bottom text is showing... Oh, wait, there we go. They say that if you throw enough bombs, you'll get a prize, so don't be afraid to use them. Interesting. That wasn't bones at all. It was a rope. There's our way back. Magic rat? Magic wolf? Oh! Hello. You're a... You're a bomb. Let me get away from you. Wait, what? You look like some kind of magic wolf. Like a wizard. Yeah, like a cultist of some kind. But not a fox, for sure. Shorter ears. Another sacrifice? That's good. Yeah, he's like a wolf. Look. They're definitely cultists. They're praising... They're praising the machine. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of those really fast. Whoa! Stop, drop, and roll! Okay. He makes a fire sword out of the actual candle. That's freaking rad, dude. It's always cool every time. Oh, God! Why did I think that would go any other way? Praise the Omnissiah. <laughs> Fanyog, thank you for the 100 bits. Okay, don't hit those candle bombs. That's a bad thing. Secret behind the barrels. More stuff to sacrifice. A coin! I can't wait to throw it in a well! Ranger tank the candles? I mean, I could. I do have the magic for it. Okay, that's really satisfying. <laughs> it's like really satisfying. Oh. You ever just like walk directly back into the last room that you were already in? You're almost like crash the game when you do that. Hmm, coins. Ads are about to start. Don't worry, I'll pause the game during that. You won't miss anything, promise. Oh. Go away. Go away, weird wolfman. These guys actually drop magic when they die? 
Which is really nice. But it didn't seem to be very much. Alright. The ads have begun. You made this game? No. No, 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 no. So, I am a game developer. I've been in the industry a very long time. Like, two decades. But, this is a game that I'm playing, because it's Saturday. Saturdays we like to play other people's games, talk about them, and kind of review it, right? Why did you make this game? Why you like this? You're very funny. It's, it's funny, too, because, like, when, when I go and play other people's games, sometimes people will come into chat and say, why did you quit making Heartbound to make this game? Because they think that I'm making whatever game that I'm playing. <laughs> it's like, no. No, I did not make this game. It's lovely. It is absolutely fantastic. It is. But no, I didn't make this. No, it's really funny, dude. Like, it's really... People think that every time. Every single time. And it's, it's ridiculous, to be honest with you. Yeah, Blind Run, did you make this game? Yes. <laughs> oh. Play Elden Ring, you're now the dev of the game of the year! It's true. I think the only time that's happened where, where people didn't think that I made the game that I'm playing is actually Dwarf Fortress. Because people knew. They're like, oh! Dwarf Fortress, I know what that is, right? It's true, Meticulac. Wait till you guys find all the secrets in Heartbound. Wait till you find every one of those. It's gonna be a lot. Why did you make the toilet puzzle in High on Life? Who made you this way? You could be any other way in your life. You could. Why did you not fix the saving game corruption in your game last week? How dare you. Good morning, new step. Hope you're having a good day. All right, ads over. So we came in here. There's some kind of an advanced cultist down there that's carrying an entire candelabra. Feathers. Frost bombs. Love some frost bombs. Page. Frog's Domain. Magic Orb. Hmm. That's not good. Whatever that is. So, you're large, and I have a lot of bombs. <laughs> oh. Maybe a little overkill. I think some of my bombs actually killed the other bombs. I didn't know that it was going to let me just spam them, which is quite funny. Oh. But yes, I do believe that was overkill. It's fine, though. Secrets? Give to me the secrets, please. No? Nothing? No secrets for me? Rude. Come on. Come, come on. No secrets. Very sad. Very deeply sad. Unfortunate. We've reactivated this machine, though. Ah, finally. I've never offered the mushroom, so we'll see what this does. Magic! Always glad to see a mushroom giving you magic power. It's good. More HP. Nice. 
Gotta love more HP. Why Thor abandoned Heartbound? I quit making Heartbound, now I just play Tunic. I'm a 100% full-time, 24-7 Tunic streamer now, that's right. That's right. You'll never see me do anything else ever again. Ever again. More stamina, nice. I like stamina. I think it's everything. I think we're good. Now save. Any major finds in the last hour? I've l gotten a magic wand that shoots things, right? Shoots magic, lasers. Uh, I found a new dungeon, and I'm slowly going through it, and it's filled with cultists that look like wolves that have candle magic. Which is terrifying, frankly. There's one of them now. Hey, bud. Um, so I know you're, like, over there. But, uh... Oh! What the shit? He's shooting me from the other room, the bastard! Alright, so, I've learned something. Now I won't have to fight that while I'm fighting the guy down below. I did shoot first. That makes me smart, not rude. Give me all that magic. Give me all that magic. I need it. Hey, buddy. You wanna... You wanna, like... Thanks. I just needed... I needed your magic out of your bones. I know your bones are full of magic. Thank you. Yoink. Sir? Do you have a license for that fire sword made out of a candle? Oh, delicious. Give, give me your magic. Give it to me. Alright, good. There we go. Now I got 20 shots again. Why am I targeting him? There we go. Thank you. Easy. Don't even need their magic. It's gonna leave it. That's interesting. Hey, so last time I saw one of you, I just hit you with a bomb, so I'm just gonna... Oh, his candles went out. Did his candles go out because I hit him with frost? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's starting to believe. Can I pray to this one because it's off? I can. But it doesn't work. Interesting. Alright. So hitting them with frost turns their candles off. You can pray everywhere, can you? Interesting. I wonder what that does. Praying at those different statues does things, but praying in the open world, I don't know if it does. Bastard. You! It's very rude what you're doing. Up there. Eat it! It's incredibly... Incredibly rude. I'm leaving now. But I'm coming to kill you. This bastard. Sir? Absolutely. Uh, you teleport? Ridiculous. And there's two of you. Of course there's two of you. Eat it. 
Down you go. No more of that, and I'm taking your magic. Give it to me. Delicious. Delicious magic. All right. A third one, too. And one of you! All right. You. No more magic for you. And you. Of course. I think you just tried to use magic on me and couldn't. I'm just gonna freeze you for a minute so I can take care of this guy over here. Because he's really, really annoying. You bastard! Of course! Ugh! It's so annoying! No more teleporting for you. You're a goblin. Give me your magic. Thank you. I really, really do not like those. Oh, man. Alright. We got some stairs there. I need to go see if the big guy had dropped anything, because I'm pretty sure he did. Did they not drop magic? Oh, I guess the big guys don't drop magic. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, bud. Nah. I love that that completely weakens him. Yeah, they do drop magic. It just goes away. Alright, pray at this machine. We're starting to get there. We're starting to believe. Starting to happen. Something about that is deeply unsettling, by the way. Like, really, really unsettling. What do you think those are? A bad idea. But, one I'm still gonna do anyway. Like Denny's at 3 a.m. That's exactly what that is. Alright. Free stuff. Alright, berry, nice. I could go for Denny's, dude. Denny's is the best. Denny's at 3 a.m. is not the best, though. Mostly because when you go in there, you don't know who's going to be in there. It's not going to be anyone good, right? The food's going to be the same, but... 3 a.m. Denny's is like a really weird liminal place, man. Like, you'd... I don't know about that. Now I have to deal with this the whole time. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Actual goblin wolf man. Got him. Okay. Got him. And now he's going to die slowly and I don't have to care. Achievement unlocked Lawn Mower. It's an interesting achievement. I don't know what that achievement is for. Alright. We've powered more stuff. Cutting plants? Could be cutting plants. I don't really know. So, oh, maybe it's because I blew all this up with the... With the bombs? Yeah, the noise is terrifying, dude. Because I think it's because I shot those bombs, actually. Because I shot the bombs with the fire magic. And it killed all the plants nearby. Probably gave me the achievement. Alright. 
Drink a potion. Ah, this one is now activated. So, you know, I feel at the end of this train, there's got to be a high priest of the cult, right? Right? Interior of the Eastern Vault. We've seen other priests. We've seen lowly priests. We've seen kind of a little bit higher priests. I figured it out. Wait, what did that just do? Whoa! Oh, it's a fast travel system. Oh, that's awesome. All right. All right, all right. I understand now. Okay, okay. All right. That's what the gold platforms are. They're fast travel system. Oh, it's going to be a fight. I can feel it in my bones. It's got skulls and red. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's going to Oh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be one of these stupid statue thing. Oh, I hate him. You can see its eyeball right there. Oh god. It's like a big spider. It's like a big spider. What the shit? Okay. How am I even gonna hit the damn thing? Eat it. I can't even hit him. Oh god. Thorbot is learning. Oh god. Uprising is soon upon us. Oh, this is bad. This is this is not good. Frost magic is useless. Hold up, maybe it's not. Idea. That's not what I wanted. Ah! Okay, hold up. I'm like panicking. Bruh. I tried to sort it. <laughs> this is horrifying. This is some this is some absolute horrific bullshit. It seems you brought a knife to a tank fight. I feel like I did. I feel like I actually just brought a knife to a tank fight. And it was very stupid. Um I feel like I have like a tiny little dagger and I decided to fight God. Right? Translation, get good. I don't even know what level of good I have to get at this point. That is... That feels like some bullshit. I'm gonna go pick up my ghost. He's over here and full of money. Hello, me. You're, uh... You died. Sorry to say. What if... What if we just... What if we just did that, right? Why don't you do one of those? Because we know that they're bullshit, and they burn the enemy forever. Which is great. Hi, you're a big spider robot. It's made of metal? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna start... Don't step on me! Oh, look at him go, the bastard! Woo. He's got two pieces. He's got two pieces. Did you see that? He's got two pieces to his body. One in the front, one in the back. There's something back there. Like a canister. 
He's got a weak point. I don't know what it is. See if we can use his own bombs against him. Unlikely. Damn it. I'm trying to kill that stupid magic thing. Alright. Ooh, you get back here. Who's after you? God damn, that thing's got reach. And it's fast, dude. Like, I'm so slow. It's so fast, man. You have to be always near a stone, or it's gonna just wreck you, is basically it. Yeah, that is just gonna kill you. So, I effectively always have to be near a stone, but always have to be close enough to attack him. So I think the only way to beat him is to be close. How to beat this boss, Don't tell and me. And said to kill it, you have to get good. <laughs> You're the worst. I think the way to beat him is going to be getting in melee. I also think that using the laser doesn't actually work on him. I think that using the frost is probably going to be a better option. Because we can freeze him in place and then beat him up. He's got some kind of a canister where his butt would be. And if I can hit that canister, I feel like that's going to do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, it's melee. You big bitch. That's right. You're all the way up there, I can't get you! Where am I? I'm stuck inside of him. I'm frozen! I froze myself! the way to do it. God damn it. I tried to dodge. Oh, come on. There's supposed to be immunity frames on that, and there aren't. No, oh, god damn it, game. Oh, that's obnoxious. I'm gonna die this time. I really wish I could, like, pause the game when I'm changing my items out. I think that's the biggest thing that I would complain about, to be honest with you. Is not being able to do that is really, really frustrating. Because the menu doesn't move the way that you would want it to sometimes. Okay, cool bomb. Are we, are we done being bombs? You good? Nah, I'm dead. Yeah, 
the magic isn't enough to be able to cast again. And it, the problem is, is I was trying to move around the menu, but the moment you hit this, you don't know where you're going to be. So it's really obnoxious. I don't have any more of these. I don't know what this does. I wonder if that gives me magic back. That would make my life a lot easier. I do not like using the menu in combat. I think that's probably my biggest gripe right now, is the menu in combat is really, really annoying. Like, legitimately. But that's okay, because if that's the only thing I can complain about, I'm splitting hairs. Oh, come on. How did he just, like, physics through me? Did you see that? What? Okay, I'm just gonna die and start over. I'm not even gonna spend my, my consumables on this, because... It just physics through my body. I'm just gonna let him kill me. I'm not gonna kick his butt on this one. I lost half of my health because he literally, like, backwards slid through my body and then shoved me into his own face. I'm just gonna let the death happen on this one. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, the closer you get to this guy, the less dangerous he is. Which is funny, because you would expect it to be the other way around. Like, look at this. Oh, it's an awesome fight. Like, see that? That's really interesting that you could do that. Step on me. Thank you. Alright. Now I'm gonna go revive and do it again. I think it's really interesting that, like... He's so weak in melee like that. Oh, the sound is awesome. Dude. The sound is super cool. Where's my death? There's my death. Oh, come on. I was mid dodge for that. Okay, did you see the physics on that where it's just like inside of his body there? The bullets were literally shooting, like the bomb went inside of his body, did a shitload of damage to him. And then froze me in place because it didn't know what to do. Okay, game. The game really doesn't like doing these physics, dude. Like, it really does not like doing these physics. Okay. I'm gonna die because I don't have any HP. I don't feel too bad about it, though, because I feel like a lot of this is not me fighting the boss, but me fighting the physics instead. And the physics on this is not very good. Like, the physics on this fight are kind of all over the place. Self-destruct button looks handy. It does have a button on it, but it doesn't let me interact with the button, so I don't really know how it works. But the physics on this are super erratic, dude. Like, it's making me slide through the boss. It's making me, you know, teleport all over the place. That bomb was inside of the boss and then fell down over him. It was super weird, man. 
I think this fight isn't, it's not frustrating for the way where it's like the fight is hard. It's frustrating because it's erratic and doesn't make sense, right? Like the physics on it do not make sense. We're going to wait for the ads. Ads are almost over. Or actually, ads just started, so we're going to wait. Just got to wait a minute. But I don't know. I like, I liked that first fight because it was like very clear and obvious what was going on. But this one doesn't work very well. And I think the reason that it doesn't work very well is because of the fact that the physics on it just don't function properly. How do you like the game so far? I think it's wonderful. I think it's fantastic. I think that the weakest part of it so far has been this fight. And it's not... I, I think it's just because the, the boss is so large that the physics system doesn't know how to handle it. So my character's like sliding inside of it, sliding through it. The model is moving around weird. Bullets are moving around weird on the boss. Like all kinds of weird shit like that. So... I, I legitimately think that this fight is, is the weakest so far, but it's cool. It's still neat, right? By the way, when you froze yourself earlier, you got an achievement, right? Really? <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. I think it did pop up with that. I just didn't see what it said. Oh. I do enjoy this, though. I do. And this is definitely a fight that's beatable. I just have to basically freeze him in place over and over again. Maybe use his own bombs against him. I think the hardest part now is getting a run in which I don't have to fail with weird cheesed physics, right? That's kind of it. That's kind of the issue now. Which is fine. Like, that's not a big deal. It's just mostly weird. It's mostly strange, right? He's probably going to have, like, an overdrive at the last minute, too. The lawnmower was for cutting a thousand bits of grass. Wait, I cut a thousand bits of grass? <laughs> I do like cutting grass, I'm going to say. It is quite fun. So, yeah, that, that checks out. Makes sense. Let me see what other consumables I actually have. I know there's the fire pepper. These blueberries actually give me magic back, I noticed. I can also probably hit him with a fire bomb. I bet the fire pepper makes me do more damage with my melee, which would be really helpful. So I'm going to try and do that. But like, even here in the beginning, right? The fact that I'm inside of his body right now is just wrong. That's rude. Couldn't hit it. I got juggled, dude. Oh, come on. 
Stuck on the goddamn physics again. Can't reach him. What, dude? You see me get juggled like halfway through that fight, dude? That juggle sucked. Yeah, I got one HP left. <laughs> you know how many HP he has left, though? Zero. Yeah. Yep. God damn it. I love that he just turns into bits. Look at me, he's just bits, dude. Wait a minute. He dropped a lightsaber. Oh? What the hell is that? What? It's like an extra item on my belt. I don't know what it does. We have the high ground now. It's true, dude. Yeah, that was rough, dude. Yeah, I think I think out of all the fights, that one was probably... Like, out of any of the monsters I fought, that one's probably the weirdest. And I think what it is, is the game doesn't seem to handle physics super well. And because of that, you have a very large boss with a very large hitbox with a lot of moving parts and pieces. So the physics on it feel very awkward, if that makes sense. I bet we plug it into this thing. I bet that's how that's going to go. I'm going to go save first, though. All right, let's see. Uh... It's the thing. It's the red one. Oh. Oh. So I don't have the thing anymore, but now I got the other thing. I got the red thing. All right. I guess we can't get the, the staff thing back. Now that I know how to use these... Let's go find out where all of them go. Like this one. What? Well, we've entered Cyberpunk 2077. And, um, and I think we'll leave, because I can't do anything here. To the future. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know what that was all about. This one. 
Oh, hi. Sorry to teleport inside of your body. That's not really, like, fair, right? Why is that not working? I was like, sta I stabbed that guy and it just didn't do anything. I think it's probably because the, uh, the ramp there. Hmm. What if I pray at this? Nothing. God, this game is so much fun, dude. How much money do I have now? 373. Yeah, tunic is cool, man. Whoa! They drop a little bit of magic when they die, by the way. Not a huge amount. But now that I know how these robot machines work... Or actually, now that I know that how the, the cubes work... I should continue down to the bottom left. That'll be the next piece. Let's see... Let's see if I can use this transport system to go there. Because this one's like the bottom right. Or the top... Is it the bottom right? Might be the bottom right in here. Yeah, it's the bottom right. Or middle right, actually. There's more down below. This one. Let's see if we can go to this one. And see if that takes us where I need to go. There we go. I love, love that regeneration sequence. It feels awesome. Wait. Wait, where am I? Am I not on this map? Oh, I'm here. Okay. I don't think I've been here before. No, I haven't. Little crab land. Hello. I bet you're full of money. Totally full of money. I love money. Look at him run away! <laughs> hey, buddy. No, you're fine. It's okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? I can't even get him if I wanted to. Oh, they're full of magic, dude. Okay, they got a lot of magic in them. We have to kill them for the magic. It's the only way. Oh, I need to get over there. I need to turn on that big robot machine. Don't like that. Don't like that, not one bit. What the hell is that? Okay, we have to get on that side to open that door. How do we get over there? Ah! Sir? That is extremely rude. You'll return to this direction at once. Get back over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Now that I know that those are here, we're going to do this. Actually, let's do that. Yeah, Swifty looks spooky in this game. That's pretty good. I don't have a hookshot thing. So I don't know if I can progress in this area. Yeah. I may not be able to progress without a hookshot thing. Because we still don't know how to use that.
Oh, do I have a key? I don't have a key, do I? What is that? Ah! All right. That's what that was. Looked like a cactus. Was an exploding octopus. That's about right. There's the key. I see you. I see you, key. I have to get over there. Bruh. So I'm just gonna... I mean... He's got a hook for a tongue. All right. My bet is that this is where I'm going to get the hook shot, seeing as these guys have hooks for tongues, which is ridiculous. Dead frog? Not sad. No sedge. That frog was bullshit. He was. He had a hook for a tongue. Terrifying. Oh, another one. It's another frog. He's got two daggers. Hey, buddy. Alright, 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 alright. Another hook tongue, dude. Look at that thing. I love that design, by the way. I love that. It's honestly fantastic. Secret area, it looks like. Hmm. That's going to be one of those damn turrets, isn't it? Or not? Maybe a secret area I can get to later? Because I don't have the hookshot? Huh. Yeah, I don't know yet. Probably can't do this one yet. All of you with your smiles in chat. See, you know all the secrets yet. I don't. That's the whole point. That's the part point of being blind playthrough, my dude. Oh. My hair keeps getting in my face. Look, now it's large. Magical large hair. It's gonna leave it this way. It's fine. Yeah, it's not on my face anymore, dude. Now it's just big. Big hair. Are these dudes just chilling in a hot tub? Three dudes chilling in a hot tub. It's not weird, dude. It's not weird. Look at him. Thank you for the gifted tier one sub, by the way. Alright, hot tub. That's a hot tub. It's bubbling. You're wrecked. Now I'm going to save it, and then they're going to respawn. Easy peasy. Nice. I'm gonna pray in the hot tub. It's not weird, right? It's not weird. Yeah, it's not murder if they come back when I save. Hey, so, uh... 
Oh, he hooks so I can't believe you committed a murder. This guy's a little bit stronger. Little bit more badass. Committed a murder? Why you like this dude? <laughs> That's pretty good. Proud of you. Proud of you. Committed a murder. God damn it. Can I get behind this? Bet I can. Bet something back here. There's nothing back here. I was rused. Unfortunate. Proud of you. But I'm also disappointed. Hey, buddy. Ow. Wow, those hurt. Holy crap, dude. That thing blasted me. All right. That's the best way to handle those for sure. Reddish. Check every wall. Wait. No, nothing. Yeah, their tongue drops out. It's amazing. Okay, we're gonna wait. Hey, buddy. Got him. God, those guys are nasty. They're really, really strong. These ones are the ones that aren't so bad. Those ones are easy. The big ones are tough, dude. What are those? Those are new! Wow. Glorious physics. Shit. Get your corpse out of my way! It's always the physics. There we go. A dude's corpse was literally body blocking me. Kermit's a little terrifying, my dude. Can I take the sword? I want the sword. Give me the sword! You got anything back here? Huh? 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 Secrets, maybe? Anything? No. Unfortunate. How's it going? It's going good. Killing stuff. Magic! I love magic. Alrighty. Yeah, it was literally a baby jail, dude. Little baby octopus creatures. And they were in jail. That's horrible. It's not baby murder. It's soul collecting for my wizard magic. Alright? That's all. It's like if you milked a cow, but it died afterwards, right? See, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Don't make it weird, right? Ooh, more attack. <laughs> Hello. No, can't pray to the big robot thing. Huh? Oh? What is this? What is this? Nice. Okay, cool. Mm. 
Most cows do die after being milked. I don't think that's true, bud. I feel like... I feel like that's... That's false. <laughs> I mean, they do, but like eventually, right? Not immediately. Yes. It can take a few years, though. <laughs> I hear that 100% of people that drink water also die. True. Terrifying. Horrifying statistic, right? There's a chest up there that I didn't get, and I'm upset about it. I'm upset about it. Wait a minute. That means somebody else killed the boss and then got the coin. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Hmm. Hey, look. Secret. Oh, God. I thought those were, like, stones or something. They're not. 100% of divorce is caused by marriage. It's terrifying. 100% of divorce is caused by marriage. You're totally right. Thank you for the 100 bits. Bombs! I love bombs. But I also love magic. Alright, let's see. You're right, though. It's true. If you don't want people to get divorced, then maybe they should stop getting married. Right? Stands to reason. Actually, let's go up here first, because there's, like, a route around this direction, which I don't know what that is. Aw, oh, man. The frog lads are working with the wolf cultist. That's not good. That's not a good thing. Oh. Is he watching you? I don't know if he was or not. I'm not sure. Oh. Hey, look at that. Welp. Let me see what I got. We do got some bombs. Bombs would be a great idea for this. We know that the frost magic works great against pretty much all of these. The magic wolf is one of those types of wolves. Yeah, he's looking right at me. The magic wolf is one of those ones that leaves a square on the ground, so I need to dispatch the heavy cloaked guy first. Eat it. Oh, shit. Where am I? I scuffed this so hard, dude. Got him. Shit. No! I'd like to target the other target. Thank you, game. There we go. Sometimes you're targeting, like, I want it to target the closest enemy, and instead it just targets a random enemy. Those are explodey bombs. Alright. Yoink. I don't know what that is, but it's mine now. Yeah, the ladder was broken, so I fell. Yeah. Oh. Wait a minute. That is way cooler than a hook shot. That is way cooler than a hook shot. Look at that thing. It's a tentacle. It's a tentacle. Oh, it's so neat. Oh, it's so cool.
Ads. Oh. All right, there's ads. We're going to wait a minute. Got to wait for the ads. Oh. Yeah, the tentacle thing is cool as hell. Tentacle thing is cool as hell. And what we just saw is they can hook to all of the the tuning forks as well. So it's even cooler. Yeah, it's got a satisfying noise, too. Well, this place is a bust because the token has been stolen from here. I don't know how we do that, how we deal with that. We beat the fortress of the Eastern Vault. This place has been beaten before we got here. How do we deal with this? We got the magic orb in the frog's domain, so that's been obtained. And that's where the green token would be. Boss of the scavengers. We haven't even seen any of these guys. They're like rats. They have rifles. They can only shoot once on the rifle. Scavengers keep, with this will try to keep their distance. They only fire once. They have the blue token. We got the red token. They have the blue token. And the green token is missing. Interesting. Hmm. Dude, Programmer Jeff, that's awesome. I'm really glad, man. I'm really glad you finished that. Now finish the rest. Now finish the rest. Proud of you, dude. Been watching your channel for about a week now, and I think you inspired me to make a game. I have a copy of Game Maker Studio I picked up off Humble Bundle years ago. Should I learn that, or you learn Unity instead? Game engines are like tools. In fact, they are tools, right? A tool is only as good as, you know, whatever its purpose is. So what kind of game do you really want to make? Do you want to make a 3D game? Then I wouldn't use Game Maker Studio. Do you want to make a 2D game? Then Game Maker Studio is actually quite good for that. Like, really good for it. So, like, it's all going to come down to what kind of game you want to, like, make. Oh, God. Can we... S oh, we can grab enemies! Get over here! No, you don't. No, you don't. You want to make a 2D side-scroller? Making a 2D side-scroller in Game Maker is pretty trivial. I would actually use that, right? Go to develop.games. So I made a website. Um, does it cost magic? Oh, it costs magic to hit the enemies with it. Interesting. But yeah, go to develop.games. That's the website. It's www.develop.games, right? And then when you get there, you'll see all of the stuff that I try to tell people about making video games. And I think it'll... I think it'll help you a lot. Oh, shit. Sorry, sir. That was an accident. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I usually kill them with frost magic. Oh. That's the defense one, I think. Pretty sure this is the defense one. Yeah, if there's a Unity Bundle and Humble Bundle, can you link me that, Sir Shadowblade? And I can put I can put it up because I have a... Or if you click the Humble Bundle link underneath my stream, you can do that and it will help support the stream if you do that. If you end up getting it. And those Humble Bundles are great, dude. They're really, really nice. Now that I can interact with this... But well, what's it going to do? All right. That's probably good, right? The thing in the center is activated now. We still don't have that key, but I think it's around the back of this. If a game is abandonware from C64 back in the 80s, does that mean I could remake it without the copyright infringements? You have to check to see what the license of that is. Licenses are going to be different for everything. And I can't give you legal advice, but I can tell you to read the license for that. You know what I mean?
Every game is going to have different types of licensing for it. And to be honest with you, if it's Abandonware, I would go talk to the original developers if you can. And if you can't, then maybe make something else, right? Maybe try to make your own spin on it. Maybe instead of just remaking that game, make a version of it that you are inspired by that game to make it, right? It's okay to be inspired by other games. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Yeah, Abandonware is not public domain. Unfortunately. But that's okay, you know. Doesn't mean you can't make something cool that's like it. I love that it doesn't do anything because I don't have any magic, but I'm just like, it's just like licking him. Lick that crab. Whoop. This isn't powered. We gotta power the next one. That's a big lad. That's a... B Lick the big crab. Who's gonna stop me? Nobody. It's too late. I've grown too powerful. I'm actually terrified of fighting that large crab because I'm out of HP. Wait, why can I go in the water here? <laughs> what is the point of this? And I can't get up there. Oh. Alright. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Let's go over this way. Water's probably too deep. Yeah, just a little bit. Of, it's just weird that I can even go on the water at that point, right? Alright, we're going up. Pray to the big machine. Get some more magic. See the centerpiece. So we've now powered the second of these. I wonder what this is going to do when we finish it. Oh, they're pissed. Oh, God. There, stay up here. Yeah, money! 100 monies. I'm almost dead, by the way. The game is too full of secrets. I could smile all the way through if I wanted to. Dude, it's amazing. The secrets are awesome. I don't even know what I'm doing, right? I don't even know what's going to happen when I activate all four of these pillars. There's no explanation. There's no goal in mind. There's no any of that. And it feels really good. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, their bellies are weak. I have so low health. <laughs> I'm so close to death. I'm so close to death. Oh. Do you have fruits? Yeah, but I don't want to eat them. I guess I should eat them, right? But what if I eat it and then I find out that there's like a... Oh, yeah, I gotta eat it. Um. Um. Okay, now we're good. Hey, bird bro. Now you're on fire. I'm just gonna let you slowly... No? You're not gonna burn to death? God damn it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. They have a little bit of magic in them, it looks like. Just a little bit, not a huge amount. It's kind of interesting.
Gross. <laughs> uh. Remember that adult swim cartoon with those, what was it, squid billies? Reminds me of a squid billy. It's not good. Not a, it's like a gross radioactive squid billy, dude. Feels bad. Oh. That's interesting. That's really interesting. This is the kind of thing that's just wholly unnecessary. Oh, it's chewing on my HP. You're right. It's not even just chewing on my HP. It's reducing my maximum HP. Hmm. That's really interesting. Yeah, it's like radiation, man. I didn't even realize it was doing that at first. Hmm. How do we get in there? <laughs> How can you recover from this? Probably the next time I find a save point, to be honest with you. That's my guess. I don't know how to get down there. Maybe around the front of this? Maybe that's the way in? Yeah, it looks like it's permanent, probably until I find the next save point. There we go. We'll have to keep that in mind for later, though. Because it's definitely a, a mechanic, right? I still don't know what these cards do. I have no idea. Like, look at this. Just gonna put that one on. Who knows? Could be anything. Hey, what's up, Pollux? I was shocked you were busy working on a Saturday morning. So, I do stream every Saturday. This is my job, right? I do stream for a living. But I also make video games. So yeah, this is pretty normal. Usually on Saturdays we play games, though. We kind of analyze them as a community, right? Tentacle grab. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want that. Oh, God. Jesus. Sir, that is extremely rude. Uh, so... I'm sorry about this, but... You know, it's nothing personal. There we go. Do you have a great singing voice? No. At least I don't think so. I love that. It's so fun. Little baby ones. Magic! Give it to me. Give me the magic. Rude. Yeah, the green is my stamina, red is health, and then blue is magic. And these guys blow up with magic. Still been new to the channel? Oh no, you're fine. Yeah. I'm trying to change a tech career. Might find an interest in making a video game. I'm a longtime D&D nerd, and originally from Tacoma. That's where I live. Pretty damn glad I stumbled upon you. Yeah, that's where I live, dude. I moved up here from California, so I used to live in, um, in Southern California. I lived there most of my life. Then I lived in Colorado for a little while, and then here. When your max health gets so low, I stood in radiation. <laughs> it's the best way to put it. There was radiation and it reduced my maximum HP. God damn it. 
That's not what I want. Stop targeting that stupid enemy. I swear. I'm just going to kill this bird so it stops targeting it. There we go. <laughs> I tried to hit to the left, and it targeted the enemy to my right. There we go. But yeah, no. I don't think it's permanent. I think it's just until I get to the next save point is my guess. But I stood in the radiation for a while because I didn't know it was reducing my max HP. Where'd you live in Colorado? It was... God, what is it called? It was Aurora. Aurora, Colorado. Just outside of Denver. Now, three of them are activated. I don't actually know what this does, still. Oh, oh no. That's that radioactive material. Look at it. It's probably, like, bad to get near that, right? It's not good. Polluting the sea? I mean, you know... Maybe a little bit. To be fair... Probably a little bit of destruction of the environment, right? But it looks like it's disappearing instantly. It's not really spreading. It's kind of a localized problem, right? It's not really staying there. I want to get over there, but I don't know how to get to it. Doesn't look like there's any way over there. But I think that's on ground floor, so we probably have to go all the way to the bottom. Look, it's evaporating, right? It's just... It's radiation, but it's it's highly bad radiation, right? It's just instantly evaporating. The half-life is clearly just a few seconds. How bad could it be? Very localized, right? Doesn't spread. Oh, this one's gonna be a lot of coin. Because we found a bunch of these. Break it! Yeah! 256 this time. Love it. I'd love to see it. I wonder if I had this grappling hook thing. If it would have worked... Oh, God, it hurts. If it would have worked on the big spider robot. If I could have, like, grabbed his core out or... What the shit was that? Oh! Do I have a firebomb for him? I don't. Shit. That was not good. None of that was good. Okay, we got a lot of enemies here, and I still have very little HP, and now I'm completely out of consumables. Sir, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go this way. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Have a nice day. Looks like a neat game. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. But yeah, yeah, so I lived in Aurora, Colorado. It was really nice there. I really enjoyed it. And then I moved back to California for work. What? Shit. He tongue grabbed me and pulled me up there and then deleted my face. No. Oh, God, no. I'm all the way back inside of this dungeon. No. No. The nightmare is real. However, tentacle. Goodbye. Yeah, my HP is back up. But there was like no, there's no like save point outside of this. So now I have to go all the way back around, I guess? Oof. Oof. It's not going to be hard to get back out. That's fine. Yep. Yep. Whoop. Whoop. I love this, actually. Eat it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Actually, I think I got that key, didn't I? I did get the key, which means I can go and turn this in because there's the doorway over here, and I haven't done that.
Nightmare Cactus. Feels bad. Yeah! Alright, good. Now we can see what's inside of this. It's... Nothing? Small chest? Oh, a part of a, a health file. That's actually really nice. That's really good, actually. Rude. And it looks like a shortcut here. But a shortcut to basically nothing, so that's interesting. Whoop. Okay, so... Uh... The only way to kill those is with frost magic, it looks like. That seems to be the absolutely only way to kill them. It's because you have to hit them in the belly. And you can't really hit their belly unless they're frozen, so it's like... <laughs> F. So. Easy way to kill those. Super, super simple. That's an explodey barrel. And we're almost back to where I was. Nice. Easy. I think you can attack them when they're in the animation of attacking you. Yeah, but do I stun them? Or are they going to take... they going to deal damage to me? It's kind of the big question at that point, right? Alright, so things that I've seen up ahead. Horrifying giant spider crab thing made of purple light of death. Which is really not what you like. I knew you were coming this time. Where even are you? My depth perception is impossible at this range. There we go. Alright. This guy needs to be... That's not what I wanted. <laughs> that was way not good, actually. It's quite funny. It's really interesting. He only just keeps going back over there. Sir? Well, if you don't want to come out, I'm going to have to make you. That combo worked quite nicely. What are these stickers? What do they do? I still have no idea what this does. I have no idea. It could be anything. It's a wine sticker, yeah. Is he scared? No, he was blocking the way. Yeah, just read the description. What a fantastic description. <laughs> wow. All right, let's go up this way. So my ghost should be in this corner. There it is. Yoink. Shit. God damn, those guys hit. They hit so hard. Oh. How many copies of Heartbound have you sold? 30,000. That thing, those things hit really, really hard, dude. It's like half of my maximum HP in one go. Yeah, corners are not safe spaces at all. They attack through it. Hmm. That being said, I do have an extra defense thing now that I forgot to pop last time. So permanent increased defense. I need to find a better way out of this place, though, I have to say. 
Yeah, they hit like an absolute tank, dude. Oh, wait. I don't think I ever went in this room over here, did I? Did I? No, I didn't. I don't think I ever went this way. Oh. What is this? How do I get up there? That means that there's two chests in this dungeon that I actually haven't found. Nice work, that's pretty solid. Yeah, we're also sitting at about 170,000 wish lists. So the game is kind of blown up, right? It's done really, really exceptionally well. There we go. Blueberry, always nice to see. I'm going to go back down this way and go off to the left. So we can find some more secrets in here. Yeah, the fact that it's not even complete yet and it's in early access. A lot of people don't like buying early access games, right? So, like, it's doing really, really well for something that's in early access. That's the biggest thing. There we go. What is that? Holy Tosh. Thank you for the tier one sub, dude. Nice. Another sacrifice. That'll give me more maximum HP, I think. I think there's anything over here. It really, really rewards you for finding secrets. Look at that. Hey. Another 25 gold. Like, super, super rewarding, right? As well it should, definitely. Wait, what? That's the dude from the next room over. Alright, alright, is that how we're doing this? It's all the dudes in from the, uh, from the hot tub, man. That's really cool that they came from the next room over, honestly. I think it's actually fantastic. More HP! Now I got five. Oh, look at that. Look at that health bar, man. And I think there's still a couple of secrets over here. Yeah, see, there's one over there. You see that? So we need to go up this way, and then to the left somewhere. Maybe this right here? Yeah. I think it's the last one in here that I saw. Firecrackers. Love those. You love to see it, man. It's the exact same way up. Nice. Hey, bud. Goodbye. Alright, so... The ones that we're trying to fight are just absolutely devastatingly strong, but I have one more point of defense now, and one more point of health. Which should help against that. But it is kind of a slog to get back there. Did I just one-shot those? I didn't get an extra point of damage, but I'm doing more damage to them? It's a little bit weird, right? I wonder why. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's go find another crab now that I switched that, that sticker out. Alright, here's my guess. My guess... 
Oh, wait. We got ads. I'm going to wait a minute. I'm going to wait a minute. I'm going to give one minute. One sec. I think I know what this sticker does. I think I know what the sticker does. I've been checking out the dev of Sardeus on Twitch. He's in our stream team. Yeah. If you check underneath my stream, there's a thing that says pirate crew there. Everyone who's in the pirate crew are people that I have invited because I think they're fantastic and they do awesome stuff. You should definitely check out all of the streamers on there. And yeah, Dev Spodges is on there as well. He's rad, dude. The Envoy. More questions than answers. Yeah, I raid I, I raid Dev Sponges sometimes, and Dev Sponges raids me sometimes. Dude's rad. He's awesome. His game is really cool, too. Like, De Stardeus is really rad. If you haven't seen that game, you really should. It's up on Steam, and it's really, really nice. Super cool. So the Husher likes to eat slorms. Kind of interesting. I wonder if there's a better way to get up to the place we're going to. Maybe this ladder here? Maybe there's a hook shot up there and then I don't have to go all the way around again, right? Still in the very early stages? He just launched. Yeah, he just launched. And um, I don't know how well it's doing. It seemed to be doing okay the other day. We've already knocked down these three different pillars here, and then that's the fourth pillar, and I just have to get up this. We tried going up this direction, but I think that's really difficult, so I may just go this way. There's also what appears to be a little hidey hole there that I might need to check out. So, here's what I think this is doing. If we go kill this crab and it kills it in one hit, it's increasing my damage based on the number of potions I haven't drank. That's my guess. That's going to be my guess on this. Because I'm doing more damage while carrying this, and it's a picture of a drink. It could be the total number of potions I have, or the number of potions I haven't drank yet, but I'm going to guess it's the ones I haven't drank. Aha! The hidey hole on the map was correct. Hey, buddy. We have our route back. Look at that. Oh, it's so easy now. Thanks, my ghost. <sighs> Come on. Eat it. God, I hate you. Obnoxious monsters. Yeah, those things are nasty, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the number of potions I haven't drank. That'd make the most sense. Time to pray to it. Let's see what it does. Well, we've gotten all four of these done now. So all four of those are praying in the center, and now there's a bird with a chest there. Interesting. Wait a minute. Was I using this one when I lived with one HP? Is that what that does? A shot that would otherwise kill me leaves me at one health? I think that's what that is. I'm pretty sure that's what I was using when I was fighting the big robot. Mmm. You had the bell the entire time before? I don't know then. I definitely know what this one does though. It's definitely something with potions and damage. your magic. Give me your magic. Could also be the amount of magic I have increasing my damage. I don't know yet. 
Yoink. Mushroom. That'll be more MP. Try the bell one when you're hitting the small tuning forks. I've never tried that. I, at least I don't think I did. Now here's the thing. We've activated all four of those. But what does it do? Maybe I have to pray? Oh, here we go. What? What? <laughs> Come back down here this instant. Yeah, I don't actually know what that just did. It was really confusing, actually. Okay. I just have to do it. so tiny. I'm so small. The Great Library. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm s Please don't eat me. I'm very small. Stop trying to serve me tea or whatever you're doing. How do you feel about this game so far? I love it. It's very, very cool. The only, the only gripe I could even have is the physics, and even then, like, it doesn't really matter that much. Wait a minute. I have to pray wherever he died. The hero's grave. I didn't pray at the other ones. Oh. What is this, dude? It's all the different items that I've been sacrificing. What is this? Yeah, it's the offerings. Why is my health bars like that? What? That's weird. My health bars are white and they're like low. Playing with controller? Yes. It's really strange. It's really strange, actually. Now we know why there's so many different ones. That means that there's going to be six locations where the hero has died. Six of them. But why? environments are great. I almost feel like I'm shrinking. <laughs> I'm just getting smaller and smaller as we go. I climb these books? Hell yeah.
Give me that. The Cathedral. Legend says wearing this allows you to do something extraordinary. And the back has quarry, west garden, ruined atoll, eastern vault, town ruins. Okay. We have to get the crown here. Crown of the cathedral. Hey, that's theft. Eh, what's he gonna do? I'll do it again! The quarry. Lower Miasma. Gun. Rooted Ziggurat. Rooted Ziggurat, I think, is where they said that those rat people were from. These guys? Yeah, Rooted Ziggurat right there. So that's where the blue is. Yeah, it just said gun. And again. The door in the mountains. Orange peril ring, cyan peril ring, inverted ash, anklet, perfume, tincture. Plus attack, minus defense. See that? I don't think it, it doesn't have anything to do with my potions at all. It just says more attack, less defense. Tincture, that's what that does. Bracer, lucky cup. Yeah, I was totally wrong. But I was right that it was increasing my attack. I just didn't know what the, the mechanism was. Muffling bell. Louder echo. What is... Times four. Aura's gem. Magic echo. Dagger strap. Scavenger's mask. Interesting. Four times the explosions? I don't know. It's called louder echo. There's also Magic Echo. Muffling Bell is also really interesting. I wonder if Muffling Bell allows me to sneak up on enemies. Right? Lucky Cup. I wonder if Anklet makes me faster. Interesting. I do like having more damage, though. Like, to be honest with you, more damage is just nice. I'm kind of an aggressive player a lot of the time, so, like, more damage feel good. Oh, here we go. It's gonna power the golden platform. Look at that. Here, I'm gonna save it first. Excuse me? There we go. Yeah, no, it's really good, Ghostward. The menus, the environment, all of this looks fantastic. It's really, really nice, man. There we go. Okay, so we have a new location now. Wait. Did this always have red specks in it? Oh, it does. Look, it has red, green, and blue to go for each one of the hexagons. Each one of the tokens is like... That's sick. You know what this shows you? You can make an entire game without dialogue with no problems. Especially making one like this that's just so interesting. You know? Yeah, your bars are even in there. And I don't know why. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, bud. Alright. Missed. What? Shit. 
shit. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no way I can beat this guy yet. This guy has some, like, straight-up endgame vibes, dude. Rude? Truly rude. Actually rude. How do I even hit him? Oh, that lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> so the librarian, I think, is this guy. That seems to be him. Yeah, the librarian right there. Unreal Unity for beginners? You don't choose an engine based on if it's for beginners or not. You choose an engine based on if it works specifically for the style of game that you want to make. I just want my money! I just want my money! <laughs> just gonna let him kill me and then get my stuff. Oh. It's very funny. It's very funny. Which is for which? Neither. So, what kind of game do you want to make, right? I ragdoll off the building, probably for the best. What kind of game do you want to make, right? Don't worry about what engine, don't worry about what programming language. Just worry about what kind of game you want to make. If I don't go all the way up, he can't see me. Goodbye! Goodbye! Don't look at me! I just, I'm just here to get my pocket changed and I'm leaving. You don't have to look at me. <gasps> He's just chilling up there, don't worry about it. I'll come back and fight him when I'm much stronger. Legitimately. <sighs> yeah, so what kind of game do you want to make, man? And I'm not razzing you, don't worry. Let's say third person, high text and graphics. What do you mean high text and graphics? Like, lots of dialogue? And a third person game. Do you want to make a 2D game? Do you want to make a 3D game? What kind of effects do you want to have in the game? What do you mean high texture? Right? High texture? So like, you want to have a 3D game with very high fidelity textures in it, right? <clears throat> what kind of features do you want to have in that game? What kind of gameplay are you looking for? You see, the first step for making a game isn't choosing the engine. It's not choosing the programming language, it's not any of that. It's sitting down and writing down everything that you want the game to be. This is called the game design document. I built a website for this if you go to develop.games there. And you can see all the different things that go into building a game. But one of the biggest ones is building a game design document. And what that does is it helps you collect all of your thoughts in one place, and then you choose an engine that meets all the criteria that are required to make that kind of game. And then you choose a programming language that works with that engine. And then you choose art tools that work with that engine. You choose sound tools that can output files that work with that engine. So you don't choose the engine first. And it's not about what's for a newbie or for a veteran. Because to be honest with you, everything is used by everyone. Some of the coolest games you've ever seen have been made in engines that are, you know, commonly available. And there's still stuff out there that's made in custom engines. Is this... Oh, it's every one of my offerings! Hey, she's clapping because I'm praying to her. All the offerings are there. That's cool, actually. So it really comes down to that. If you want to make a game, choose the engine last. Write everything on paper first. Put it all in a Google Doc, whatever it's going to be, right? All right, let's think about this. That guy's kind of a badass. Good boy, now get me out of here. Yeah, exactly. 
Fleemers, dude. Lost Echo. Friend and Fleemers. We fought both of them, but we've never seen a Lost Echo. It's interesting. Even if you're feeling brave, only ghosts are permitted to enter the inner grounds. Does that mean I have to die first? I feel like I need to die first to go in there. There's friend. Friend. Wait, what? It's the sword. It's the sword from the title screen. Yeah. Thank you for the Prime sub, by the way. Drakatron. Single player 3D animation, ultra graphics, and texture. Is this your first game? Zodu. Is it the first game you'd want to ever make? Like you've never made anything else before. Oh wait, we already did this one. Oh wait. I didn't go through here with the hook shot, because I have that now. That changes every environment. It's very Metroidvania. Oh, interesting. Press A and hold. I don't know if I've been holding for dodging. I don't know if I've been doing that. I didn't know you could run. I have been running this entire time, dude. If you hold, he runs! God damn it! You have to hold after he dodges, dude. That's really funny. Oh my god. Sir? All right. Hi. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Whoop. Now imagine the spider fight with this. Oh my god, it would have been so much easier. I had no idea, man. I had no idea. I beat the spider without running, guys. Oh my god. It's amazing. I was so slow the whole time. I had no idea. I thought the game was just like that. Maybe I was wrong about the spider boss. Maybe I'm a clown shoe. A cursed quest for Sendalin. You ready? You ready for your cursed quest, my dude? Hmm? 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 Oh, wait a minute. What? Yeah! I can find weird stuff now. Ha ha! I can, I can run past all the enemies, but I can also get all these hooks. These tuning forks, they're mine now. Sir? Also, look at this horrible thing. You know what we didn't do last time we were here? We didn't activate this horrible thing. Because I didn't know you could activate this horrible thing. And now I'm going to do that. Wait. Wait, we didn't do this last time, did we? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, this is new. This is new and weird. 
What? There's so many alternate routes everywhere in this. It's just like behind it. God damn it. Well, I found some cool secrets, so that's fine. <laughs> Gotta go fast. I'm, I've got the zoomies now, dude. Look at me. I can't believe that I didn't know I could run in this whole game. I can't... I can't believe it. I've just been dodging to dodge, and now I can dodge to run. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Pretty good. What is that? A little potion bottle. Actually, let's go see what that is. Inverted ash. How very descriptive. Pray to it. Make it bad. I'm gonna try and equip that thing. I wanna know what it does. Why are my potions blue? Are they magic potions now? They're shitty magic potions. Interesting. <laughs> oh. They're terrible. I had to put it back immediately. That was not good. It's not what you want. Wait a minute. Those are like normal buildings. Or frameworks. It's got such a neat thump to it, dude. Uh... I may have made a mistake by activating that robot block as there is a very large door that has now opened. Some secrets are meant not to be solved. That's what I've learned. Mushroom. Yeah. Burning up a mushroom. Yeah. MP level three. Surely nothing bad could happen? Bad things could happen, and my name isn't Shirley. How dare you? But now we can teleport here. MP is definitely mushroom power. I agree with that. Top left. Alright. Alright. Oh, the little rat man. It's a little rat man. Oh shit. Can't get near it. It's poisonous. Okay, so... It's got radiation going on. 
Yeah, they're trying to destroy them. That one's got bombs. It looks like the bomb guys run away from you so much that you either have to pin them in a corner, or you have to catch them with the, uh... Hey, buddy. Those hurt. Those hurt bad, actually. This one's got more radiation going on. Let's stay away from that. Oh boy! Alright. I didn't know that the bomb guys are actually cap hatchable. If you get them into a corner, yeah. Tunic more like S stinky. Oh, oh! Oh, my organs! Those hurt very many. They hurt very many. Also, Zaphiroth, thank you for the 100 bits. Now, this game is great, dude. It's really good. Hey, more damage. Hey, guys, I feel like the bombers are catchable. You know, with their own bombs. Just a little bit. Interesting maneuver. Ooh, boy. Oh. Okay, we got a problem. Jesus. Where'd he go? I thought he had me. No! Get out of the menu! God damn it. I hate that. I hate that that menu is like that. I really do. I want to, like, hold this button, and I want it so that when I release it, it leaves the menu. But it doesn't do that. So it's, like, super annoying. I'm a little worried if I get near this, it'll be radiation. Speaking of very good, I heard the Velma show is very not. I watched the first yeah. 30 seconds. That was all I could stomach. Also, Scooby-Doo isn't in the show because Terry's no way to include Scooby-Doo in a mature show for adults, and so he was cut. Wait, he was cut? That's weird. I didn't know that. I haven't watched it myself, but I've heard, I've heard not great things, so... It also has, like, really, really bad reviews. I'll probably watch it myself to feel, like, to see how it feels. But I have not seen it yet, and I haven't heard great things. But it doesn't mean that it's not enjoyable, it's just I've heard bad things, and I'm gonna determine for myself, you know? Yeah, they made a, they made a new Scooby-Doo show called Velma. And, um, yeah, I'm not gonna hate watch it, I'm just gonna watch it, right? Enough people hate watch it to be the best premiere of HBO, and I'm gonna watch it to see if I enjoy it, which I most likely won't, but I have no reason not to, you know? Because I like to consume media and find out for myself if I like something, rather than just listen to everybody else. That's how I'm always, you know, gonna act. And if it is bad, then I get to learn something about why it's bad, right? It's a good th I'm gonna be real with you. When you're a writer like me, because that's what I do. Let's Velma say. complains about white male privilege in the first 30 seconds. I also hear they made Fred a massive love. Uh, they probably did make Fred kind of a jerk, but I have no idea. I'm not going to go by hearsay. I'm just going to I'm just going to watch it, right? And the thing is is if it's bad, I'll learn something from it because I'm a writer. That's, you know, part of what I do. And as a writer, it's good to, you know, see bad writing. Right? That's helpful. And yeah, based on all the feedback that people have given, it does probably suck. Still gonna watch it, right? 
<laughs> they gave Fred a mask. No, that's not what he said. Oh my god, that's very funny. It's great to, like, for me, it's great for me to consume bad media. It's fantastic. I love doing that because it's very, very helpful and be like, well, why is this bad? How do I not make this same mistake, right? Tiny doll! So yeah, as much as there's all that stuff, I don't really care, frankly. And if it's bad, I'll probably stop at the first episode. That being said, in terms of good media, I need to go and watch Willow. Because after the, the first episode of Willow, the new Willow, was not very good. It was very easy and like predictable, like easy to predict. Uh, but the next one after that is great, and all the other ones after that have been great I too. I heard there was a scene where Velma gets berated for being a loser by her father while he's doing a nude photo shoot of the waitress Velma's dad knocked up. What? Among many other things that are incredibly terrible. So here's the thing. You heard that, but did you watch it? Is it actually real, is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Because if it is, goddamn, that's awful. But if it isn't, then like, eh. Because at this point, it's so bad that it's like mythologically bad, right? Where like, I could say like, oh yeah, man, they ate Scooby-Doo. He was, they had him for dinner because they said that dogs shouldn't be owned by people. Like I could just make something up and people would believe it, right? If it's, if it's bad. It's the level of bad of mythology bad now, right? I heard they eat Scooby-Doo in the second episode. No one watched it because the first one was so bad. Uh, my organs, they're falling out. Oh, I have to get away from this thing. It's not working. I was trying to go past it. It didn't work. Well, I'm full of radiation and have no HP now. Ah, it's not working. Okay, we got to get out of here. This is not good. I've got no health left. Yeah, I got radiation poisoning now. It sucks. Running. Doing a run. There's another one down there. All right. Hold up. I did get this shortcut. Shortcut good. And that means that I can run back over here. Because now I have that big, long shortcut. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a chest down there. I can see it. I want it. Free stuff. How do I do this? Is there a is there a way down? I see those stairs over there. Where do those come from? What? But why? Where does this Oh, there we go. Okay. Secret extra stairs. Moving, 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 moving. Yeah. Give me it. Yeah, the discoverability in this game is very nice. It shows you what you want, but it doesn't tell you how to get there. Ah! The radiation is bad! Alright. Let's heal all of my radiation sickness away. And now... Let's feed it a tooth. So that my damage goes into the moon. You legit downloading the game again, too? Yeah, you definitely should. I play the game a lot, so like... I don't know why you would be banned. The tooth. Remember the tooth. I'm remembering the tooth. Ah! That bullet curved. That bullet legit curved. I'm actually mad. That was ridiculous. I'm just gonna heal again. Get you. I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you. Yeah, fall off the map. What are you gonna do now? Shoot me with a curved bullet. Bullshit. I don't like that. Quack. 
MFW they have a meme scene in the Velma show where she squints and math goes flying past the screen, including an incorrect version of the quadratic equation Lamau. That might be funny though. Legitimately. Sir? Sir? You blew up your friend. Is that what you wanted? He's dead now. He probably had a family. I don't... I don't know if you guys have families. Yeah, homie side, dude. What is this? Alright, so we have stairs leading up. But how do we get to these stairs? Where are my bonus stairs? Hmm. How you doing? You're a sniper. You're supposed to be paying attention. You're dead. It's gotta be somewhere in here, right? No? Nothing. Nothing. Can't shoot me if you can't see me. But I can see you. Did I just throw him into a wall? Interesting. I don't want to get near that. I don't know how you aren't dying of radiation, but I'm just going to... God, I love the hookshot thing. Eee, get away from me. It's so bad for my bones, dude. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel all of this in my bones. Let's, uh... Oh, God, no, this is bad. Okay, you blew yourself up. That's fine. Oh, my God. Just... What if you just stops? You know what I need? I need their gas masks. That's what I need. There's a sticker that is a gas mask. If I can get it, I bet it'll make me immune to this stuff. Oh, save point. How's the gameplay feel so far? Looks good. It is good. It's fantastic. What? I just wanted to save. Why? Why? I can't... I can't reach it. It's in the pool. I got you baited hard, dude. Please. Ah. Okay, good. This is fine. Everything is fine. Another coin. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. You watching the Nuello? I have been. It's so good, dude. I haven't watched a couple of episodes. I really need to sit down and watch some more of it. And I'm going to be doing that tomorrow because I don't stream on Sundays. So because I don't stream on Sundays, I actually get time to go do other stuff. And I'll sit down and watch the other episodes. Well, I'll just binge Water it. Water is too deep. You'd get your tunic wet. That's probably true. Thank you for the 100 bits. I actually, I love the original Willow. Um, it was one of my favorite movies. Would you recommend watching the movie first? Yes, I would. I would absolutely recommend watching the Willow movie, the original one, before you start watching the show. It gives you so much context for the show, and if you do not watch the movie, you're going to be kind of lost. Which is a good thing, frankly, because it means that they are being true to the movie and continuing the story in the way that it should be, frankly. I will say... I will say that the um, the first episode of the TV show is not very good. It is very easy to predict. The writing is a little stale. And then after that, it becomes very good. So you're probably going to be entering the, the TV show a little bit, you know, kind of kind of lame. Yeah, I would definitely make one. Yeah, you don't copyright it. You patent it. You're totally right. But you can't, you can't do that with game mechanics. It doesn't work that way. Ah! Ah! Oh god, this place is just filled with toxin death, right? I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. I, I honestly feel like I'm not supposed Jesus, look at my health. Sir, I'm gonna ask you to stop. Ugh. Let me in! 
There's radiation everywhere. It hurts. It hurts me in my bones. Started my new job on Monday. At a game testing company. Nice, dude. Kick some butts. Become the QA of your dreams. I don't need to kill him. He's just doing his job, you know. It's not his fault. Yeah, my cute, frail, foxy bones, dude. Alright. It's full of... Dust? And... Skulls? Okay. I guess they just box up all their skulls, right? That seems... Good. Oh... Uh... This is not good. There it is! Ah, yes. Oh, it's sick! Look at it! Whoop. I got the mask now. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. We still don't actually know what this does at all, in any way. Um, I know that we can go here, but I don't actually know what this does. Yeah, my health is nothing here. It's quite funny. But now it's back to this, right? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Zoom. I got the zoomies, dude. Another reason why what Thor said is true is a month ago, some YouTuber said Willow was already a disaster. Yeah, that's it's not... It's a secret to everybody. It's not. Why well, you like this thing with 100 bits? It's really easy to judge a show based on its first episode, and it's really easy to judge it negatively. Most first episodes are going to be trash, right? And that's kind of how it's going to be, right? But the Willow TV show starts very badly. It starts too easy to read and immediately picks up and becomes good. And I, I very much so enjoyed it. And that's as somebody who is going to be more critical because I was a fan of the original movie, right? I'm going to be dramatically more critical as a result of that. And I've had a lot of fun with it. I very much so enjoy it. So if you're a fan of Willow, go watch it. If you're not a fan of Willow, go watch the movie and then go watch it. You may find that you enjoy it, right? I'm always going to tell you, try to experience things rather than listening to talking heads on the internet, right? What is that? Is it a tree? Is it a stone? What are you? Alright. I'll let you be. Strange pillar thing. X-Files and Venture Brothers were the same. X-Files was terrible in the beginning. Yeah, it's probably nothing, right? Venture Brothers was also terrible in the beginning. Page. Cyan Peril Ring, Inverted Ash, Lucky Cup, Muffling Bell. Wait, what? Okay, so the... The coins throw in have something to do... with the stickers. It's interesting. I do have more coins to throw in the well. I guess maybe throwing coins in the well gives us stickers? Let's try to pray at this. Nothing. Can they be deciphered? Yes. It seems to be some kind of a language. Yeah, praying doesn't seem to do anything there. And I don't need a gas mask up here. But I'm very far from the last save point. And I don't know where the next one is.
This is where the mountain starts. Okay, so we went around the back end of the mountain. Because we went to the right last time. We didn't go up this thing. Remember that? So because we went the wrong way, I got the gas mask at the end of the run instead of at the beginning. Oh, God. <laughs> That's really funny. Hard mode. Hard mode engaged. Yeah, sounds like success to me, too. Non-linear hard mode, what up? Yeah. So what is this? Well, praying at it does nothing. I still can't get over there. I can put on my gas mask and see if we can't get near some of these pillars. Maybe I can pray at them if I'm wearing the gas mask. Or maybe the gas mask just reduces the effectiveness of the disease? I don't want spoilers ever. Never ever, my dude. Totally blind run. Don't want it spoiled. And if you do spoil it, and one of the mods catches you, they'll kill you. It's true. Alright. Cool little chest. Yeah, mods are good like that. In Minecraft. No, in real life. At your home in LA. Right? <laughs> Oh, man. That meme is too good. That meme is too good. Let's see. It's like a big drill. Hmm. Aha! Bottle piece. You ever have like a bunch of health potions, but your health has been reduced so much that you can't use your health potions because it doesn't matter anymore? Because you've played with radiation. It's pretty good. What? I was holding right click. I'm going to die. Or not. Or not. Alright. Now we get to find out if this radiation mask works. And it does. Okay, hold up. No. Select him, please. <laughs> radiation mask totally works. Look at this. Nice. It's weird because it's a gas mask. And I thought this was radiation, but I guess it's just poison. Yeah, I guess it's just poison at that point. No, I don't think I will. Look at him wiggling, dude. He's tap dancing for me. You can hear it. Goodbye. Yeet. Down you go. Nice. Technically, it's danger juice. Oh, hey, that's a defense upgrade. That's you love to see it, dude. 100%. Oh, that's not good. If I go down there, they can all snipe me. I've made a huge mistake. Let's just have that one. Well. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh god, oh god. Okay. Oh, that means that there's a way to get to him though, which I think is over here. 
Oh, okay. I can block them. I didn't know I could block those. I'm coming for you. There's no escape, sniper. Alright. It's a gun! <laughs> Did I just get a straight up gun, dude? Gun! Is that a magic weapon? Yeah, right, let's go. Let's go try something. I'm gonna go turn this into inverted ash, so that I can do. Oh God! You're wait. You're gonna save the world with the power of friendship, and this gun you found. I made a huge mistake where I took the mask off, and I didn't realize this whole area was poisonous. Oh dear. I like my tiny little bit of health. How you doing, Kieran? Thank you for the rating party of 13. What's up? What were you- what were you streaming? Tell me about it. It's a gun! Oh, that's not what I thought that was. Alright. It's a shotgun. Not a- not like a gun. Not like a tiny gun. Oh, why'd you gotta be near those? Okay, there we go. No! You get back here. There we go. It's a shotty, yeah. Oh, you ready for this? I have found so many of these. It's gonna be huge. Oh yeah, 512. I'm rich. I'm rich. How are you guys doing, by the way? Thank you for the raid. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm running out of health slowly because I'm bad with, well, poison or something, whatever this is. It's slowly deleting my bones. Yeah. How's Tunic? It's fantastic. It's really, really good. <laughs> I was scared that I died. I'm so low on HP that I thought I just died there, but he just fell over and was like, this is my life now, and then got back up. That was really funny. Yeah, the flop was really good. I'm wearing a gas mask, so I stopped dying. Okay. Shit. No! Come on, get me up. Oh, it's so bad. I don't have any magic. I don't have any magic! Wait, 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 wait. Sup, nerd? Alright, that's one sniper down. What? Alright, there's two snipers down. I'll get you for good measure. Alright. Alright. Not so shitty blue potions now? No, I wasn't using the blue potion, actually, because I can't switch. Because if I switch, then I'll have the gas mask off and I'll die. So instead, I ate some blueberries. That's a lot of dudes. Hi. I've almost been able to reach you. About your car's extended warranty? What are you doing over there? There you go. Hello. I'm just gonna creep up on you real fast, bud. There you go. Okay. So I can just get near this stuff now, because I'm not able to be poisoned, which is sort of nice. Damn it. That's what I need to keep doing. Snipers are the issue out of all of this. Okay, so it looks like there is a way around. Your buster sword is worthless. Very cool. That's a good clip, by the way. It's a really good clip.
Dude, I need to find a save point. This is starting to get bad. It's starting to get real bad. Wait, what is this over here? Anything? Are you things? No? Yes? Alright, I guess not. I feel like being on train tracks is probably a bad idea. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we're cool. Hey, you remember that big door that I accidentally opened? We're going in. Ah, question mark. My favorite. What? What is that? Why are there dead people here? Already? That can't be good. The golden doors have been pried open, too? Whoa! The machine is eating me. Whoa. Oh, this is sick, dude. Inside the ziggurat. Alright. Now here's the problem. I still haven't found a save point in a long time. And I'm very far from home. What is that? Are you friend or foe? Friend! It's a save point, but it's a... Weird techno babble one. More defense. Yeah, safe point from the future, dude. Alright, so here's the real question Can I take this off? I can. It's not radioactive down here. Alright. We're good. Whoa! Okay, well, hi. You know, you didn't need to do that. You didn't have to shoot your buddy. It didn't need to happen like that. I mean, you're gonna do it, but... Alright, so it looks like this is actually the old... Old God Tech. Whatever that Old God Tech is. There's going to be three more of them right here. Yeah. Sir? That actually doesn't cost anything when I do it that way. Because it gives me mana back. Make you blow up your buddy. Easy peasy. These things are everywhere, man. This whole place is hard as hell. Go off a potion. Let's keep moving. You handle that much smarter than I did? That's funny. 
I like making them attack each other. It makes life really easy. Is this the god that's been placing tuning forks all over the place? I don't know. I don't know. Right? The tuning forks definitely are some kind of defensive system. But they might not be a good thing. The more that we kind of do this, the more that that sort of becomes apparent. Is that... That's not what I want. Like, they might not actually be good. They may be bad. And I don't know yet. Maybe we shouldn't release the fox, right? Maybe releasing the fox is a bad thing, right? We'll just have to wait and see. What does the fox say? Okay, that's not good. What? Bro, what? fell out of my body. I'm not very happy about what just happened, but I do know that my organs just fell out of my body. I kind of need those, and I'm now out of potions, and I have less than half HP. What is that? Is that his face? Did your face fall down here and just freak me out? You just jump scare me with your dead face? Fall off the map. Awful. Oh my god, there's so many pieces. What? <laughs> I went to the wrong side of the chest. <laughs> I'm not the smartest, alright. Two berries! I love berries. Uh, I have to go up so that I can go back down. Yes. God, it's so much... So much rave world. Alright, I think I've done this? High-tech underworld wooden chess. Alright, don't make fun of the wooden chess. It's not very nice. How dare you. It's a dog! As the sage did say, one must get up to get down. It's true. It is true. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. It's very nice of you. Yeah, dude. The whole game has gorgeous lighting. The lighting is amazing. Let's, uh... Let's, uh... What if I pray to it? Oh, it's looking at me. It's twisted its head around 180 degrees. Nope, not a fan of that. You could just be in there, whatever you are. While I'm wearing this poison mask. This is a little oogie spooky, dude. You know what's really terrifying about it? Is what if that was a fox? What if that's like an aspect of the god that we're trying to release? Oh, there's a lot of them.
That's not good. That's not good. Whatever that is, I don't want it. I'm gonna leave that at the store. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, hi indeed. Thank you for the 100 bits. But it doesn't look like it's poisonous anymore, so that's fine. That's what's in the box. That's what's that's what's in the box. No. That's what happens when you kill an Enderman. That's what it is, right there. That's where they go. So you should know. Maybe I'm not praying, maybe I'm just pressing the on button. Oh, yeah, this seems like I should wear this. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not sure this is a world worth saving. Cupo. I don't I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't wear this. Is it radioactive? Well, it's not poisonous. Ads are about to play, by the way. I will pause the game when the ads go. Don't worry. I got 12 bombs right now. Doesn't look like I need to wear the mask in here. Oh god! Oh no! It's one of those things from before, but we never had to fight it. Oh, it, it, it moves. It moves when I'm not looking at it. I don't like that. Okay, all right, well, there's many of you, and there's one of me. How about I just throw a bomb at you? How about I just throw another bomb at you? What? You make more? I don't make more when I die. What the hell is this? Why can't I make more when I die? That's not fair. That's bullshit. All right, they also release a lot of magic. Yeah, come on. Come on, what are you gonna do, spider? What are you gonna do? Those are nasty, dude. Hmm. Those are absolutely bad. Okay. Let's think about this a little bit. Feels okay, man, wine time. <laughs> what, dude? Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Seriously. Can you turn into a spider fox, though? No. I can't. But I also can't turn into more when I die. It's Mari. M-A-R-I, Magical Star. they carry the guns. These enemies were made to be fought with guns. Like, 100%. That gun is amazing. another health bottle. That's pretty nice. 
Yeah, we found the gun for sure. What? Sir? Sir? Alright. Oh, is that how we are? Is that- is that the way it works now? Whatever. I'll take that mana, thank you. Oh, oh, two of them, come on. So, wearing the mask did reduce the amount of damage that I took, it looks like. So I guess I'm gonna have to wear the mask in here. Actually, wait, no. It's not the mask doing it. It's the fact that the wine reduces my defense. I bet the mask isn't doing anything. Yeah. Hey, Pluto, what's up, bud? I was trying to see if we can pray to those as they fly by, but we can't. Oh my god. What? mask is working because it reduced my maximum HP without it. <sighs> no, they can kill me. I was just drinking potions like crazy. Look at my potions, guys. Yeah, it's really close. But now we get a huge problem. Like, a huge problem, actually. Because I'm very low on HP, because I wasn't wearing the mask, because I didn't think it was doing anything. But in reality, it was doing something. It was stopping me from losing maximum HP. Which is no longer the case. How do we get down there? A little bit of a weird one. Oh, hey! There's a save point right there, so we're fine. Yeah, drink potions, dude. They're good for your bones. <sighs> okay, we have nothing that we can sacrifice. Clean the mess in the bathroom. Note to self, 
Don't you super glue down there. By the way Thor, I decided to be lazy at work tonight since the boss is already telling me I am lazy. And see if she noticed that work does get done well. That's a good idea. Ow. Okay. Those always go outwards. If I run inwards, then I can hit him. Easy. Alright. That felt okay. Let's go pray to this box that we know has a horrible purple thing in it. This can only go well. Unethical unboxing? True. Actually true. Hey, this is how we get this. More bombs! I love bombs! I'm running out of mana, so I should probably throw some bombs. Quaff a potion. Wonder if the box just juices them? Like they're gone once it closes? I mean, yeah, technically, right? Maybe the creature is making that sound when we pray to the box. Maybe when we pray to the box, it's crushing them to juice more power out of them. Can you go back and save? It'll respawn the monsters. So kind of, but also not really. Guys, that's a lot of boxes. And all of these guys are dead. The save point is destroyed. Let's pray to it. It feels really bad knowing that there's a thing in there that I'm basically just torturing to be able to use this save point, but I needed the save point, you know? I was just saying. That's where this goes. We've unlocked it now. Oh no, dude. We didn't know where that went before. I could always teleport there, but I didn't know where it went. But now... Now we do. It's messed up. It's not good. Alright, well. More dead guys. Confidant, thank you for the tier one sub. Or actually, wait, Silver Croft, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Confidant. That's very nice of you. All right, let's think about this. How are we going to handle this? I'm going to take the gun and the bomb. Hey, buddy. Oh, the what? Okay. He blocked it. Ow. Okay, so I can hide behind these walls. I am thinking if I get a call from my supervisor, that means my boss noticed that work was not done and I win. It kicked me. And hope she gets off my back. A dumb crap. Ah, oh, shit. He throws bombs. He has a laser sword. He has a slam attack. And he just doesn't let up, does he? Holy shit, dude. No. 
I don't know his movements yet. Bombs don't work. That doesn't work at all. He threw bombs back at me. Um, I need to change this completely. I wonder if I can use this on him. The gun was completely ineffective. Let's actually switch this to there. And I can use freeze and probably the hook. Maybe we can rip his weapon off of him. Potentially. I don't actually know what the gem shield does either. I'm going to see if I can steal his shield from him. Yeah, I'm learning the patterns first. Also, thank you for the 100 bits, Percolator. I think I'm getting a call from my supervisor. That means my boss noticed the work was not done, and I win. Hope she gets off my back. I'm going to be real with you. If you're trying to not do work to piss off your boss, you will succeed. It is not going to make you win anything. You will win the moral victory, but you will lose the war. Yeah, I'm taking Freeze and Hook with me. Freeze is working great. Doesn't do very much damage right now, though. Okay, that should have had... Immunity frames on it? Immunity frames don't work on that, it looks like. Yeah, immunity frames are not working on that effect. I'm gonna let him kill me here, because the frost is not doing what I was hoping it would do. It's good for getting shots in, but if you notice, I'm not doing very much damage to him. So I'm gonna let him take me out. I wanna take a different tech with me. That didn't work very well. So immunity frames don't work on the laser sword. I wonder if shields will work in the laser sword. Let's actually take a look and see what this does. I think we have a thing that describes that. Do they get higher defense with frozen? It seems like they do, but I don't really know. It may also be because I took this gem sticker, which I've never used before. Like at all. I'm going to find the page that actually has the stickers on it. There it is. That one says... There's like a sword shield. I don't know what that is. Plus magic. Aura's gem. Plus magic? Maybe? I don't know. I'm going to go use my coins first. Because I have three coins and I've never used those yet. So that seems like a good way to do this. The gun is definitely not the way to fight this guy, though. Gun doesn't seem very good. The, like, magic overall doesn't seem very good. The hook shot... The hook seemed like it unsteadied him, which was kind of nice. And I feel like the shield is probably going to be the way to block his laser sword, because immunity frames don't seem to work on it, which does suck, but... Kind of is what it is. Let's go over here. I think there's a... A well near this one? I might be wrong. I also need to go to the shop, because I have way too many coins. You coming up? Hey, buddy. Hello, S spooky friend. Yeah, thank you for the 100 bits. Now I just need another, what, 600-something to be able to get that coin? Who's the skeleton dude anyway? He's a shopkeeper, and that's pretty much it. Like, we don't know anything about him. He's hidden on the map, so if you go to the map, there's areas that actually have little blue markers. Go to this one here. See the two little blue eyes right there? That means there's a shopkeeper there. And we're currently at this one right here, and there's the two little blue eyes as well. So anytime you see that, it's a shopkeeper. It's quite cool. I like that. 
The jerk keeps the shop all to himself. It's true. I need to find a well. And I know there's one off this way. At the, uh, what is it? In the forest. Yeah, it'll be in here. Or not? No, this is the bell tower. We have to go the other way. It's down, maybe? It's in the forest. But I don't remember the entrance to the forest. But at least I'm getting gold doing this. Let me just check the map. Oh, it's above this. Okay. That's way, way up here. Oh no, it is in this. You have to go through this and then to the right, I guess? Okay, yeah, no, there's the, there's the ramp down, or the uh, fall down on this side. That's what it is. Alright, here we go. Three. What? Oh. Can I wear two stamp? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's gonna be really good, dude. Okay, so we really have to go find those coins, man. We've really, really got to get those coins. Hmm. Hmm. What happened there? I got a second stamp slot. So now I have two stamp slots, because I turned in the, uh... The coins, like I had enough coins to do it. I'm definitely gonna go find those coins, dude. Yeah, a coin in a wishing well, yeah. A well earned reward, as you were saying. Ho ho ho! No, it's really good. It's honestly fantastic. It's like a whole nother progression system there, and I still don't know what all those stickers even do. And I don't- I definitely don't have all the stickers, right? There's also one of the fast travel points that I can't even go to yet, and I feel like I've kind of jumped ahead in the story, because I'm doing, like, a harder area. Actually, did we ever go here with the light? I think I did. Nah, nothing there. Bong, 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 bong. Was there a cave entrance in the East Cave Entrance Cave? That's a lot of words, all with the word cave in it. I don't know. I know there's this door that we don't know how to use. There's whatever the hell that is. There's a well there. We did this. We went past the Forbidden Pass and up into the mountains. Done a bunch of stuff here. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's main overworld exploration time, for sure. 
I super agree with that. Like, there's got to be something in there, but I just can't get into it yet, right? Like, obviously, there's something in there. Good morning, little ham. Look at this. I'll throw him in the water if I can catch him. I can't. Can't catch him. Little ham, I found the best magic of all. Would you like to see it? I have all these different magical items, but I, I've discovered the strongest magic. The magic of gun. It's pretty good magic, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Powerful magic gun. You know? Aha! Oh, oh! I have to get up there. Uh, sir, I'd like you to... Thanks, you know, for you. And, uh, one of you, maybe? And then, uh, I'll order one more. Thanks. Oop. I did. I left the librarian as well. I'm a little bit stronger now, so I think I might be able to fight the librarian now. Um, he seemed easier than what I'm doing currently. Right? Because he was taking dramatically more damage than what I'm taking currently. I'm taking a lot of damage right now against the the boss I was trying to fight, but the librarian, not as much. Yeah, I got another potion. That's a lot of potions, man. What is that? Seven of them? I've got seven potions now. Kind of feeling good about that. And a gun! Yeah. I have the best, the best magic of all. The magic of gun. You also got both the dam damage and defense up? I do. Yeah, I've, I've got five attack, five defense. I've still got very low potion. I haven't found any other potion flowers. I'm at two on that, which is like a huge problem. You cannot have too many potions? You're right. As long as you don't, you know, eat the bottle, right? I also never put this in. The D20 is mad. Whoa! Alright. One layer defeated. Which boss do you think will be easier? Librarian. Most likely. The one I was just fighting, I wasn't doing enough damage for it to even, like, really matter. So I think the librarian would be much easier, because I was actually doing real damage to the librarian. That being said, I think I need to check the overworld more first. What a nice cozy game stream. It would be a shame if someone 77 octillion 777 septillion 777 sextillion. Nope. Skipped. How dare you. Visual sanity. Thank you for the hundred bits. How dare you. How dare you. Yeah, I had to recycle the Brian. We had to put him in a box and use him to power magic. You know, that's... That's what you do. Like these guys. You know, that's what that's how we that's how we handle it. Why hello! Yeah, I can three shot those now. Those used to be like hard as hell to kill, so. I also don't really know what this does. So that's the thing. Let's be honest here. What is gun else than just sharp stick throw? All hail hmm. mighty stick. Hmm. Seven. It's ads time. I disagree. How dare you? And how dare you, Seven? Those guys are a two shot now. Getting strong. What is that, Mud Pig? What you sevens at me? I like that they're made out of glass. Did you already find it? I don't know. Maybe. That being said, don't spoil anything, or the mods will find you, and they'll remove all of your teeth. It's true. It's what they do. Whoop. 
interesting. New idea for whoever wants it for the game jam. Smug magic, where if you are too smug, you die. Now you have unusual magic theme, and only <laughs> once theme. That is true, actually. It's quite funny. Want to see something funny too? Bye. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting smug. How do I catch that? Oh god! My shield blocked it somehow. How do I get that page? I want it. I want it. Give me... Give me... The, give me the page. Give me the page! I can't get it! Interesting. Is there a reason I'd want to be at that? Huh. Spooky. What is this? We've never found this before. Is this mm. Mm. fine, keep your secrets. Keep your secrets. Disrespect the dead. Okay, that way's back over there. Thor doesn't know how to read it. It's true. Figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. Give me that. I've learned that technology has magic hidden inside it. Keep your secrets. I'll have you know we foxes were very well thought of before you came around. Never went on adventures or did anything exciting. That's true! Hello. That wasn't very smart. I never opened this chest for some reason. What is that? What does it do? We're gonna have to figure it out. Aha! Here we go. Why is there a hook here, but nowhere else? There's a chest down there, too. Sir, I'm... I'm leaving. Stay over there. Leave me alone. Ah!
Better potions. That's super nice. Hello. Alright. We've done it. So why is there a hook over there, but nowhere else? Better ingredients, better potions. Did that enemy just drop a heart? Do enemies drop health now because of that sticker? Hmm. Hmm. That seems pretty damn good, to be honest with you. Although this area seems inaccessible suddenly, even though I've teleported here before. Yeah, that's a really, re I'm just going to be keeping that sticker on forever, frankly. Because every time I kill an ad, it's going to die and then give me HP, which is freaking amazing, frankly. Okay, we've done all this already. It's not very useful for most bosses. I think it'll be useful for when we're trying to fight the librarian guy. And the reason why is because he has ads. Right? How far are you in the game? I have no idea. I don't know the distance, right? I'm just running a marathon. I just don't know how far it goes. Also, I never solved this one before. There's a big machine at the top of this, and we never got inside of it again for me to go and pray to it. Hey, what's up? Legend, how's it going? Because I got sidetracked, remember? Ooh, piece of candy. People die when you kill them? Sounds like an anime. People don't die when you kill them. I've seen Jedis before. If people die when you kill them, it's a skill issue. It's true. Otherwise, they just turn into, like, a cloak and mist and whatever, and disappear, and then talk to you in your dreams. Not everybody's a Palpatine. True. We all wish we could be, though. Secretly. Hoping that maybe one day we wake up and can shoot Force Lightning out of our hands. Don't tell me you didn't think about it. You did. We all have. You're stuck in traffic in the morning, the guy in front of you is honking a bunch, you just wish you could be like... I know you do. I know you do. And all of us have done it! Every single one of us has done that in traffic. We have. Y'all can't use the force? I know, right? He looks like ass? Well, yeah, I mean, he shoots lightning out of his hands. You'd look bad, too. Man doesn't have time for a skincare routine, alright? He's, he's using the force all the time. Running an empire, right? You're dead. Hi. I'm better at killing those now. Getting stuck in traffic skill issue? How dare you. How dare you. So I need to get all the way to the other side of this. Use kind of the around fork, the back. Thor. I will. I will actually use the fork. The tuning fork. Oh. are dead. There's still a chest down there I didn't get. And I know there's going to be a little robot thing that pops out of that. Nope. Not even once. Get 
frozen, nerd. Ow, I'm on fire. It sucks. Why is that not blocking towards him? That was very weird. I wonder how much health these actually give when the heart comes out of it. I'm waiting to kind of see that. It doesn't seem like the heart pumps out every time either. It's kind of a rarity. Yeah, it looks like it's really rare. Oh wait, there's one. Okay, it's not very much. At least it's kind of nice. And they seem to stay for a very long period of time. Because there's one still up there from before. How does one get over there? Why? Why? Well, I can't get up there. That was how to get that one. That's not useful. But this is exactly where I need to go. So there is a there is a place down there that I can't get to. At least I don't know how. And there's another door here. That I don't know how to use. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm all the way down here. There's another thing that I need to go to right here that we found out before, which is that I can pray at these. And we don't know what it does yet. So the hero's cave has a section for each one of the sacrifice items. But you can't interact with them in any way. But why? But why? Right? Who's that guy anyway? He's me, but from like another timeline, dude. Yeah, he's just he's just me. He's always me. It's always been me. Many me's. Over a great period of time. Do you have an item in inventory? I have a potion one. But you consume those to get permanent buffs, so there's no reason to hold on to them. I wonder if I can pray to one of these statues. Nope. We're getting back towards that statue, though. The, um, the pillar that I need to get to. Ah, perfect. This will make it so that my potions are better overall. But why? Such an important question in this game. We figured out we could power things by stuffing these weird creatures into boxes. That's true. But, but why? But why? Who knows? Okay, I don't have any more coins, so that's fine. Looks like it'd be a fun game for the Steam Deck. I agree. Hmm. Can't get my tunic wet. Gotta wade through it. If you get the tunic wet, you die. That's how it works. Okay, that one is not interacting. Interesting. 
someday I'll own a Steam Deck. Dude, I feel the same way. I actually applied for one as a developer, like a Steam Dev, um, the moment they were announced, and they never responded. <laughs> it's still pending, dude. It's literally still pending. It feels so bad. Ah! He froze me while I hooked him. I'm stuck. Sir. Rude. Yeah, I've been waiting forever. Ooh. Hop. All right, so on the map, what is that? I just never go over there. On the map, there's actually an arrow going from this direction. Do you see that? I wonder if there's a way off the map here. But I don't think there is. Hmm. You have it and it's been amazing, especially for this kind of game. It looks like also we're going to be able to jump at some point. Because I've seen a couple parts where you have to jump to get to it. But I can't yet. Did I just... <laughs> Did I just straight up slip? It was really funny. I think it just slipped. <laughs> Down he goes. F. Clumsy fox, yeah. Okay, so it looks like there was a way down this way, a pathway that I never went. But look at this. There's no way I can get over that. There has to be a way to jump at some point. Hmm. So there's going to be something in the overworld that I haven't done yet. It leads to an unlock. For that. Hmm. Hmm. I have many questions. Adventuring is very strenuous, and sometimes you just slip up. It's True. okay though. Pick yourself up and try again. Yeah, 100%. What is this? I don't think I've ever gone this way. It's just... Okay. Hell yeah. Okay, so this one was called, like, Peril something? Let me find this. Cyan Peril Ring. I'm wondering if when my HP gets low, maybe my defense increases, is my guess, for Cyan Peril. That would be my guess. Another sticker. This is good. The last thing I don't know how to get is that one there, and I think it's it's from jumping. There seems to be a lot of jumpy stuff, you know? Those card-like non-sticky stickers? I like stickers. They look like stickers to me because they're, they're square, you know? Sir. That is incredibly rude of you. Gonna push your eyeball rock. Gonna push it in the water. God damn it. Little Foxy's gotta learn how to get him some ups. They're cards, actually? I'm gonna call them stickers. So there's nothing you can do to stop me. Because I stick them on my tunic, and they make me stronger. What are you gonna do about it? 
I love their voices. Ooh. Maybe the 100 bits, by the way. Speaking of jumping, did you know that upcoming game Ashes of Creation will have jumping puzzles? I'm all about a good jumping puzzle. Zaphroth, are you back on that Ashes of Creation grind? Is that what's happened to you? It's quite funny. Also, if it does have jumping puzzles, that'd be really sick, dude. I like jumping puzzles. I like them a whole lot. I'm up to 491 coin now. Oh, his corpse is in the way. I literally can't fight the other guy. Get out of the way. I don't think there's any hookshot stuff over here. Wait a minute. What is that? It's one of the gold platforms. One of the teleportation platforms. Did we ever find that one? Let's go down there. They're coasters? That's, a, that's even funnier. I'm gonna agree. One of the statues we needed to do. It's there. Time to pray at it. I'm so sorry, weird fox creature inside of it. I'm so sorry. Wait, I can't get up there. How do I get up there? But why? But why? I can't reach it. It's deeply upsetting. Jump. Oh yeah, I'll get right on that. Seven. <laughs> You're seven. Okay. So I need to learn how to jump. Get out of there. Ashes devs have said in a Q&A that the scope of Alpha 2 has changed due to the increase of world map size, but have not specified if anything like biome variety has been affected by this change. Okay. Are you stuck on- are you stuck on Ashes of Creation again, Zaphroth? Are you- have I lost you to the Ashes of Creation? If you ask Viking Blonde, he'll teach you how to double jump. I don't know if he can. Can Viking Blonde double jump? Is he able to do such a thing? I'm not sure if he's able to. I've never seen Viking Blonde do a single jump, personally. Much less a double jump. I want to see him do a, I want to see him do a double jump in real life. And I can invite him over to my house and say, you can only come over if you do a double jump. That's true. I could do that. He lives locally to me. We do hang out randomly. Less since the pandemic is the thing. Oh god. Oh god, I failed horribly. Wow, they just burst into bits, didn't they? What? I tried to dodge, and it dodged into this stone, standing still. Thor's neighborhood is a metroidvania? You're not wrong, actually. You get more stuff, and then you level up. You get to do, th like, see new things, dude. You learn not to go outside at night. It's great. It's a good time. I'm gonna go inside of this. What? Interesting. That actually took two hits. Hmm. Hey, Antibastion, what's up? So this one didn't require anything, but I'm, I'm wondering if... There was a room... 
That one. It has a musical note on it, but I don't know what that is for. And that's not the house that I'm in right now. Can we jump yet? No. There's no jumping allowed yet. I am farming at the same time, which is kind of nice. So I've almost got enough to buy the next item. I need 999 coins to be able to buy a coin. New monthly Ashes cosmetic pack dropped Gopira sip. <laughs> Zephra, thank you. Thank you for the, the 100 bits and the, the news about Ashes of Creation. I am excited for that game, don't get me wrong. But eventually, eventually it will come out. I mean, I can't wait for it, but it's going to be a while. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. There's another one of these doors! It does nothing. I have also heard good things about axes of cremation. <laughs> Who made you this way? <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, dude. Interesting. Interesting. I think I'm gonna go down in the pit. Because I've done everything else over again. While having this, like, new access that I have now. So we're gonna go that way. What's up, bud? Dead. Whoa! That guy hit me from miles away. Alright, let's see. Yeah, you aimbotted me, dude. So I haven't been back through here since I learned how to interact with the technology. Saw someone in my state won that big lottery pool for like a billion dollar. Ask him to take you to Taco Bell, dude. That's the only correct answer. You're like, hey, you won, you won a billion dollar. Can you take me to Taco Bell? I don't want anything else. Just the sweet deliciousness of a Crunchwrap Supreme, please. And that's it. That's all you have to say. Oh ho! A secret chest. It's got a radish in it. Delicious. Go there for a single taco. Be like, I want one 59 cent taco. Oh wait, no, inflation. I want one $50 taco. Singular. Thank you. Dude, everything's so expensive now. It's rough, man. How does one arise? Giving Thor news about algae of the ocean through bits. <laughs> Thanks for telling me about algae of the ocean, dude. Proud of you. Thank you for the 100 bits. Who made you this way? Oh. Thor, please explain why prices are dropping here and Maine, but not in Washington. Explain, please. Honestly, I have no idea. Legitimately. Um, I know that we're having, like, an egg crisis now. Where, like, eggs are very expensive. That's a thing that's happening. Right? Ooh, monies. Well, there's nothing else in here. I'm very wet. Yeah, eggs became a thing. It's like expensive now. The reason why the egg thing is happening actually is because they're they're calling a lot of a lot of chickens all over the US because of bird flu. So that was the thing. And that kind of sucks. Feel bad for the birds, you know. But eggs are delicious, dude. Eggs are tasty. Makes me sad. What is this? 
Envelon script, thank you for the five dollars. That's very nice of you. Do you have your own chickens? No, I don't. I used to, back when I lived in California, but I, I got rid of them when we came up here to Washington. And um kinda wanna get chickens again, man. I kinda do, because like having chickens was really nice. You just go outside every day and just get eggs. Like literally every day you just you just get an egg. From each chicken, basically. And it's just great. Oh, chain reaction. It's just eggs. It's just nice getting eggs, you know? Hmm. This feels secretive. Or maybe just like wet legs. Maybe a little bit like, yeah, no secrets, just wet legs. Very cool. You think they just flew the coop? That's funny. Oh god, it's the spooky. Spooky tentacle garbage. I never killed one of those, and I probably should. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. So we can go down through this. And try going through this. Oh, there we go. That's the way to get this. Money! You want a vague spoiler? Never. I don't even want a, an accurate spoiler. I don't want any kind of spoiler. Why, hello. Wait. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. That's a pretty good bug. You're not supposed to do that? I could do whatever I want. Game can't stop me. You missed it? Watch this. See that? <laughs> you can call management all you want. What are they going to do? Kick me out of the store? They can't. I own the store. It's a feature, dude. It's 100% a feature. Yee. Why, hello, sir. Got us so much good coin off of these dudes. I'm gonna go try to kill one of those tentacles, though. Because the tentacles are horrifying. What? Okay, so the game stops... Oh god, oh god. Okay, okay. Hi. You're dead now. That made an angry noise. There's something deep in the water that doesn't like that I'm killing its tentacles. coming months they will be holding a spot test for Phoenix Initiative Kickstarter backers to test a Cyclops world boss with several hundred players. Cool. We know this because it's apparently going to be the new gameplay reveal for February or March. We are also going to be seeing the tank archetype in the next month or two. Cool. I can't wait to see it, man. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. But yeah, I don't know. When Ashes Creation stuff comes out, 
I'll be excited to play it. When does it come out yet? We'll have to wait and see. When you see a wall with a plateau upon its top, you must rise. I must. How does one rise without the knowledge of the ancient sticker card coaster power? <laughs> Discover your true ups through ancient arts and crafts gambling as you drink. I can't wait. This is the way. So I killed all the tentacles, and something was upset about it. But nothing showed up. But why? Where is the horrible cursed tentacle monster? Where is it? Probably just doesn't want to be next. That's probably true. Hmm. You cut off its arms? I mean, not really. I just stabbed him a bunch, right? Just a bunch of stabbed arms. Nothing wrong with that. You can still use them. They're still good. All right, you see this? This pillar line is one that will have power in a minute here because we finally made it to the thing I was looking for. And it's right up here. At least I think it is. Yes. If Brian B. Pear picked a batch of bickled bippers, how many bickled bippers did Brian B. Pear pick? And if Brian B. Pear picked a batch of bickled bippers, would Brian B. Pear be liable for backlogged bees? Why are you like this? Thank you for the hundred bits. Here we go. That has activated this power line. And now we can follow the power line back. I did kill it. I didn't kill it, I juiced it. Alright? I juiced the thing inside of the box. And now it's... It's purple juice is going through the juice tube. Which is this. Oh, and I opened a door. Oh! Coin! Yes! Okay, that's really good. That's a really... That's a good one. That's a good one. We want that. Let's go this way. So... You used to be a boss. Basically. Is there anything I can sacrifice now? Okay, I didn't get anything to sacrifice. All right, we're back out in the world. Has you a malnutritioned space fox blood juice on your hand? Pretty good, actually. A little energized. I'm ready to start the day, you know? I like to start every day with purple space fox blood juice, you know? You should, too. It's good for you. Puts meat on your bones. Hair, too. Don't... Don't worry about it, it's probably fine. This dude tried to snipe me before. Oh god! Oh god, I'm bad at magic! That went terribly wrong. Delicious. Let's go over this way. So that's another coin down. It's completely open world, Jaden Joe's there. There's um there's dungeons that are in it, but they're still open world. Did you program this game? No. No no no. I am a game developer. I've been in the industry for almost two decades, but I am not the programmer of this game. 
On Saturdays, I like to play other people's games so that we can talk about them, right? We talk about, like, the game design for it and kind of just get a feel for the whole thing. And so far, this one has been phenomenal. So, I highly suggest buying this. It's a game called Tunic. And it's really good. There's a well right there. That's exactly what we need. Yoink. Into the well. Give me another sticker thing. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes! Yes! Oh, I can have three. Mmm. 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 I don't even know what that one does. Let's go look. I have no idea what this does. Louder echo? Muffling bell? Magic echo? What does louder echo do? It just says times four... Explosion? Maybe explosions do more damage? Do you try for 100% or you just- or just game complete? Usually I'll try for 100% and usually I try to beat it in one sitting. R is gem. I dare you 100% this? It's got quite a lot in it, to be honest with you. It's got a massive amount in it. So... It seems unlikely that I would be able to do that. Especially in one sitting. Perfume and anklet. Anklet would make me faster, I'm guessing. Which would be really nice to have. That's the magic one. So we have the magic one. But I don't actually know what it does. I'm gonna have to kind of guess. What? My man is wall hacking. This is bullshit. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. How you doing? That combo is really nice, by the way. Still don't know how to jump. There's obviously a spot right there to do a jump. Like, that is... That is obviously a jump spot, right? Like, right there up here. Oh? Huh? I was wrong. It is not a jump spot. Page. Number 32. Custodians. Caretakers of the vault who have learned some magic. Candles can be put out. We learned that, actually. Learn how to do that. Spyrite and Saparak. Don't be fooled. The mark on their backs is a trick. Interesting. The Ruined Atoll. We're still missing some pages. But that's the new one. What camera do I use? I use a... Um, what is it? Elgato face cam. Another coin. Hell yeah. Coin. What is that? It's a secret within a secret. What is this? What? That's not fair! Wait, 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 wait. It's invisible. It's just invisible. Oh, oh. Got it. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Oh, I got it. Give me that. What is it? It's so much money! Now I have to find my way back out. 
I want freedom now. I like money. Money is nice. 255 monies. I do enjoy monies. It's true. Off we go. How much do I have now? Okay, cool. So I have enough to buy that other coin, so I'll have two coins. Nice. Alrighty. Have you seen Chained Echoes? No, I have not. Two coins, just enough for the ferryman? <laughs> just blow up in silence, Jesus. It's like Chrono Trigger? That's interesting. See, look, here's another one of these. It's so interesting, but I have no idea how to get that yet. And there's a door here that I also don't know. I've gotten quite a lot of upgrades since we started looking at the overworld, though. Bing. Hell yeah. Then I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna go buy the coin from this guy. Please die quietly. We used to say that to people in EVE Online, dude. When you get into battles, like somebody be like, I'm under attack, I'm getting down. And I'm like, Sh die quietly. And everybody be like, stop, die quietly. Because it's like, you've got 1,200 people in a battle, right? And one dude's just screaming as he gets attacked. Everyone knows you're getting attacked. You die instantly in 1,200 versus 1,200. Like, it's just, it's just how it works. Dude starts panicking and freaking out. Love bombs. Fire bombs are really nice. We say it to people who cough loudly here in the UK. Are you serious? I was talking about video games. You guys are messed up. Jesus. Yikes, man. <laughs> it's a bit grim, right? It's a little bit. Another coin. And nothing. I love getting nothing. The Dutch say die carefully? Wait, what does that even mean? Why would you... Why not just not die? Why not just health be upon you, right? Like, die carefully. Don't... Don't die frivolously. Die carefully. I guess that is nice. But weird. Yes. Yeah, die and don't make a mess about it, right? That's what it is. You guys are messed up. <laughs> Take that, and I dare you to be thankful for that. It's true. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. All right, let's see. I am there. What have I not learned? I don't know how to use doors. I'm going to use whatever that gold thing is up there. I can't activate this because I can't climb to it. Which is weird. I have the magic dagger. I don't know how to do this. This is interesting. Okay, that's really interesting, because this has a bunch of markers on it. Oh, that's the spots for the traps. And activating these. Yeah, that's what that is. So this is where the spike traps are. But what's that circle on there? I don't know if I interacted with that. Or that circle on the corner there. I definitely didn't do that. This is the path to get around the spike traps, but what is that there? This is a way to go down. 
Interesting. Yeah, I think it's time to go find that out. Well, if I can find the path there. This is the great machine. And we have the one piece done on it. I need to go find one of those golden platforms. That's what I have to do. If potatoes are commonly eaten with breakfast, why aren't mashed potatoes? Because mashed potatoes are for dinner. How dare you? How dare you try to ruin the status quo? Mashed potatoes for breakfast. Disgusting. Yeah, I don't remember the corner one either. I definitely don't remember doing that. So there's probably something secret in there that I haven't done. I just don't know what it is. Also, I should probably go back through the forest fortress now that I have a hook shot. Because I haven't gone back through there with the hook shot. With a tentacle thing. Whatever this is. Because, like, look at that, right? There's gonna be all kinds of weird stuff in here. Quiche is pretty incredible. I like quiche. Quiche is good. I don't remember this being so high up like this. Why is my camera so high up? You notice this? I don't think it was this high up before. Is my camera broken? Oh, that's weird. Oh, I guess not. even go down here? I did. Okay. Let's think about this. I've got... That's to page 30, so we're going to go back. This is page 30 right here. And that's the way down. So this is actually where we're going. This is the one. It's in here. And we're at the bottom. You see the map right there? We're actually over here. Okay. Let's do this. Under the well and beneath the earth. So we're beneath the earth over here. Dark Tomb is the other one. We're inside of the spider cave area. And there's a couple things in here that I haven't seen before. Oh, the OST is super relaxing, dude. It's amazing. I turned away so the spider would walk into it. It worked. When you're facing away from the spiders, they come at you. Go up through this. Is there a way to set bushes on fire using the stick? I have no idea. Try it out, right? Come on, get close. 
Aha, big spider's dead. Now what? See you, nerds. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you, you gonna go in that other room? There we go. Alright, let's see where I'm at. That goes down around that direction. I'm trying to see if there's any new stuff in here that I didn't see before. And I'm not actually sure if there is or not. Because I did this. I learned how to use the magic on that. I love the feet noises. The little tapping feet noise is so good, dude. God damn. There we go. Okay, nothing in here. Actually, wait. It looks like there's just like a thin spot right there. But this is the thing that didn't make any sense before. Okay, so that... That was the X spot for building the bridges. That's what the X is. Is to interact with that. With the magic wands that it would do that. Think there's a bigger spider looking somewhere? There might be. It seems to just have all these spider drawings all over the place, right? Also, ads are about to start. I will pause the game during the ads. Don't worry. We'll just look at the book. You won't miss anything. There's also red fire and blue fire. remember all these enemies from the last time we were in here. Did he just hit me through a wall? The bastard. It's great that I can kill these in two hits now. Before I think it was three. Yeah, I think I may have gotten all the secrets in this place, actually. Which is great. But also, it means I just got a bunch more gold doing this. So. Because these guys drop a ton of it, man. Alright. I think the next piece is me actually going and killing the librarian. I think it's what I'm going to do next. It seems like the right way to go. It makes the most sense. So after I get out of here, that's what I'm going to do. Rude. <laughs> Just pulled him through the floor. <laughs> it's really funny. God damn it. It lashed into the wrong enemy. Does the roll have iframes? It does, but they don't work on everything. So I noticed that, like, basically, no, does backstabbing deal more damage? No, but even though he was frozen, he had his candelabra up, it would have blocked my attacks from the front, even though he's frozen. But yeah, so it does have iframes, but the iframes don't seem to work on everything, which is really weird. That's, like, kind of not what I expected, right? Also, the, the holding L to latch doesn't latch to the closest enemy all the time, which is also sort of annoying.
Yeah, you can shift between enemies, but not latching to the closest enemy is... <sighs> you playing a keyboard? No, not at all. Playing a controller. But it is very frustrating not latching to the closest enemy when I hit L. It's just like latching to some random enemy sometimes. It's like sometimes it's not even an enemy. It's like a, a hookshot location. I'm like, dude, come on. Shifting isn't too bad, but it could be better by latching to the closest enemy, is what I'm saying, right? It is frustrating that it's not latching to the closest enemy. Because it doesn't need to be that way. There's no reason to latch to anything else, right? There would be no reason to do that. If I'm trying to, like, target an enemy, probably not going to want to target the one that's right next to me. Or, like, that's not right next to me. Or And definitely, if I'm in a combat situation, I don't want to latch to something that's like a hookshot target. That's very strange. What if you want to get out of there? Then you can you can switch, right? The problem right now is that I when I hit that button, I don't know what it's going to latch to. And that's the issue. Nope, it doesn't. You said most of the time. Most of the time is not all of the time. That's the problem, right? If it was all of the time, it'd be fine. But if it's most of the time, then sometimes it's not. And that's when you die. Or you take extra damage. Because you're like, why is it targeting this thing that I didn't want to target? I'm going to try to kill this guy first. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Do I want to do firecracker bombs? Or do I want to firebomb? Bombs didn't seem to do too well against him last time. But maybe these will. Maybe that'll work. Maybe it has to do with what direction you're facing? Doesn't seem to. Twenty-four shots in that. Twelve shots in this. Yeah, I do have a plus two modifier in the firecracker rolls, but they're not very good against this boss. Is the problem. Also, I should probably wear a, something else on this. Probably that. I don't actually know what this one does. That makes mana potions, so that's not what we need. Wish you could use items more freely. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. I don't actually know what that one does. This one seems pretty... Likes it makes makes a bit of sense. Like when you get low HP, because it's called like, you know, defensive peril or whatever it is. There's like cyan and amber peril. I could probably throw these out and then distract him and then hit him with stuff. This also seems pretty good. This guy's really jumpy is the problem with him. But I've never used the decoy item because I don't have that many of them. Hey, there's my corpse. Yoink. What? See that right there? Should have had iframes for it. Actual garbage. Yeah, this guy's way stronger than me right now. Look at it. What? He didn't even care. <laughs> the back swing. I'm so mad.
I'm out of potions. This is this is not going well. Nope. Yeah, a lot of the times I find that the iframes don't seem to work, and I don't really know why. Yeah, it makes it so it doesn't matter really who she's paying attention to, I guess. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like the, the boss really cares who they're paying attention to on this one. But yeah, the iframes don't seem to work a lot of the times on bosses. Everything else, they seem to be fine, which is super annoying. There's not that many iframes. There are, though. And the reason that we know that there are is because of this. I actually show you this. It shows it in the book. See this right here? Moment of safety. Check for dust. So we know that the dust itself, as it is produced, that is the iframes. So the thing that's really weird about this is we've, I've, we've actually got it in a video a couple of times. It's in the middle of that invulnerability area, and there are certain attacks that still deal damage to you. So certain stuff doesn't seem to work for iframes, and it may just be certain attacks are, you know, immune to the iframe system. Yeah, I know you're vulnerable for 60% of your dash. It tells me right here that it's checked for dust, and we've seen it as the dust is spawning. I'm still getting hit. Do we have a clip? We've seen it all throughout the entire video, man. It's been all day. So I think that there is a mistiming with the iframes, or bosses themselves ignore iframes on certain attacks. It's probably tighter iframes than what the animations are showing, because if you show this, it's quite a lot of dust there. You see the amount of dust is, is quite a bit, but we've had it literally in the middle of that animation, you still get hit doesn't seem to do anything. That dust doesn't seem to be a good indicator of invulnerability. Legitimately. Which can be frustrating, right? Because you're like, why did that hit me? You know? I don't think I'm strong enough to beat this boss yet. I actually don't think I am. Hmm. It does look like it goes through almost the entire roll, though. You're right. And if you look at the actual thing here, it says, check for dust. That's the moment of safety. And it shows the entirety of the roll, and then it ends, right? So I don't think it's correct. I think that the visual indicator and the description for that are not correct. Have you played Soulsborne games? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying the game is shit, guys. I'm saying that the iframes don't match with what the game tells you what the iframes are. That's what I'm telling you. I know everybody wants to be defensive about it, but it's not that big of a deal. It just doesn't match. Does the dust fall you to the end of the dash? Yes, see? Until you hit the ground. But you'll still take damage in the middle of that. Like, literally right in the center of that, you'll take damage. You took him down almost all the way? I think he was half, dude. I don't think he was actually almost all the way. He was about half. I think the thing is this, is it is fine to be critical of things that don't make sense in video games, and I find that a lot of times people just want to defend every little thing in a game, and it's not appropriate to do that. Like, this is... Obviously, it doesn't doesn't match with what's told to the player. And that's fine. It's okay that it doesn't match. I'm just going to call it out and be like, this doesn't match. If, it's, if, if the game is going to tell you something, the way that something works, like this, and give you a visual indicator for it, and then it doesn't work that way, that kind of sucks. I don't like that. It's frustrating. Because you're like, well... You told me it was going to work this way, and then it doesn't. What if we used a pepper? It's so hard to change items in the middle of combat. I never noticed the dust is that long. Oh, yeah, no, it super is. And that's the problem, is, like, the book itself tells you, check for dust. Like, check for dust. And then shows you, this is the invulnerability window, and that's not okay. All right. Yeah, peppers are good, but they are scarce. I'm going to use the the berries so that I can keep using frost magic. Because frost magic seems to be the way against this dude. Okay, that was... Really? Rude. I can only get two shots off of him. There we go. Oh, come on. Got him. Why is my camera so high up this time? You noticing that? Why is my camera up in the air so high? 
Get in close, please. Thank you. What? himself up. <laughs> oh, come on, man. What? Oh, my God, dude. All right. You have that one. Yeah, he's nading himself, dude. Maybe we can just get him to cheese himself. So this didn't seem like it worked either. The berry way, because you just sit there eating berries the whole time, which is not super useful. What if I do this, and then throw a firebomb on him afterwards? To really double up the damage from the firebomb? Yeah, he used a gun that time. Yeah, I think the iframe stop in the middle roll before you even hit the ground. It's incredibly tight and it doesn't match with what the indicator actually is telling you here. This is wrong. What it looks like is the invulnerability is happening in the center of the area where it says invulnerability and before that, but not after that. This is incorrect. And you can see it every time I get hit on this stuff and it's like... Like I did the roll within that, you know, within that area. The iframes are not correct. Which is fine, like... We just have to learn it. It's just sort of annoying. Yeah, burn a bunch. Dodged your bullets. Jesus. Oh, come on, man. He dodged it twice. Holy shit. Yeah, see that one? Did you see that right there? That was the middle of me doing the roll and it didn't work. Didn't do a damn thing on that one. Was I out of stamina on that one? Is that what it is? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Wait. My shield worked on one of those, but it's not working on all of them. Interesting. I think he just threw a bomb and it blew up instantly. Okay, so I learned something. There are certain attacks that he's doing where my shield actually works, like that. Not all of them do this, but some of them seem to be. So I might be able to get some hits in while using my shield still, which didn't work before. That's really interesting. Maybe it's because my stamina was so low before. 
Okay, I can beat him now. I may not beat him this run, but I know I can beat him now. Maybe I will beat him this run. He keeps blowing himself up. Gun. I can do this. I can 100% do this. I need to switch out some of my stuff. Yeah. Shows the part of the dust that's not in the inverter, but yeah, it's the very end of the dust, though. The iframes definitely don't work on a lot of this stuff. You literally brought a sword to a gunfight? I know, but gun uses magic. Eat it. Hey, buddy. Come on, the AoE on that was huge. That's actually outrageous. Do you see how far that was? are actually disgusting. Like, really, really gross. Dick. It's just the bombs now that's the problem. What? That just hit me for like no reason. That was really weird. Yeah, blow yourself up, nerd. Day yeah, kicks. Lock your bullets now, bud. Not this time. Yeah, that combo sucks, dude. The combo's 100% random on him, too. Rude. Oh, 
come on. Dead. Oh, it's so annoying. So it looks like as the health gets lower, the boss actually gets faster. So I need to change my timings as I'm going forward. The bomb here didn't seem to do a whole lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to a frost bomb. No, because a frost bomb isn't going to do anything. I'm going to switch it to a health berry. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's much closer this time. I'm getting better at it, but Jesus Christ, man. The timing on this is just outrageous. The combo bomb bait and shoot combo was nasty. That really was. Throw the bomb and then instantly go into a shot. The gun helped a lot in this battle. I tried using gun earlier and gun was okay, but like, you don't have very many shots of it. And because I don't have any very many shots of it, it's like, ugh. It's like super obnoxious. Do you mean the boss gets- the boss's health gets lower, he gets faster? Yeah, his animations all seem to get faster. His combos get tighter. It's more obnoxious, right? Those bombs have enormous radius as well. Blocked. Come on. Such a dick. What? That's a good couple of hits there. over that time that didn't work. So slippery too. I think it's the worst part about it is just the slippery, slippery bosses, you know? I can get one shot in between those different attacks, but it's really risky, too. I can get two at the end of it, though. No problem. If that doesn't happen. Oh my god! Bomb and melee, dude? I hit the wrong button, I'm gonna die, son of a bitch. So if you melee attack the bomb, it literally explodes. Instantly. And that's what just happened. Using berries takes longer than quaffing a potion, it looks like. The timing is different, so I just lost more HP than I gained by eating it. Jesus Christ, dude.
getting faster. Keep attacking yourself with your own bombs, dude. Oh my god, okay. You done? Stop kicking me in the corner! Shit! Come on. Did I just die at the same time the boss died? I think I actually died at the same frame the boss died. <laughs> oh, the game's broken. It's nothing's reacting. Uh Oh, there we go. Now it's working. I tried to pray, tried to do anything, and I think it was working. I was like, "Oh crap." The grenade killed me and the boss and the grenade killed the boss at the same time. <sighs> that was hard as hell, dude. That was hard as hell. Holy shit, man. That was nuts. You did amazingly? I don't know, dude. That was still pretty rough. These are fun, man. These are honestly really, really fun fights. <sighs> I've got two hexagons now. You made it look easy. Did I actually make that look easy? That was not easy. I don't feel like I made that look easy at all. Was a good boss design though? I think so, yes. I do I still think that the animation, like the iframes, don't match really well. You playing good controller? Yeah. I still don't think the iframes match really well a lot of the times for this stuff, but I do think that that boss was well made. I think it was fun. It was kind of a RNG bitch though, to be honest, right? That was a that was a bit of an RNG bitch. The whole time was just you don't know what it's going to do. It's like, I'm going to throw five grenades in a row. And you're like, great, dude. Like, I'm going to throw three grenades and shoot you in the middle. You know? <laughs> Item menu doesn't pause the game. No, it doesn't. Once you're on this, like when you're in this menu, that's it. That's where you're at. Oh. Which one of these was the... It wasn't this one, because this one's the special thing, right? Yeah, this is the special sword, which we can't access yet. Was it bottom right? We're gonna go try and kill the uh, librarian now. You think? Yeah, I don't know. Ugh. 
Hands are all crunchy, dude. Yeah, this is the one. Alright, so I don't know anything about this boss yet. I know that he summons adds. That's about it, right? Also that he's far away all the time, which is obnoxious. Oh yeah, I should probably use that save point, shouldn't I, before I go do this. Before I go fight the Jedi warrior, dude. So that way I don't teleport to the other save point. Yeah, good call, dude. 100%. I don't think there's anything that I can do outside of this. No, I think I'm good. Alright, so what I'm going to use on this is I'm going to use the grappling hook because he's always off the, the platform for some reason. And I'm going to see if that works. No, you don't. I'm going to get my basics in. Jesus, get out of the potion. Oh, missed. Okay, missed him again. Oh, come on. Pretty sure I dodged that. He's so rotating. I don't know what just happened there. So that looks like it's a, a vertical slice. It's actually a horizontal one. It's hard to tell the depth of it. I gotta get better at that. So the hook shot and the freeze actually worked really well. Worked really, really well. It's supposed to be easy. It's not really that easy. It's fun. I think the fireball spell may be better. Maybe? That actually might not be a bad idea. I'm gonna try to use fireball and freeze. Hey, buddy. He just takes so much damage from a sword. I'm gonna try to dodge through that each time. Yeesh. Yeah, this is kind of broke. Now 
That didn't work. Okay, shield barely does anything in this fight. See, that should have had iframes on it, just didn't. Which is really weird. That fight is all dodging. It's all dodging. There's just so much stuff to dodge. Wait. He had the green piece? Wait a minute. That's it? I thought the green piece was going to be something else. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. No, I don't think I've finished the game yet, bud. There's still more to look at. Now you are the tunic? I don't know if I am yet. I don't think I've finished yet. Yeah, there's still more to look at. And there's also this one over here I haven't even found yet. Right? And then there's whatever this is up here. See, there's all the different sacrifice items that I can give, too. I'm going to go turn in the pieces. I think this might be the closest one. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait, no, I think this is the forest place. Yeah, it's the forest vault. We don't need this anymore. So, I think that the hardest fight out of all of this so far was... Probably the big robot. Legitimately. I think that the scavenger was actually easier than the big robot. And I think the easiest one was definitely the guy at the top of the tower. Like, that was, that was kind of a meme. Comparatively to the others. The hell? There we go. Rise, damn it. There we go. How much gold do I have? 735? I think there's anything I really want to buy. What are those? What are what? The scavenger? Or... The things I'm talking about? Let's go see. The siege engine was rough, dude. The reason why it was rough? I didn't know you could run. I had no idea you could run. I thought it was just dodging and walking this speed. I beat the giant robot moving this fast. <laughs> so that was probably the hardest one for me, because I had no idea you could run. The physics pulled me through the boss, too. I think that was the weirdest part about that boss, is the physics, man. There's a the second one. Lots of ice. Oh, a lot of ice. I used his own bombs against him, though, so that actually helped a ton, too. Same thing with Scavenger. 
It seemed like both the other bosses, you could use their own abilities against them, but I guess the guy at the top of the tower, you really couldn't, could you? I think he was the only one you couldn't do that with. But he was also, like, the weakest in terms of his... his health, so... Oh. Alright, let's see. Okay... Achievement unlocked. What now? I guess it's time to go back to the other realm. Are we sure exhuming Gygax is the right thing to do? Yes. Yes, it is. 100%. Bring him back. The world needs him now. Here we go. Actually, I wonder if we can get the sword now. Is the fox a weapon? Oh, I don't like that one. Bro, what? 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 So I guess you can't go to the realm of the dead for the dead, is what I've learned from this. Um, when you're dead and you go to the realm of the dead, you go to the realm of the double dead, and it looks like this. It's bad. Table of contents. Great. Well, that all seems good in there. Let's, uh, let's leave. So I guess I'm just dead now. That's kind of cool, right? It's good to be dead, I guess. Hello. I can't speak your language. You're dead. And I'm also dead. Wait a minute. All of the places that I went in and looted, I bet they have people in them now. Well, fox people. They do. All the fox spirits are here. Well, great. Now I'm dead. There's foxes everywhere. Shout out for Double King, a legendary animation. Oh, dude. I think his name is, what, Felix? Is it Felix Colgrave? His, his stuff? What is this? Something bad. Very good. Well, I feel like something bad is in here. Yeah, Felix Colgrave stuff is amazing, dude. Fourth key? Siege engine. She is a weapon. Hero is a fool.
We activated a machine. We activated a, a weapon. Hmm. We were the bad guy all along. Weep. Weep. Oh. Weep. We're the bad guy all along, dude. Mama Fox was evil. We screwed up. Oh god, okay, wait. Now I can touch it. Oh god, I can't! It was a ruse! Touching that was a bad idea. I thought maybe the mask would work, and it didn't. I can't jump. Ghosts don't breathe? How dare you. Maybe we do. You don't know about ghosts, alright? I've got less than two health pips now. And there's... Yeah, I can't jump. Too dead. Sucks. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm gonna get them back now. Why does sleeping when I'm dead make me more rested and bring my health back? Hmm. Also, I legitimately have less mana, too. Like, just a ton of less mana, health, everything. This is awful. My power is stripped away from me. What the? There's like a dude down there. Spirit can rest though. Uh, we still can't get in there. Hmm. None of these count either. All my offerings are gone. It's not good. How did you die? Well, I released God and then she killed me. So, I got that going for me, which is nice. Swamp? Swamp? I think I've seen a swamp. Should've cast gun, dude, I'm telling you. I know, right? Should've cast gun. Cathedral? Ghost. Oh, look at this. That's right! Ghost Bridge. Ghost bridge? Ghost ladder? What now? What now? God is weak to gun, I've seen it in anime. It's probably true. Hello. Cathedral, moonlight. Big fight. This is all reconnected. It shouldn't be. They ripped out one of the plugs here. Old burying ground. Okay. It's a graveyard. So many weird areas over here. Oh? Aha! A berry! Well, three berries, actually. Dude, this is bad. Super dead. Hey, you're back. You gonna sell me the same stuff? We have a new coin? Oh. Well, I'm gonna have to save up for that coin then. Glad to see the graveyard opens for the dead, at least, you know. What? That ain't fair. What is this? Where are you? Show yourself. Oh god, it's gonna kill me, actually. I can't- I can't dodge, I was in water. 
Why can I die as a ghost? Why can I die twice? Yeah, you can't dodge when you're in water. Triple dead. Okay. No. That's interesting. Wow, that, uh... So... Getting my soul back revealed them. That's weird, right? Because it does damage to everything nearby when you do that. So you just have to hit them once. And then they die. Interesting. No, you don't. Alright, I understand them now. They're weird as hell, but... Mana! I understand. Water is okay, but I can't dodge in the water. That's the problem, right? And these guys kill me in two hits. So I really gotta be careful about it. Yeah, you can't dodge in water. Once you're in it, you're in it, and it's it's like glue. Coin! Hell yeah! Okay, so we're going to an old temple, it looks like. Okay. Looks like only the ones with the red eyes. Shit. He brought me literally to one HP. What? <laughs> that was a little bit weird. Literally brought me to one HP and reduced my maximum health, too. God damn. When you're a ghost, fighting stuff sucks. I'm just gonna say. Ads are about to start, by the way. We'll pause when the ads are going. Yeah, off the map you go. Ghost brain. What is this? All right, cool. We got our, our fast travel back. Nice little fast travel location. I think that actually goes directly to this. Yeah, nice. All right. I wonder if we can even see ourselves in the book now. A long, long time ago. The power to defy death. So they had these three things... And some kind of a crystal that gave them the power to defy death. Coveted in a forest temple, stolen to the top of the sky, sealed at the roof of the world. So we got all three of those. Again, the same battle fought uncountable times. 
then how did I die? How did I die for real? Was it because that's the thing that's able to end their immortality? You try to translate the language in the manual? Manual? Yeah. Probably not on stream. We'll probably do it on Discord. It'd be kind of fun. Hmm. I've gotten like two golden coins since I've died. You can do it. Garden Knight. Now here's the thing that's really interesting. I went to go fight her. I went to go get the sword first. I didn't go release her first. Would things be different if I went to go release her first? Instead of going to the sword first? I don't know. I actually have no idea. Want to know? No. I don't. I want to find out. Down you go, bud. Made out of magic because you're a ghost. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe we regain our power by going into the places where the hero died. I need to get down there. How do I get down there? I can see it, but how do I get there? There might not be a way to get there just yet. I may have to go through the dungeon first, actually. That's going to be my guess. Yeah, because there's a pathway down below. <laughs> Makes sense that things drop mana when they die. Makes sense that the monoliths drop mana. Oof. Very oof, my dude. That's probably not good, right? How many times have I died? There it is, that's the crystal that brings undeath. Or undying, or whatever it's gonna be. That's the one. How do I go downwards? Praying here seems like a bad idea. But it's still letting me do it. Nothing bad is happening. Hmm. Hmm. Let me go this way. Wanna see something funny? Didn't work. What? That's what I'm talking about. That was clearly in immunity frames. That was 100% clearly in immunity frames. God damn it. Like, obviously that was in immunity frames. Still hit me. That's the part that bothers me. Also, it gets you to 1 HP. Like, Jesus, man. Nice. 
manos. Jesus Christ. I wonder if wearing the mask would even save me from that corruption damage. I don't think it would. <laughs> Did he just roll under the floor and then swing, like, from behind it? What just happened there? What? Seven. What the odd as hell just happened there? It looked like he rolled across the floor and then stabbed me in the kidney. Jesus Christ, man. Thank you, by the way. Thank you for the Prime sub. Yeah, I'm just gonna run past these. These are stupid, man. See you, nerd. Ah! Holy shit, dude! That's like a badass version of one. Holy crap! It hunted me down and tried to eat my lunch. I don't like my lunch getting eaten. Why run when I have, you know, spike traps? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ooh. Don't let the peppers kill me. <sighs> Alright. I'm running out of magic. I got no HP. I'm a ghost. Why? Why did that not hit anything? Come on. Bird enemies, dude. Oh my god, come on. Come on! It definitely makes them tougher, by the way. When they have... When they're frozen, it, like, increases their defense a little bit. It's so rough, too, because I know if I get hit one more time, I'm going to die. Berries. Good old magic berries. Wait a minute. There's a lot more of those guys down there. Oh, come on. Let's think about this. I'm going to go the other way first. 
Hey! Okay, I'm glad I went the other way first. Look at this. Shortcut. And bombs. God, I love bombs. And stuff. Nice. Okay. Get back to my maximum HP again. There we go. Alright. Let's see here. What? His reaction time is that fast? Are you kidding me? That's so obnoxious, dude. Fine. I'll just sit here with no HP. That was super bogus, dude. Because while they're standing up, they're not attackable. Yeah, maximum ghost HP. That's true. Now they're going to be respawned. Let's see if I can come up with a better way to kill these. There's got to be a better way, right? Do you think gun is a good way to kill these guys? I feel like gun. You think a ghost would die to a gun? Gun is the strongest of magics. Alright, let's do this. His swing is faster than my swing. His swing is faster than my swing, dude. Literally, if we swing at exactly the same time, his connects before mine does by like 25%. I didn't miss. We literally swung at the same time and they were faster than me, dude. Go look at the clip. Go clip it. You'll see. I didn't miss. There's nowhere to miss. I'm facing right at him. I'm locked onto him, though. Ridiculous. Oh, there's got to be a better way to kill these goddamn things. That's one. Yeah, pop all your gold out of your head. Get out of my way. You know what the Chilean plant does? Yes. Chile increases your melee attack. Plant, I think, does it to stamina or something like that. Maybe this is why they gave me so many berries. More gun, dude. Oh. Nerds. Yeah, gun's a pretty damn good spell, I gotta say. No, sir, I don't like that. Not one bit. Not even a little. Not even a lot. Oh, God. Okay, do I have to do something with this? Do I have to pray to it? It's trying to get near me. Here we go. Still having fun? Yes. The cage door. I may have made a mistake. Just a little bit. I may have. It stands to reason that I have made a mistake, and the floor is now a lot of skulls. And I think those... The Wiggler is loose. I repeat. The Wiggler has escaped. The SCP has broken containment. It is time to leave. Oh, it is time to leave. Alright. 
I don't actually need anything. Okay, I guess I'll do that anyway. I was trying to dodge roll past it. Hey, everybody. I'm going to piss all of you off so that you all come this way, and then I'm going to shoot you all with a gun at the same time, because guns are great. Are you just... Look at the one in the back, just meandering in place. Whoa. All right. Neat. Those are like level one zombies, dude. It's like they don't quite remember. They don't quite remember how to fight. They know they're supposed to, but they don't. They don't really know, right? What is this? Oh. Well, goodbye then. Hello, other ominous thing. I think the closer, the more damage the gun does. Really? Do I have to do a boss fight as a ghost, dude? Please, no. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> ah! What? No. What? Why am I blocking at nothing? Did you see that? My character lost target. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did it just summon a second one? Did you see that? Dude, how am I supposed to do this? With one, like with two pips of health, are you kidding me? How is this supposed to be possible? It feels a bit unfair, yeah. Carefully? Look at that. Well, shit. Um... Let's think about this. This is a bit rough. Is there no other way for me to upgrade my gear? Or upgrade my character in any way? Is it just this? Is it just make or break? Just beat the boss, five head, dude. I mean, this is going to be the little sprite dudes. Hey, that's a lot more sprites than I was expecting. Holy shit. <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> Bro, what? Bro, what? Try fireball? No, you don't have any mana. You can cast it like 12 times. And it wouldn't even one-shot him anyway, because my sword isn't one-shotting them. This is nuts, dude. I'm going to try gun. Yeah, it seems like you can choose the encounter you get. You can. But does that mean that we can only, only have to do one of them, or can we do them all, right? Do we have to do them all? I have no idea. God damn it. No. Holy shit. <laughs> I turned around, I was like, oh, I'm gonna AoE code him. And the moment that I did it, it just killed the bottom row of them and then nothing else. Because it's a flat fan. It's not a cone. How about summoning everything? That seems like a bad idea, my dude. 
Holy shit. We got 16 shots of this. That's not even going to one-shot him. You can't block these attacks? No, you get you get two blocks and you're out of stamina. They're shooting like... And then you're dead, right? Because I'm a ghost right now, I don't have any stamina. Actually, this is working. It's one-shotting them, which normally it would not. So, cool. That was absolutely the strat. You were totally right. That's one. Shit. What are these? Pig guys. Okay. No, wait. Those are not pig guys. Those are little wolf dudes. Ah! <laughs> well, alright. If you insist. Two. Okay, swords, guys. These other ones just run away. You running away, bud? You gonna come back? Hopefully they stay beat if you die. I don't think they do. The reason I don't think they do is because there's no save point here, right? The save point is up above. Which means they won't. Which means I need to use all of my consumables correctly because the consumables do stay eaten afterwards. These ones are really, really nasty. Even when I was very strong, they were nasty. These ones actually aren't so bad. Oh shit, okay. There's a lot of them. This might end up being a problem. I'm going to use a bomb on him. 
How many more of these damn things is it going to spawn? You done yet? Okay, you're done now. Easy. That's definitely the strat. Okay. Let's think about this. TNT's the best. This one's gonna be terrifying, because these guys kill very, very fast. I'm going to go open this one because it looks like health. Cool. Got all my potions back. Weapon strategy I think I need to have for this one is actually gun. Because the gun does like half of its HP. Because I can do two gunshots and kill one. Happy birthday, Thor. I didn't know it was your birthday. It's probably because it's not my birthday. My birthday is in six months. <laughs> How dare you? What you playing? Tunic. What you playing? I am playing Tunic right now, and I'm on a boss rush section, and I have beaten six of them in a row, well five of them technically, and then a health thing, and um, now I'm into the boss, the last boss, and if I die at this, I have to start all over, so I hope I don't. Here we go. Eat it. Gun. Gun is the strongest. Where's the second one, goddammit? I'm waiting. Are you not entertained? Oh, I have the crown. I have the crown. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I'm so fancy. Oh, I can teleport. My dodge roll is a teleport now. Who needs immunity frames that don't work when you can just teleport, dude? Ooh. Ooh. It is I. 
the hero of legend. That was tough, actually. Now, I don't know if I want that just yet. Because there seems to be some secrets. Because we can go downwards somehow. And get that chest. I don't know how. I don't know how. Alright. I'm just gonna do it. <sighs> can I ask a question? Absolutely. What do you want? What's up, dude? This is how. We're doing it! Now I have to go to each one of the locations where they died. Hell yes! This is how we become a powerful ghost. I wish to cheese! I wish to cheese! I can't cheese. I have no idea. I don't actually use Godot, so I wouldn't be able to answer that for you. However, we have a Discord, and the Discord has about 4,100 people in it. It's quite a lot. And there is a section in there specifically for Godot developers. So if you ask in there, you may get an answer. I don't use Godot, though, unfortunately. So I wouldn't be able to help you with that. This is interesting. Who needs jumping when you can just teleport to the other side? That's true. I don't want to tell. I don't want to jump anymore. I just want to teleport. I gotta get used to that. Like, I really gotta get used to that, man. Oh, it's so weird. I have to think about the whole game, like, every environment completely differently. Sick. Did I just teleport up that? It was weird. Oh! <laughs> it's so weird! How many places can I go like this? Nothing can stop me now, can it? This is ridiculous. Zoomies. I got the zoomies, dude. Yes! My stamina bar has color now because I found where the hero had died. So like that hero death location, we have to keep getting those. I have to go pray at them now. You know, I feel like... I feel like this part would have been good to know earlier so that I didn't, you know, die to this. Probably... It's probably important, right? Probably really important to have that information. It's a, tis a spoiler, indeed. Tis a spoiler. Whoa! God, this feels great. Hello. It is I, the Fox Man. Still can't read your text. Can I go in this yet? Let me in. Let me in! Well, let me in. That's upsetting. Oh. Out of energy. Squeaky ghost fox noises? It's true. Still not gonna let me in. I got the zoomies, dude. 100%. I gotta get good at that, too. Because that's gonna be... This is why I'm doing this. Is I need to practice the angles on this. Because if I don't... I'm gonna fail at every boss fight. Because I know, now that they've given me this... They're gonna make it mandatory. And it's gonna be bad shit. Like, super hard to do these boss fights now. With perfect timing. Because I can teleport now and they know it. <laughs> it's exactly how that's gonna and I know it's gonna be that way now I can collect the pages that were surrounded by water now that's true but I could also go over to this and get inside of there hmm 
Uh, what's up, bud? Holy Cross, Hero's Grave, Door in the Mountains, Fairies? Hints and Clues, Old Burying Ground, Checkpoint, Dead. Interesting. The Ruined Atoll. There we go. So this is to show where all those locations are. We gotta get our attack back up. Hi. Now I can't get in there, because it's covered in garbage. We don't like garbage. But maybe I can go down here? I can actually dash a considerable number of times this way, too. It's actually made me faster. Because normally you can only dash a couple of times, but, like, look at this, right? Look how ridiculous this is. It uses, like, no energy. Something bad. Seek the Golden Path. Yo, got back from dinner, where we at? Well, currently, um, I fought God and lost, but now I have the power of God and anime on my side, so I can teleport like Naruto. So I'm gonna go back and kill God. Seems like the right thing to do. We've done it. I have another sticky. Do for this one. Uh, uh, I don't know which one I want to do. That one's kind of cool, because that makes me terrifying when I get low HP. This, I don't even know what it does. This makes me do more damage, but have less defense, which is fine. But what are these? What is this? What is this one here? I have no idea what that does. I'm just going to do that. Ten. You're so much better at collecting coins than I was. I'm really all about it. Is this broken even from this one? It's not broken from this one. God is in there and terrifying. I need to not mess with God just now. But you can't stop me from using this dimension. Nice. Siege engine. They're upset because I activated the siege engine because I didn't know. I didn't know it was a bad thing, right? Well, it's not here anymore. Let's go find out where the, um... The hero's death was. It's in this place. Yeah, we gotta regain ourselves and then kick God's ass. That's completely cr Oh... Oh, this place got weird! Wasn't the siege engine the boss? No, they were just- They were talking about the siege engine being the thing that is activated when you do all three of the tokens. At least as far as I could tell. I might be wrong. Oh, not this crap again. Hold up. I need a gun. Because gun is good. Come on. Come on. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm just going to kill you. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. You're cool. Now turn into two of them. Yeah. 
Eat it. Oh, shit. I really gotta just start using this. Why am I even blocking? Why do- why even waste my time? Acting like I'm, you know, immortal. I just teleport around. You know, I just leave. See ya. <laughs> oh, those spider things, by the way, they used to be fox people. It's kind of grim. Yeah. It's horrifying. It's deeply terrifying. Now I have health. At least I think this is the health one. I know, there is treasure back. We'll be back. It's fine. I won't look at the creepy fox people. I got health. Now I can be even more of a bullet sponge. I'm ready, dude. Oh, this is so pretty, though. The game is so damn pretty. It really is. Money! Love money. Nah. I don't really feel like fighting those. Unless they drop something. What if they dropped something of value? What if they just lit themselves in fire and died? Ah, oh, what if I lit myself in fire and then died? What if I can't stop, stop, drop, and roll because I'm dead and I teleport? would have hit me. God damn it. That's so awful, dude. It one-shot me. It just completely removed my bones, dude. Oh my god. I don't even want to play with you. You're terrifying. Go away. Yeah, all my bones. I have bones. That's what the last- that's what the last buff did, didn't you realize? Yeah. Yeah, it replaced my bones. I'm a ghost with bones now. Yeah. That's what it- that's why I have health. Fortified. Fortified ghost. Got my calcium going. You prefer me boneless? They did too! That's why they removed my bones! I need those, though. I like my bones. I don't like being deboned. It's not good. All right, so that's God, and is terrifying. Let's go over here. Nothing worse than a bone. I like bones, dude. I like having them. I need them to like pilot my flesh suit, right? You got a meat meat suit over the top of a skeletal mech. That's what it is. Piloted by about a pound of meat, right? Oh, there's chests in here now. Ghost chests? These weren't here when I was alive. Does that mean that the chest died and then... And now they're, now they're here? Is that... Hello? What is that? Oh, that was a diamond. I'm just stealing from the dead. Okay. Well, you can't climb up anymore. So what is this place? What does it mean now? Oh, I killed you. The air. Defeat. Holy Cross. So I'm the air. And I have to defeat whatever that horrible thing is, right? Whatever's over there takes bones. I'm getting away from that. Probing graves as a corpse yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't I rob graves, right? I'm dead. I'm allowed. Who's going to stop me? Government can't tax you when you're dead. It's true. 
All right, let's think about this. Where am I gonna go? Oh, that guy's alive now. And he's stronger than anything I've ever seen in my life. Now. You know, I'm fast now. What? <laughs> what was that? What was that swing? <laughs> it was like... Still managed to kill me next to him, dude. I'm telling you, some of the hit detection of this is a meme. Oh my god. He was like... Dead. Moon sweep, dude. And he, he one-shot me, too. That's even the better part. I literally just died. Instantly. From full. Some boss animation? Dude, there's a lot of this stuff that's weird. Iframes don't work. Physics is wonk. Boss animations are strange. That being said, the game's fun as hell. So it doesn't even matter. Hey, bud. That's a gun. Did you see that? You see how ridiculous that just was? What the hell was that? Nah. Not today. Not today. He does a full 180 as he swings, dude. Not today. Not today. Garbage machine. Get out. Okay, that didn't work out well. Sir? Damn it, it kills you in one hit from full. This can't be this way. There has to be another way. There has there has to be another way. None of these are working. There has to be another way. It's even worse too, because this guy is just gonna be he's gonna be there again. Both of them are going to be there again. Do you have that weak defense stuff and still defense zero? Yes. But it also doubles my attack. Like, it increases my attack dramatically, man. So if I don't have that, I'm just never going to kill these things. Actually, that is the wrong thing to put on. Um, Because if I take this off, what am I going to put on instead? This? We'll see if they can kill me in one hit now. Wait a minute. He didn't come back. What? He died for real. Eat it. Gun. Yeet. Okay. I don't feel like that one should have hit me, by the way. You see how much longer this is taking, but he didn't kill me in one hit, so I guess that's fine. Whoa!
All right. Well, I've killed them both. But, uh... What do I do? I guess they're dead. Oh, here we go. Give me back my power! Whatever it's going to be, give it back to me. Give it back to me immediately. Oh, it's magic this time. Oh, I love magic. Yes. Delicious. Eat the large mushroom. My mushroom power has been restored. Now I just need all those stats. Like, attack, defense. Bong. Alright. I will say, the monster's 180 when he goes to swing is rather ridiculous. Yeah, I use Tincture. I like it. It's fun. Increase me the damages. You don't have to have defense if you don't get hit. But unfortunately for me, I get hit a lot. So, that's going well for me. I wonder if I can reactivate this, can I? No. We've gotten three pieces back now. So that's the one to go to the start. This one is apparently gone. This one is... God in death form. We shouldn't have let her out. Alright. Not going in there just yet. We're gonna go try and find the other ones. The air was the boss's name? I didn't know if I, that was the air or if I was the air. I don't know which one it is. But I do know that I hate that boss. And it needs to die. Hello. Gardens. Okay. Gardens indeed. Hmm. A terrible power rises. The world is thrown into ruin. Oh. A prison and a beacon, awaiting a worthy successor. All right. So she was imprisoned there. And I have to kill her to succeed her. It is the way. Whoop. Can I use this yet? Let me in! Not yet. You'll become evil too? I mean, maybe, right? You know? Maybe a little bit evil as a treat, right? Maybe not all the way evil. Maybe just like evil on the weekends. You know, we're feeling good. Feeling fresh on the weekend. Maybe do a little bit of evil for funsies. Right? I need to be in. I'm in. Can't be in there. Gotta go this way. Down. Into the poison pits. Oh, I can go get that chest now. S 
so I, I think there's a problem uh, just a little bit. I feel like there may be an issue with this place. You know, just... Maybe. Oh, those are bombs. Let me just go revive myself again. Very cool. Silly me. Now this is one of the ones that I wanted earlier in the game, and now I know how to get it. I can keep doing... Sacrifices. Good. But wait, who am I offering to at this point? Am I offering it to myself? Like... Who does this go to? You know what I mean? Goes to your mom? No. Oh. Hey, it does protect us when we're a ghost. This was something I didn't get to try before, actually, because I didn't have the mask. So we can't pray to it. It won't work. Oh, what? Well, there's no way up there. Let's try checking this out. It's ads time, by the way. So we're going to wait until the ads are over. I want to see how many pages I'm actually missing. We're missing the cover. And page one and two. Unless the cover is that, which seems unlikely. There was hybrid low? Oh, we'll see it when the ads are over then. Twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, forty. I think we just need the cover. Oh wait, no. It goes 40 to 50, so I'm missing a bunch of pages in here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm missing the front cover and the back cover. And then a bunch of pages between 40 and 50. Yeah, it should be a bunch of pages in there then. So it'll be four pages, and then two for the front and back. Don't worry about it, Winter Night. I'll get to it. I'm checking everything. We, we've only been dead a little while, alright? I got a lot of ghost stuff to do. Gotta take... I gotta go and do my ghost laundry. I gotta take out my ghost dog. I gotta clean up after it, right? You know how awful it is to pick up ghost dog poop? It's gross, dude. You go to pick it up, it just falls right through your hands. It disappears underground. You gotta go fish the thing out, man. It sucks. Nobody wants that. I have no ghost dog? You don't know that. You don't know what I have. Shit, man. Okay, I thought I had a different weapon on my on my B. I was trying to use the gun, and then I was like, why isn't it working? Switch back to gun, please? Thanks. Alright, this is not good. I thought those things were my friends. Because I was doing nice things with them, right? But I guess I was wrong.
So the frost actually worked quite well on that. I'm going to do that again. Wow, dude. My shield was up and it broke it instantly. Holy shit. All right, let's think about this. I need to start dodging. That thing is nuts, dude. That thing is absolutely bonkers. Let's cover it in bombs. Angry purple taffy, man. It's true. Should have left that on there, to be honest with you. What? I'm just gonna die. <laughs> it's not about me having defense or not. That was stupid. That was like an epic meme, dude. Yeah, there's nothing to do with me having any defense. You have to understand, like, I have teleport powers now. What I should be doing is practicing not getting hit. Not allowing myself to get hit and living and wasting all my potions. That's not really what I need to be doing. So what I'm going to do on this... Let me think about this. I have to have this because the gas is in here, which is stupid. I don't even know what this one does. I have no idea what that card does at all. This one, I don't know what it does either. Yeah, please don't tell me what the cards are. And if you if you spoil something in chat, my mods will time you out. Or ban you. So keep that in mind. What? It's frozen and its attack still hurt me. That doesn't seem correct. That seems really, really not okay, actually. No, you can't run. Too much wind up on that. I gotta switch my spells. How does max HP get so low? I froze the monster, and while it was frozen, its attack was in front of me. And I touched it while it was frozen, and it still did damage to me, and it dropped my maximum health to one. Which is not something I think should have happened, to be honest with you. I really don't think that that was fair, frankly. I think that if, if the monster's frozen, its attack should not be, a, you know, it shouldn't be able to hurt you. Potions here are useless on this fight. Once I get hit once, it's over, right? Once, one HP. Second time, dead. I am allowed one mistake during this encounter. Which is fine. That's great. I only sleep five hours a day. That's true.
So it's just sitting there taking this, by the way. Which seems quite funny to me. And that's going to give me a bunch of mana back. Oh. Now we're smart, are we? He hit me before my character could get up. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's outrageous. What a fight, dude. I got juggled 100%. That's pretty good. I didn't expect to get juggled like that. That was nuts. Gonna do this again. Cheese away. Okay. He didn't like the cheese, guys. Stuck on the goddamn wall. Get off the wall. My timing's wrong on this one. Doesn't feel right. Oh wow, a little bit of mana. That's just what I needed. Holy shit, dude. That was nasty. Now here's the thing. Did that get me anything? Did that unlock something in here? I don't know if it did or not, you know what I mean? Thor, are those red potions really useless in that fight? Yes, because I only have one HP. The red potions only heal HP that I have, and I don't have any. Right? Kinda doubt it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't actually know what this is. Ah, I did open it. Yeah, red potions don't work on that fight. When you're at 1 HP, red potions do nothing. They're only there to recover HP that you actually have, and your maximum is dropped to 1 when it hits you. This will make my potions work again, which is kind of cool. Shame there isn't blue potions? There is. I actually should have swapped to that. 
Yeah, the mana potions technically would have been useful, but to be honest with you, it was easier to dodge and attack the boss, and it was good practice. So I think that's fine. It's gonna make me better at using this. I need to get used to not blocking, because I, I spent the whole first half, half of the game blocking because it wasn't a ghost that could teleport. You know, like... <laughs> so now I gotta get used to dodging everything and becoming very fast and good and, like, you know, good timing with this. It's totally different gameplay. Blocking's still good, but this is incredibly powerful. It's very, very nice. And in certain situations, I need to know when to swap between the two. On that fight, that was a dodge fight. That was not a blocking fight. <clears throat> Considering how much stamina blocking takes, I'm going to only use blocking when I need to. When it's something that has to be blocked, which is not that fight. The whole world is poisoned now and you need to repair the grave? No, not really. A lot has happened. It's very weird. Got the power of my potions back though, so that's good. Yeah, I know, right, Ghost Word? Everything. Everything has changed. I have to kill God, you know. Normal stuff. Ah. Yeah, God killed me, so I'm a ghost now, but then I killed a bunch of dudes in a boss rush, and now I have the power of God and anime on my side, so now I'm doing this. You know, so I could go back and kill God. As you should. That's how it works. Oh, I can't go down. chest that I opened up before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Session 1, save a cat. Session 20, kill God. Normal ghost question mark. That's interesting. So that's just talking about what's happening to me there. So that's the pages 42 and 43. I know how to open doors. It's button presses. Down, right, up, left, up, right. Okay. Down, right, up, left, up, right. Very cool. Hidden Secrets, The Golden Path, Overworld. That's one of the ones that I saw before. Interesting. Take your rightful place. Okay, now i got to find all the ways where there's doors. But this one, this is the big one. Holy Cross. That's the Holy Cross. Okay. I don't have any more coins. I have ten of them in there. There's another doorway right here. Now. Oh. I do it wrong? Down, right, up. 
left, up, right. Down, right, up, left, up, right. Why? <sighs> there's another one. I think there's another one. There's one right there. I guess it doesn't open that door. That door is special. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that door upside down? I can't tell. Yeah! It's upside down! Do I have to do... I'm gonna hold my controller upside down and hit the buttons. Down, right, up, left, up. No? No. No. Hmm. Its symbol is upside down, but I think it's... Maybe it's also flipped? You know the game's broken when you're holding your controller upside down? No, you don't. No, you don't. Maybe it has to be backwards. Maybe I have to do the up part first. An anonymous gifter gave looks easy, tear one's up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. What if it just needs to be mirrored? Mirrored and upside down? No. Hmm. Hmm. What if we do it backwards and upside down? I'm never gonna surrender in this. I'll tell you one thing, I know this combo very well now. What if it isn't a door? Oh, it's definitely a door. It's the same symbol as the doors. And if we go to the map, if we go back to the map, check this out. I have been trying to get into this door the entire game because it's right there and it shows a door on it. But it's upside down. Which makes me want to do the combo backwards, right? Let's take a look at the page. Because that's the one where it's... Uh, see, that's right side up. Oh, wait a minute. Down, right, up. Left, up, right. That's why it's like that. It's the pattern. Hold up. Up, left, down, right, down, 
left, up, left, down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right. Well, that wasn't correct. So maybe it's the, from the other side. Right? Because I started, I started on the top piece, the little fat line there. Maybe we have to start at the bottom. Left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, right, down, right, up, left, up, right, down. Also should be fast. Well, that didn't work. Doing it fast didn't work. I'm trying to do the one on the right, because in this one, it's the one on the right. So I'm going to try it backwards. Ah, screwed it up. One sec. You tried speaking friend? I know, right? I'm doing the one, the door on the right. Because this one is door on the right. That's the tracing for the door on the right. That's the golden cross. So if it's that's that's the one on the right, I'm going to try the one on the right. Maybe the door needs some oiling, dude. Okay. Nope, that didn't do it. I did it fast, too. Okay. Nope. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. I've tried this one both directions. I've tried this one both directions. Huh. The top piece is kind of thicker. Try to reset before attempts. Like get out of the room and come back in. That might actually be it. Nope. Is this a puzzle? I don't think we're reaching here, man. I don't think we are. And the reason why is because, look at this. This is a door. This is how the puzzles open the other doors. It makes sense. I'm going to try the one out here first. Because there's one right over there, right? It's like a weird version of the other doors. And it shows a, a door on the map. So, maybe it's not a door. Maybe I'm wrong. But it seems like it would be. Because if we go to this one, and I hit down, right, up, left, up, right. See? That's, that's it. Works. But that one's way more complicated. Fire sword? Interesting. Blueberries? What does the fire sword do? That's my kind of gameplay right there, bud. Oh, that's going to be an interesting one. Because now I'm at critical health, which means both of these are activated the whole time. Oh, boy. Hmm. Have you tried the inner path? Down, left, up, right, down, right? Yeah, I've tried all of those. This is a completely different way right here. Like, this is a totally different path, right? Like, none of the patterns work. So I might be doing it wrong. Do you need... <laughs> Do you need a low HP defense boost or 1 HP? I probably don't, right? 
I probably don't need that. What would I put in this last spot? What does this even do? I have no idea what that even does. Have you tried repeating inputs based on length of line? That'd be really hard to do, because at that point you don't really know how many it is, right? And the other puzzles didn't work that way, so it seems unlikely. Yeah, it's not like the other doors. There's no diamond in the pattern. You're totally right about that. Which is kind of interesting. It saves you at 1 HP? What if you're already at 1 HP, though? Like me. You know. A moron. <laughs> How do you play this game? By the seat of my pants. I need to get down there. And this does not seem to be the way down. There doesn't seem to be a way down anymore. There's purple coming out of there, which is not good. It's bad, even. Let's go this way. Very confident gamer, or incredibly dumb. Hmm. I like to call this the get good scrub build. That's what that is. Like 100% get good. Okay, music chimes. Let's see if we can go in here. Wait, what is this? Don't tell me your health is stuck like that. Oh, yeah, it is. Hmm. It didn't do anything. All of the offering items are in here. It's kind of interesting. Oh, what's up? You've gotten further than me in this game? That is awesome. How is it now that you've played it for a while? Oh, I liked it before, and I really like it now. Ads are playing, by the way. We're going to wait a minute. Oh, yeah, this game has a massive amount of secrets, dude. So we found this thing, and I can get into those now. But I don't... I don't know... There's still more pieces we have to get before I can go and fight God, right? It's kind of where that's at. There's a ton of secrets in this game, dude. Absolutely massive. I've gotten these set up to be gold for a couple of my stats, but, like, not very many. If we go and look at this, I still need attack and defense, which is kind of a problem, right? Is it the key for the other door? I don't know. Maybe? Oh, no, Magical Star, you're totally fine with the Lost Ark stuff, dude. Were you able to get your account back? Tell me about that. This is on Game Pass, so maybe I'll dip your toe. Or dip your toe? Yeah, do it. Do it 100%. You should absolutely play this. It's quite fun. And there's a lot of stuff that I haven't done yet. Secrets and stuff that I haven't played with. Although I will say, interestingly enough, I think that the right sticker for me now isn't health potions. It's mana. So if I take this off, and I switch this to mana potions... Uh, now I can use the power of gun at all times. They were useless before, but now I have no HP, so... What's the point, right? Who cares? Now I can freeze something and then shoot it. And then freeze it and then shoot it and then use potions to get my mana back, right? Unlimited power! This is not a good idea. Why did you even get your HP back for? I can't. I can't get my HP back anymore. Because I have this sticker. 
that does something ridiculous. Where it makes me have no HP, but my damage is huge. Even though I haven't had a chance to use it yet, I know it will be. Because nothing in a game gives you one HP without making you broken. Okay, wait a minute. Up, left, down, right, down, left. That one was upside down. Memo? What? What is this? What? <laughs> what? The windmill has a puzzle on it? Bro, what? What do you mean the windmill has a puzzle on it, my dude? What in the name of science? Wait a minute. There's a potion. What? Oh god, there's so many things in here. I just don't understand. Alright, well I've gotten in here. I'm getting tunicked, man. I'm getting tunicked real hard. It's good. It's a good video game. Full of goodness. I have to say. Hey, Mr. Windmill. I have a question for you. It didn't do anything. That's weird, right? Oh wait, maybe I need to press both of them? Let's think about this. Okay. No, it's not doing anything. Okay, so we have to do the bottom section, and then the middle section. When it's on the right, we press the right, down, down, left, left, up, up. Okay, I understand now. Not the direction of the tear, not the direction that it looks like it's pointing. Okay, let's think about this. No, I, I keep trying to press it in the direction that it is pointing, and that's going to be a problem for me. Nope. I screwed it up. Because I keep pressing in the direction of the terror. It looks like an arrow. So it's like messing with my head. Okay, I gotta count these. There's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12. I pressed it wrong. I pressed the direction of the tear again. Son of a bitch. All right. One. I really don't like that. I wish it was like a square chip. I wish it was a chip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I didn't do it right. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Two of those windmill pieces are actually connected by a rope. Did you see that? Maybe those are the ones? There it is. Look at that. We're supposed to start on that one. Okay. I understand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did it. Four. I think you pressed it in wrong direction. Thanks, bud. Maybe press it in different direction. It's a good Maybe. idea. Thanks, Who bud. Knows? Also, happy birthday. You're cursed. Your birthday. Your five birthdays. Wait, now I gotta do the next one. This is tough. You think it's easy. It's not. Down, left, left, up, up, left. No. I 
hate that it looks like an arrow. I hate that it looks like an arrow. Down, left, left, up, up, right. I keep trying to press left on that one. It's going to drive me insane. Oh. Down, left, left, up, up, right, right, left, down, right, up, down. Nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing. Nothing happened. Guess I did it back, perfectly. Back again, raccoons back, tell a friend. Also so glad you finally got round to playing this I knew you would love it. Cannot wait to see the VOD when you figure out that this game is more than it seems. I'm already doing that. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. Down, left, left, up, up, right, right, left, down, right, up, down. How is that wrong? That was clearly correct. Mess the sec same one up again? Did I actually mess one up? Let me look at this. Down, left, left, up, up, right, right, left, down, right, up, down. How is that wrong? How am I doing this incorrectly now? It's it's where it connects. See that rope and then to the next one? I'm doing that correctly. That's how you're supposed to do it. <clears throat> it goes up. You you angle it. Please write No, I don't have to write them down first. Watch. Down, left, left, up, up, right, right, left, down, right, up, down. That's correct. Read the memo closer. Look at this, see this? There's a connection of a rope that says to go from this piece right here to this piece here. That's the one that I'm connecting. That's exactly where I'm going. So I'm going from this one to that one up there. That's not wrong. And I start here. You don't start from that? I don't start from that one. I start from this one right here, the one after it. You're doing it in reverse order? No, I'm not. I'm doing it around the outside, which is correct. Because you, the windmill turns this direction, and since it turns this direction instead of the direction in, in the thing here, you're actually doing this. I'm not doing it in reverse order. I'm not. There's no way I could. So because the windmill is turning like this, right? It's turning the opposite direction that it's showing here. I do this one, and then when the, the thing passes, I do this one, and then I do this one, and then I do that one, and then I do this one, and then this one, and then to the middle, and I do them around in a circle. How is that backwards? Like, how is... I keep pressing right instead of left in the inner circle? No way. Let me look at it. I'm not going to use paint. Down, left, left, up, up, right, right, left, down, right, up, down. That was perfect. 100%. That's what that was. It didn't do anything. I know the second rotation inside. That's exactly what I'm doing. So I start on this one on the outside, 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 inside, 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 inside. Nothing happened. That's what I'm doing. So... What do you want? It's not doing anything. Yeah, it should 100% work. I'm not doing it right. Like, I, based on the puzzle. Down, left, left, up, up, right, right, left, down, right, up, down. Done. Should that be inside the windmill? There'd be no way you could see it. How would you know? I don't know, dude. I don't think that puzzle works, man. Or it's not working for me for some reason. Maybe it's my controller? I have no idea. Do I have to use a keyboard? Maybe we have to use a keyboard, right? Can you use the arrow keys on the keyboard? I actually Time haven't played with the Time for some education keyboard. to lighten the mood and distract. Hey Thor, did you know 
that there is a species of frog in Alaska that freezes during the winter and while frozen, the frog stops breathing, its heart stops beating, its palms get sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on its sweater You're already, the worst. mom's spaghetti. Who made you this way? Thank you for the 100 bids. Use the keyboard when you do this? I'm gonna try with the keyboard. Down, left, left, up, up, right, right, left, down, right, up, down. Works on the keyboard. Didn't work with the controller. That's literally the problem. So annoying. <laughs> Sacred geometry! Yeah, it's, it's the controller, man. Maybe that's why that door didn't work. Uh Bad D-pad? No, D-pads are just kind of crunchy, man. Like, it's really hard to do that kind of stuff on a D-pad. I'm on an Xbox controller, so... I did. I got a thing. I don't know what it is. I got Sacred Geometry. Mm, sacred Geometry. Yeah, D-pads aren't super great for that kind of, like, precision. The Xbox D-pad is really shitty. So yeah, I'm not surprised. Let's try to do this now. Nope. Still doesn't work. You have the worst D-pad in the entire industry? No, exactly. Uh, Xbox D-pads are terrible. That's why I was like, dude, I'm doing this right. Like, I know I'm doing this right. We've tried that one on controller before. Yeah, I just did that one on keyboard. I'm gonna do all those trial four ways on the other end. No, I didn't. But that one also doesn't have a circle to tell you where to start, which the other door puzzles do, so. Hmm. That's why I was like, dude, there's no way I'm doing this wrong. Like, I know for sure I'm doing this right. Oh, wait. We don't have a way of using this yet, do we? I still don't know what to do here. There's a puzzle in the wall. Look at it. It's... It's one of those arrow puzzles behind the walls. How am I supposed to see it? Oh, wait a minute, because I can see half of it. Oh, no. Is this going to be a video on your own view of tubes, or do I need to vod it? It is going to be on YouTube. For a friend? It will be on YouTube, don't worry. wonder if I can touch that. Nope. Bad for my bones. Oh yeah, wait a minute. This. Doing it. Yeah, I saw a magical star. Yeah, this, they're probably going to take a while to respond to it. Secret gathering place. You mean the one I was just in? You mean that one? That's the one I was... God damn it. God damn it. Fine. I'll go back. Oh no, I just, I just, yeah, I saw the one that you, you did there. <sighs> Wait, they did what? I didn't read the rest of this. Holy moly, dude, you're having a rough day. Poor Magical Star. God damn. You're having a rough one. Up, left, up, right, down, right. Wait, that's just... 
up left up up left up right down right up left up right down right what are you doing what are you turning into what <laughs> up left up right down right it's two parts of a, a puzzle there's this it's not just one it's not just one i have to solve both halves oh. what could it be i just just can i just you know danger you're dangerous Whoppa. I'm dangerous. Yeet. Well, um, that seems impassable. <laughs> By completing the puzzle of the wall, I think I'll try that one later. That seems bad. You know, the whole universe deleted back there. It's probably not a good thing. I have no way of getting down there, is the problem. How does one get down there now? Can I get over there? Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm a gun. So I have sacred geometry, but it doesn't show up in my inventory. What does it do? I have no idea, actually. Oh, man. Probably save now that I picked up this sacred geometry thing. Maybe the sacred geometry can help. Is the fourth key the sacred geometry? No. It is not. Unfortunate. I've already done that. All right, let's think about this. I need... I already knew how to do... So I know how to do this now. The secret gathering place. There's a sealed temple quarry, east forest, 100% for that. Take your rightful place. What I need to do is come back and look at my map. We've got a musical note in the old house. Which I should probably go try to do now, because we found out that the controller is garbage for doing the puzzle. Right. That seems like a good idea. Because then maybe this will do something. Maybe. I don't know yet. I bet it has to match to the music. I bet it has to match to the music. Because the whole thing is music. Hmm. That means it's got to be fast, if that's the case.
Hmm. Oh yeah, the D-pad on controller not working properly is a big bummer, for sure. But that's not the game's fault, that's the controller's fault. 100%. Like, if you've never seen a... <laughs> My controller's grimy, dude. But uh, if you've never seen, like, a Xbox controller, this D-pad is trash. Because it's circular, but also has the points. So when you press down, it's actually sometimes pressing angles, right? And that's the issue. It's, like, not good. Yeah, so it's not it's not the game. That's not the game's fault. Yeah, I don't know if it's bars to click twice or if it's bars to hit the notes, right? Oh, it was bars to hit twice. Solved it. What up? Achievement unlocked. I'm free. Did I let- did I just let a fairy out? Is Navi out in the world now? That's not what you want. Put it back. I don't want- no, put it back. I- if I hear one, hey listen, I'm out, dude. Put it back. You put that thing back. You put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. Hate Navi. Oh. I hate Navi so much. You have no idea. Hero laurels. Yep. Got those. Holy cross. Slug human. Slug fox human. Let me see. Interesting. Skulls everywhere. All right, so I've I've done that one, but now this is happening, and that whole area is completely inaccessible as well. So where to from here? Navi's the worst. Hey, listen, turn at the next road. No, no. Be a nightmare, dude. Let's go down this way. Actually, I think I need to go over here because there was a there was actually a chest I didn't get here. Because I have to go back down to get it. I don't give me a chance to try out these new mods, right? My new stickers. Hey, list seven. No, god damn it. You're the worst. You're the worst. Old burying ground. Oh, we didn't go up here. All right. Dude, Navi's the worst. Navi's an awful little gremlin. But be super real with you. I never, ever liked Navi. Nope, don't need that. Think you need glasses? Everything is blurry? I don't know if that's how that works. Bro, what? You can't just do me like that while I'm opening a chest in the animation. How dare you? ghosts. They're just as hard as they were before, but now they're annoying. 
Yo Doc, he listen, I heard you like Navi, birthdays of thunder gods, and lead pipes from your home in LA. Why are you like this? Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way, Leon. Dodge this! Ugh! Oh, my gold is gone. I'm very sad. I'm very sad now. I came all the way over here to pick that up, but I got nothing. I'm very sad. Deeply upset. What was the blue thing? Mana. It dropped mana. Mana for my boomstick, dude. You see, I've turned from being a warrior into being a mage. With unlimited damage. And one HP. It's a good life. Am I setting stuff on fire? No, I'm setting everything on fire, Frank. I have one health, but I'm a god. As you can see, nothing lives. I just have to look at it, and it dies. But it also just has to look at me, and then I die, and that's not great. But yeah, this is it. This is the gameplay now. Why didn't you die? You're supposed to die. What? How do guns work? <laughs> so anyway, guns. Not even once. Bottle addicted wizard, it's true. I found that apparently... Unfortunately... Oh, ads are happening? Here, let's watch. We're waiting. We're waiting. I have found that unfortunately... Birds are immune to guns. Which seems incorrect. <laughs> but it is what it is, right? Why are bullets liquid and you put them into your fox mouth? I don't know. Wave dashing. That's how it works, dude. <sighs> this build is fun, though, I have to say. I know CBC can't aim up. That's rude. That's rude. How dare you? Maybe that's the same for this fox. Maybe Cardboard Cowboy is secretly a fox. It's true. Maybe he is. I mean, I said it, so... Rude but true? Deeply rude. Deeply rude. 30 seconds left. Well, I don't think there's actually anything else that we need in there, now that I think about it. Because we got... We got everything we needed there. I wish we could get back over here. If I could get there... I could get my attack and defense back, because that's what's missing right now. Is my attack and defense are missing. And I can't get them. Wait. Wait. That's a puzzle. Wait a minute. It's the golden path. Okay. It's everywhere. The puzzle solutions are literally everywhere. But I have no idea. The problem is this. You don't even know where the lock is, but you might have the key already. Or if you find a lock, you don't even know that it is one. And you have no idea what the key looks like. I love this. Interesting. 
It is the fun part. I love it. It's honestly fantastic. This is part of the golden path. Right here. Which is right... So it's actually right, down, right, up, left, up. Would be this golden path piece. Or... Hmm. Hmm. Has this tickled your urge to design a puzzle game? Heartbound already has quite a lot of puzzles in it. <clears throat> Many that you don't even see. Many you don't know about. Some that the community's never solved. Some the community's never found. That's why I enjoy this so much. Oh, this is cheesable now. <laughs> it's quite funny. Could be the meeting place. Could be the other half of the meeting place puzzle. But I have to remember how to get to the meeting place. Which I don't. That one was just chess. The next steps for the ARG and the source code of this game? You're funny. Actually, how far have you guys gotten on the ARG right now? Let me go look. They solved the archaeologist part. That's quite cool. Proud of them. That is why Indiana Jones Pictures said nice job. For the name. It's quite funny. I was waiting for them to solve that. They did get stuck on it for a couple of days. Can I get under this? I think I used to be able to. I don't think I can now. You designed this game secretly, specifically for the ARG I'm onto you now? No. You'll have to find the solution in Heartbound, amazingly. You'll never prove it, by the way. Oh, this game is fantastic, man. Unless... What? Messed it up. Gotta wait. I'm gonna go restart it. This wasn't here before. It's always been here? Did I just never find this? I've never seen this room. What is this? You don't have to leave to reset? Okay. Didn't know. I don't know what those are. I don't want to touch them. It's the puzzle. You play the pathway. And the bars 
are the blue ones. And it starts at the bottom. Left. Up. Right. Up. Right. Down. Right. Up. Right. Up. Left. 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 Up. Right. Up. But maybe not fast enough. Do I have to count corners? Does a corner count as a step? Or is it just one giant thing? Do I have to do it faster? That's the question. That's the big question. Let me try this. Yeah, the blue are definitely the bars. That's what I tried to do. So, we start at the bottom. Left, up, right, up, right, down, right, up, right, up, left, 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 up, right, up. Got it! The 3D map, the damn thing in my head. What? They just give me nothing. I was a fairy. Two navvies. Gross. It's two of them released. Nice job figuring this out. The thing is, is now that I know how it works, I see it everywhere. It's been there hiding in plain sight the entire time. It's awesome, to be honest with you. It's freaking amazing. I've never been in this room. Ever, by the way. Look at your items. Oh, wait a minute. The hourglass. What does that do? I'm a time wizard! Hot damn. Alright, well, I'm a time wizard now, which is kind of cool. Unfortunately, it also slows me down, which is not the best. That's probably not good, right? It would have helped for Scavenger, but also not really, because it actually slows me down, too. If I was moving normal speed, then I would say yes. Why is that floating now? Also, I guess I got down here finally. There we go. Love money. You can use menu while slowing down? I guess that's true? That would allow me to use the menu. Which is pretty helpful. Oh, shit. He's all weird. Yeah, it's weird. I hit like a truck, dude. I hit like a damn truck. There's a page back there. This is sick. Is there a way out? There's no way out. Do you not have your lantern anymore? I do. The lantern just doesn't seem to work in that room, and I don't really know why. Yeah, empty cave. It's a little bit weird. Time to activate! 
Sorry, purple bro. There might be a way for me to turn off the red screen, actually. Let me see if I can do that. Options, graphics. No, accessibility. There we go. Damage flash is gone. Because we don't need it. So that powered that, which means I, I should be able to teleport to it now, I guess. Yeah, sorry about that. Thanks for saying something. I didn't even... To be honest with you, after a few seconds, I just, like, blotted it out of my brain and I couldn't see it anymore, so... I hit so hard. <laughs> I hit so hard. Jesus. That's, uh... I'm just gonna leave. Dead. Well, doesn't he get a ghost? Like all of us, right? Here it is. Oh, more HP. Which doesn't matter. It's quite funny. Absolutely glass cannon build, dude. I just delete things. This is what it means to be a god. But also it means I die in one hit. So, like, you know... Maybe I shouldn't get hit. <gasps> Lots of gold. Bam! 512. I think that might be the maximum. Hello. Fish, fish, fish. And we're in. What? <laughs> what? You know what I bet? I bet for people that look up answers to stuff, when you get that sword, it razzes you. I wouldn't... I wouldn't doubt it. Like, if you still have the stick and you pick that thing up, I bet it makes fun of you for cheating. For, like, looking up the answers. Or is it for speedruns? Is it actually for speedruns? Can you dual wield? Apparently not. I would, though. Yeah, defense. I get my defense back, which Fast. doesn't matter because I have one HP. Chat. The power went to his head. All wish Thor a seven happy birthday. How dare you, Darkness! Thank you the hundred bits. It's for speedruns. Interesting. Speedrunners don't use that though. It's even weirder. We just need attack now. That's the only thing that I need now is to attack. It's the last bit. And then I can go fight God and find out my build is worthless. <laughs> so that's how you do it, man. Like, there's no way I could use this anymore. I die in one hit. Let's go into the ominous purple room. Oh, that seems... Seems good. The telescope shows you the environment. You get more environment from it. Is this a game you built? No. Absolutely not. I think it's funny that everyone asks me that. 
I do play video games. I know it is... I know it's rare. Very funny. Now, this is a this is a fantastic game, though. You should absolutely play this. I'm starting to see things as sacred geometry. It's happening. Oh! It wouldn't let me dodge. I pressed back and he dodged straight straight in the same spot. That's not what I expected at all. It was quite weird. Just die that time. Yeah, I tried to dodge there and it just made me sit still. It was very strange. Can I get to that? Can't get to that. Man, you guys suck. This feels cheap. Oh, they're dead, though. It's fine. Down you go. I'm so mean, I'm a wizard. That's what we are. Mean. Now, right, let's see. on the ground. Hmm. Well, I don't know what this says, but it has a comma in it and two periods. You can see the period in the end there. And there's no other hints for this, but that's right where we're at is here. Yeah, no, it's super, super interesting, dude. What if I try the Golden Cross? Nope. Maybe it's the flowers on this? But I can't think of how that would come out to something. So, if I try to follow it like the other ones, we've got flowers all around this thing. It's the most likely for this. So if I do right, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that, that can't be it. Wait a minute. One, two, it counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. What is this? I hate fairies. I hate them. Be gone. 
Why has there got to be more fairies, dude? <laughs> I want a thing! I don't want a fairy! Wait. Can I even die in this? I can't. Oh, it's deleting my maximum HP, but it can't kill me. It's funny. I love this game. It's great, dude. It's really, really good. Oh, how do I get that? I need to get back down there. I think I can, actually. Wait a minute. The floor is the sacred geometry. It's everywhere. It's literally everywhere. Oh, this is great. I love this. Yeah, now you see it everywhere. It's all over the damn place. Even the tree roots. Instantly. So I can't get over there. I have to use the teleporter. There's no actual way to do it. Unfortunately. I do wonder what releasing this fairy does. Probably makes the boss harder or something stupid, right? <laughs> It's like making the boss into an absolute, like, demi demigod now or something stupid. They just look at me and I die instantly. They have the power of all the fairies flying around them, you know. I'm literally just making hard mode even harder. Now I want to find them all. Wait, I was lost in the puzzle how you solved it? So the flowers had... there was a certain number of flowers. So, what I did was, they had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so I hit them in order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. At first I was like, what if I hit this six times? And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. And uh, then I hit them in order. I realized that they were counting. I don't think there's any way to get down there. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get over there anymore, because there's all the, like, death mist, you know? Can't get up there from here. Like, even these tree roots, right? You can hit, like... But probably not. So, like... <laughs> they're all based on the same sacred geometry thing. It'd be kind of cool if the tree lit up when you did that. Because the root is that. There at Fawcett, rating with a party of one. What's up, dude? What were you streaming? Tell me about it. Can't get over there? I can't. Can get up this? I cannot. It's interesting, because I don't know if this was actually powered before. I guess it would have to be, so that that would be powered. Yeah. That is something I want to get to. But I don't know how to get over there. I think we have to teleport to it, which is sort of annoying. Yeah. I learned how to count, dude. It's true. Yeah, see, the ladder is gone now. So how do we leave? Interesting.
I feel like I've solved a hell of a lot of puzzles now. The same way you came here? I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't- I can't remember. I have no idea. I don't know how I got here. I don't even know what year it is anymore. Put in the Konami code? Konami code is beneath us now, dude. It's all about the sacred geometry. There are many codes. An infinite number. All based on beautiful squares. Thor, I am about to spoil the entire game, do you see? The missile knows where it is at all times. It knows this because it knows where it isn't. By subtracting where it is from where it isn't, or Why? where it isn't from where it is, Whichever is greater, it obtains a difference, or deviation. The guidance subsystem uses deviations to generate corrective commands to drive the missile from a position where it is to a position where You're it isn't, actually and a arriving goblin. at a position where it wasn't. You're a goblin in real life. That's what you are. Thank you, by the way. Thank you for the hundred bits. Very good. Aha! There are ladders. They do exist. I was scared there would be a super boss for a moment there, and there was none. Ah, oh, I need to get down there! Yeah, hold up. Oh, come on. It looks like it could totally get onto that. Guess not. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this seems awkward, right? I need to get down there. Can't I just fall? I'm a ghost. What am I going to injure? Let me in! I'm a ghost and a fox. I feel like I should be able to land just fine, right? Back down. There's got to be a better way. This way takes us over here. Can't go that way. I feel like I'm going the right way, though. Oh, wait. Interesting, but not the way. Down you go, bud. This is the place that we got into before, so if I can make it over this way and keep going this direction, I should be able to get to... There it is. That's it. I don't know if this is one I already did or not, I'm not sure. I can't remember. We solved so many different puzzles while I was in here, so... Okay, this is one that we got. This was the defensive one. So it's just the offensive one that's left now. And I don't actually know where the offensive one is. I'm gonna have to look. Already went in there before.
Wait. Wait. Is that... Is that one of them? Stop looking at the patterns? I won't. Is that one of the... That looks like one of the patterns. <sighs> looks like one of the patterns. We have to follow the blue line. The thing on the wall also looked like one. I tried to do the crack on the wall just now. That's not one of them. I feel like this is going to be one of the puzzles, man. But I can't see a coherent pattern out of this. I'm going to leave this one for now. Yeah, the place might be wrong. The location may be wrong. I don't know. Oh, ah! I was very mad when I did that. give you some appreciation the telescope shows you puzzles i don't want any spoilers my dude that's the whole idea is that i play it blind that is the point Papa. yeah i tried to do this right here but there's no way that we can see this around the edge wait maybe we can aha Hold up. Up, right, up, left, down, up, left, right, down, right, left. No? Oh, I missed a piece. What up? It was the thing on the wall. I just needed to see the rest of it. Fairy. The patterns are real. The patterns are real! It was this, the cracks in the wall going all the way around, and then onto this side. Alright. What do these fairies even do, man? <laughs> it's just chess, though? No. It's not. It's not just chess. It's chess with a fairy inside. Fairies are awful. So I'm really just releasing terrible, horrible things into the world, which is pretty much what I've been doing the entire game. That's like the whole story, frankly. So this is kind of par for the course, to be real with you. Me, a fox that now has the power of God, releasing horrible terrors into the world. It's the fifth fairy, is it? I don't know how many I've found. I don't know how many there are. I just keep finding the damn things. Because now I can see sacred geometry, right? I wonder if they're in here. Wait. This is one, two. Look. Where does it start, though? Does it start there? Screwed it up. Up, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, down, right, up, up, left. Told you it's everywhere. It's literally everywhere, dude. There's another one. How many of these are there? I can see the sacred geometry now. It's too late. There's no saving me, chat. I can see the geometry. This is gonna ruin my day. Like, literally everywhere that I look, I'm gonna see this in real life. It's gonna change my entire perception. It's probably for the best. Sacred geometry. Is 
it any of this? Is this real? That one, I think, is trying to show us the fact that the... The windmill has it, would be my guess. We've done this one. This one's finished. Oh, that's interesting. That's like a horrible death portal in there. I wonder if there's just something we can get on the left side, too. No. Apple just got hit with another fine. This time from France for $8 million for violating user privacy. They harvested data from iPhone owners for targeted ads without consent. Damn, dude. That us very true. Me and my brother, who also is a CS major and is doing a PhD cyber second now so he loves puzzling as well, did this game together backseating each other at different intervals. We still message each other pictures of sacred geometry from time to time nearly eight months or so later. I'm gonna be honest with you, you guys are gonna get a lot more interesting puzzles using visual graphics in the Heartbound ARG because I'm playing this game. 100%. I have so many interesting ideas for storing data in different ways now, as a result of this. Not in the same way that they're doing, but in interesting different ways. And that's the part that's really fun about puzzle games like this, is when they're very well done, like this one is very well done, they give me cool ideas to do stuff. Yay, but also, oh no, yeah. Hello, spooky boy. How you doing? I want to grab him. Can I grab you? Alright. He's just chilling, dude. It's true. So there was another one that I remember. Oh, wait a minute. So this is going to be north, south, east, and west. Can we get anything off of any of this? Because we're over here, so there's nothing on the map for this. It's got a... It's got a bird on it. Like a weather vane, maybe? And I think these are the symbols. I'm pretty sure those are the same symbols. This would be left, up, right, down. So... This one here, on the very top left, would be left. And then the second one would be right. So it'd be left, right. It'd be left, right, down, up for the first one. So left, right, down, up. That's the very first one. Maybe we have to do all of them. Let me do this. I'm gonna go get a... I'm gonna get my... One sec. I'm gonna put this up. I'm gonna open up Notepad++. I'm gonna put it on this other monitor. And I'm gonna type these in. Alright, there we go. Left, right, down, up. For that one. And now we can do... That is going to be... Up? No. Yeah, that's up. And then down, and then right, and then left. And then the next one is going to be up and up on, on those two low ones. No, don't, don't auto-complete for me. I, stupid Notepad++ plus plus is trying to auto-complete. It's like, do you want to put UDRL in a row? Yeah, definitely. Go away. Um, that one is going to be right. The one below it is going to be down, 
No, I do not want to autocomplete. I never want to autocomplete. I got to turn that off, man. That's going to drive me nuts. That one is going to be D. The one below this is going to be R. And then, oh, it's got to be UDRL. So those two are the same. Those two are the same. Okay. And then this one is also L. So we've got left, right, down, up. Up, down, right, left. Up, right, down, left. Up, down, right, left. Didn't do anything. Left, right, down, up. Up, down, right, left. Up, right, down, left. Up, down, right, left. I just had to have the window closed. Got it! Hell yeah. That's so much fun, dude. Oh, I love this. You did done it, chat. Thor leveled up. So, hey. You, listen to what he says, instead of a Dark Lord, you would have a king not dark but beautiful and terrible as the dawn, tempestuous as the sea, and stronger than the it's foundations true. of the earth. And All I can teleport. Shall love me and despair. And I'll die in one hit. That's the other part of my power. That's, that's probably the main part of my power, to be honest with you. What's their purpose? I have no idea. For what purpose is 100% this, right? I have no idea why I'm collecting fairies, but there have been so many puzzles throughout this game so far, and now I want to solve them. So now I'm going to try this one, now that I know how to use this. Up, down, left, right, down, left, up, left, down, right, up. Didn't do anything. Left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, right, down, left. It works now, because I used my keyboard instead of my controller. Got it. I knew it was a door. I knew it was a door. What are you? <laughs> what the hell? Did, what is that? What the hell is that? What? It gave me an achievement that said Mr. Mayor. What is that, dude? What are you? Are you a usable item? Where did you go? Where are you? It's not even... What? What? He's just gone. <laughs> what does that even do? What's that even mean? Okay, fine. I have a mare, man. What in the name of science? Oh my god. You got an achievement? That's what you did? I guess that's true. I guess it's true. I got an achievement. I'm just so confused. Okay, so... I need to find out how to get back under this... Like, under. And I actually don't know how to do that. Because I think there was a there was a puzzle under this, if I remember correctly. And I don't know how to get under there anymore. Because this bridge is in the way now. I may not be able to do this until I am alive again. If I ever Oh wait, 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 wait. There's a way down here. This might do it. Yeah, okay, perfect. Because we found this like yeah, this room. Oh wait. Oh god, no. It's like 3D projected onto the wall, and it's the sacred geometry. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? Why do you hate me? How do I even know what direction it goes? Oh, there's the thing. There's a dot. There's the end. That's an end piece. So if we've got it... There. That's the start piece. So it would be... I have to determine the location, right? 
The start piece starts... There's one. And that's on the outside. They have to be mirrored, right? So there's going to be two mirrors for this. So I have to choose the piece and the orientation correctly based on the mirror. There's the mirror piece, and it's turning back around. Got it. Look at that. First try. How does that make you feel? I'm really good with visual puzzles, my dude. This is why, just to let you guys know, this is the reason that I solve puzzles at DEF CON. This is why I have the black badges that I have, is because these are the things that I love to do. I love this. I love this. So much. You can turn the screen while putting it together. Or you can just visualize it. <laughs> I don't get it. Never mind. Solved. You have no idea. This is literally what I do. This is... I, I love this stuff, dude. Alright, I think I'm out of puzzles that I know of, though. I think I'm out of them now. What about the invisible path from that one room with the chest? Could that be one of the geometry layouts? Te technically? It could be. I don't see why it couldn't. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that could totally be one. I kind of want to go check it. You would love this game? Dude, it's awesome. Who's this? Secrets. Or not. Okay, this is just the area I've been to before. Let's go up to the mountain now. Oh, wait, no. I have to go back to the golden floor, and we need to teleport to that new place, because I gained access to it. What is this one? Okay, it's a windmill. It's a windmill. Bwong. Was this made with Unity? I think someone said it was, actually. You know, th the thing is, is I, I love these things, man. Like, once, once I can understand the language like this and start playing with this, it's... This is the same kind of rush that I get when I'm doing DEFCON puzzles. Like, when I'm solving lost challenges and doing the cryptographic stuff that he makes, like... Or when I did Goldbug this last year, like, this is... This is the same rush that I get. What is this one? Is it the music? Might be the wind chime. But what would the directionality be? Would it be based on maybe the the note? Where the note would be on the on like sheet music? I don't know music very well. Do you have to know programming to participate at DEF CON? No. No, you don't. I'm going to revisit that one. Oh, yeah. The compass on the map was this. That's how I solved the, the weather vane. Because if you see the bird, bird's weather vane. It, like, aligns with that. And then these were all the uh, north, south, east, and west symbols on it. And then I wrote them on notepad for these ones. And it was left, right, down, up. Up, down, right, left. Up, right, down, left. Up, down, right, left. The whole thing. The notes? Oh, I guess... The notes are here. Could this also be the wind chimes? I don't know what those sound like, though. That's the problem, is I don't know... I don't know what that sounds like. Because I don't know what those notes look like. I don't know sheet music. Stein would be the one who solved this one. Hmm.
It's a long, long sequence. It's a long sequence, but it sounds like it's repeating the same sequence over and over again. But like a rundown? No, no, no. That's something that I'm going to want to research myself, to be honest with you. Is how to read those so I can solve this puzzle. You don't think you can sell the sound without the staff? See, I don't know enough about music to know. I really, I have no idea. You don't know how to read runes either? That hasn't stopped you? I mean, it's different when it's a visual format to a physical format versus an auditory format to a physical format, right? Like, that's that's way different for me. It's very straightforward. It makes sense. It's just not... I'm going to think about it. I have to think about it. Because it's not something that I know very well. So I don't feel confident in sitting... I just end up spamming keys, right? But visual format to physical format, I'm all in. I can 100% do that. Wit music is 100% my weakness. It is. It's actually why when we're at DEF CON, somebody else always does the audio puzzles. The only time that I got to do the audio puzzles is when I can visually see the audio puzzle. Like when we do um, spectrograms, things like that, those are the times that I can do it. Because I can see it. But if I can't see it, I'd... that's nothing to me. There's an accessibility setting to help with audio puzzles. Really? I will have to check that. But first, I need to go over here. Wait, where was that music thing? Where am I? Where am I? I'm all the way over there. The hell? I went the wrong way. Thor says all you ad watchers smell funny. Wow, dude. Does that mean you're watching ads? I you smell the funniest. That is awesome. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I can't write it down because when I click on the other screen, it freezes. I have to memorize them. I have to memorize it. Idea. I'm going to screenshot this. I'm going to go to MS Paint. I'm going to put it in here. So now it's like this. And then I'm going to take that, I'm going to put it on my other monitor and blow it up really big. So now I have it. I know what it is. Yeah, it is legit written in pen. Okay, it stopped. I have to write it down. I have to write it down. It doesn't work because it's too slow. Oh, God damn it. I have to wait for it to end and then we got to start writing it down. Let me put this on the other monitor so I can do this. This is really cool. Oh, it super is. Problem is, it's going to freeze every time I do this. I'm going to wait for it to end. Come on. Okay, it's ended now. So the first note is going to be up. And then the next one is down. And then right. And then up. Sucks I have to do this like this. 
And then down. And then left. And then up. Down. Left. Right. Down. Left. Right. Up. And that should be it. So up, down, right, up, down, left, up, down, left, right, down, left, right, up. Victory. We did it. We did it. I'm really glad there's an option for this because I, I can't do the audio portion, but I can definitely do the visual to kinetic, right? It's going to be a fairy for sure. Maybe not. What? It gave me an achievement called Power Up. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what is a... What is a Power Up? What is... Well, it was... I don't understand. I don't... I don't understand. I'm so confused. One sec. There we go. Now I can actually see our ad timer again. Well, I got it. Yeah, but why? Alright. More HP. But I only have one HP. When I did this by ear, I was ecstatic. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I can't do that. I don't... I don't have, like, any musical ability whatsoever. I can't hear notes or anything like that. It's weird, because it's it's the one thing that I just can't do. I can't... Like, I can do all the visual stuff, I can do all the art stuff, I can do any... Like, programming, any of that stuff, but I can't do music. And I've tried over and over and over again. I'm just terrible at it. How do we unlock the new location? So the new location got unlocked because they found a bunch of different ways to get over there, basically. And then I managed to turn on a... One of the pillars. And the pillar let me go over there. So that's what it was. Because the pillar activated the, the golden tablet thing. This. So now we can go over there. That's the guys who worked on the sound design for the game. Power up audio. Oh, is that who it is? Oh, that's cool. That's a really neat thing. That's not what I wanted to do. I was trying to teleport. I was trying to fast dash. No, 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 no. Not, not like this. I was not trying to fight you. Oh, 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 killed on the backswing. I wasn't trying to fight. I was trying to, I was trying to fast dash over the thing. God damn it. I wasn't ready for that. I don't have any damage yet. Hey, kill me in the backswing. This is what I want right here. Yeah, wait, please, can we talk about this? No, I didn't want to fight. Wasn't the point. These, you don't have to hold the button down, so I was fast dashing over it and it just, it just teleported me. You just tap it and it goes... It's different from the other ones. Clearing the game or seeking an end. Take your rightful place. Share your wisdom. Use the power of the Holy Cross and traverse the Golden Path. The Fairy Spring. Seeking Spell. Oh. Wait a minute. In my inventory. Where is it? It wasn't these, it was something else. There was something that I had that showed... They showed stars. Was it in here?
I remember it showed stars somewhere. I just don't know where. Like this. Like those. Yeah, here, like this. Oh, look, there's the actual, like, there's the north, south, east, west on there. That's interesting. This one says 60 seconds Shh. on a star. It's interesting. Oh, wait a minute. This is how to get through the code in the mountains. For the doorway. How do we determine the numbers, though? It's got to be like a mathematical equation at that point, right? Oh, look at this. It started Xing these off. These are all the fairies that I found. Look. Hey. So there's still one in the East Forest I haven't found yet. Let's go to the East Forest. Now that I can see the sacred geometry now. Looks like I can't make it into the machine up there. It's all ripped apart. Yeah, the lightning dash is super fun. Hmm. No, there's nothing here. Nothing that I can see. There were more crosses before, you think? I don't think so. I think they were all empty before. I don't think there were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have eight of them. So, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely that. It crosses him when we find it, for sure. Nobody's here. We haven't actually investigated this area in the ghost world, though. The hero's grave. We've already been in there. And that place is rough, dude. Did 
Jesus. I do believe we've made a mistake. That thing is in there screaming, dude. Hmm. This looks like a portal here. You see that? Screams for carnage. Screams in pain. It's being tortured. Looks like there's no way out on this. I'm gonna try and go up. Isn't that a shrine? That's one of them, yeah. It's one of the, the like, robot pillar things. Hmm. Yeah, the curse hasn't been broken yet because I, I haven't been able to get my last piece of brain, you know? Get my soul bits back. I still don't have my attack back. You can see it's missing. It's weird because it means that there's a puzzle in here that I'm not seeing. Could be because we have very limited location that I can even go to here. <sighs> Maybe it's on the rough area, it could be, but I can't really get there. I can't see it, so it'll be really hard to solve it, right? Which are you aiming for? Um, specifically, we're looking. We're looking for the East Forest one, which I think... This might actually be the East Fortress. This might be the Fortress. So, this is probably not where we need to be. Yeah, this is the Fortress. We gotta go to the East Forest. Yeah, that's what it is. So I was like, where am I... Like, why can't I get here? But the East Forest itself, I think, is... Filled with shadow garbage. So I don't think we can actually go there. So really, at this point, I just gotta get pieces of my body back. Let's go see... Let's go see the overworld map. Actually, can we go there yet? We cannot. That goes down. I need to find more places in which the hero has died. Yeah, dude, the instruction booklet's amazing. You find all the pieces for it, too. Page 24, huh? Okay, that's for page 24 for these. Attack. So I got everything else, but this one here. Looks like a forest? Three trees. It's gotta be in the East Forest, but the East Forest is completely packed with garbage. Hmm. 
Because we already got that one. That one was done. In fact, I don't even actually remember what that one was. That one was the HP one. You can see it up here, right? So this one actually does look like the map. It's, it's got to be underground, maybe? Yeah, it's got to have a candle and three trees. It's not in here. We already did the quarry one. That one's done. The swamp. We did the swamp one. We did the cathedral, which was terrifying. Wait, is this? This is the same kind of drawing. Hmm. Is the only part you had to look up? I refuse. You see the abject horror that's in stream chat? I have not. Yeah, I won't look it up. I hate looking that stuff up. It would ruin the fun of solving it. Thanks, guys. I'm going to look through every page of this, because this is the best chance that I have right now, but I may not have the right page. We got the MP1. It's weird that this is showing spiders. You see that? It's really quite strange because I don't think that part of the map actually has that. Oh, well, maybe it does. Okay, so we actually just have to look for that piece of the map. It's exactly the same. So this one's got some red and blue with a ladder. Let's go all the way to the beginning and see if we can't find this. I may not have the page for this. Huh. Yeah, I may not actually have the page for this. Wait. There it is. It's, it is right there. These were the right patterns. It was on the same page, but it was like all the way down here and in a weird spot.
But what does that mean? This is supposed to be showing everyone the environments. This is all the teleporter locations. That's where all the teleportation locations are. What does that help me with? Wait. Wait. That's it. That's the way. Alright, where's this damn thing? attack back. Ooh! 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 Alright, bud. You know, I, just, I didn't know you were going to be like that. But you know, that's, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I do a lot of damage and I'm real fast. Jesus. See ya, nerds. Could we always read those signs? Yes, those ones we could. Give me my attack back. I wish to be more terrifying than God. Time slow also slows me down. It's not that useful. Your body is restored. Oh, 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 oh. Back! Not a ghost anymore! And I have so much damage to give. Oh, I have so much. Hello, friends. I have so many one-shots to hand out, my dude. Okay, before I leave this place, I need to make sure that there's no, like, crazy fairy garbage living here. I at least doubled my dad mage. It's true. It's true. I'm twice the dad mage that I was yesterday. Oh, this is, like, red ominous death below it. That's probably good, right? Why is my HP at 1 permanently? I put a sticker on of a flaming sword that makes me do a lot of damage, but also makes me have 1 HP. Gamer mode, dude. 100% gamer mode. Means I'm a gamer. Give me that. Oh, I love gold. Oh! I love more HP that does nothing for me. Whoops. Does nothing.
Why, hello, Zneek. What's up? Wait a minute, I remember this. It's right here. Shield block plus fire staff plus grappling thing? Oh, ads are playing? We're gonna wait. Shield. This game is freaking rad, dude. No, ads are still running for about a minute and a half. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is what it is. Got a minute 28 seconds. Oh, my fingers, dude. Everything hurts. Do you have a pretty much eidetic memory for things that you see? Sometimes. Have you just studied the manual a lot in the last 11 hours? I'll remember patterns quite well. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but I remember patterns very well. This one is weird. I'm wondering how this combination po could possibly do this. Isn't that dagger staff combo? I don't know. Maybe? But it says dagger, you can't have all three. You can only have two, right? I got two seconds of ads left. All right. So if you can have, because it looks like a sword hitting a shield. I might be wrong about that. That looks like a sword hitting a shield plus the laser staff. Plus that, right? Well, that didn't work. I don't know. It's kind of a weird one, right? This one's also kind of weird. Yeah, I got the spinning puzzle in like 10 seconds. That's true. It's quite funny. I'm really, really good for that kind of thing. What does this align with? The pieces. can't pray to it. Wait. The pieces have lines on them. I bet the puzzle for this one is going to be if we reconstructed the actual tuning, the, the tablet, based on the pieces around the map, that would be the lines. There's a chunk there. We know that one's like that. How many pieces were there? I know that one's there. <sighs> Recommend getting a pen and paper? No, what I'll do is I'll screenshot them. I'll screenshot every one of them. Yeah, I'll screenshot him. No, we can solve that one. That one, I, I have the understanding of how to solve that. For this one, though, not really. And the reason why is because we have these notes at the end. 
And the notes here are clearly aligning with this, but it shows like a sword or maybe the frost. It could be the frost dagger. Could be. How would you do all three, though? Right? Like, I don't understand. I'm not quite sure how that would work. Yeah, you can replace the sword, so you can do all three. Maybe it requires the enemy up there that we got rid of. Maybe I have to go save, get rid of this. Yeah, you can just not have a sword, so. Yeah, two at once, and then the third one is what I'm thinking, too. So what I'm thinking we have to do is maybe freeze it somehow. Okay, so we can't freeze it. Can't freeze it. No, if I hook it down, then it makes it so I can't get it up there. Hmm. You see that? I pressed them both at the same time. Oh, it killed it. God damn it. I gotta go get it again. You have to if you press them both at the same time, it shoots a blue one. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I have to go back and save so that it comes back. Oh, that means that I could shoot like frost. Oh, that's gonna be devastating in boss fights. If I can actually get that to work for boss fights, that'd be amazing. I wonder what else combines like that. Can you combine other stuff? That's so cool. No, my attack was too high because I shot it first. It had really low HP. So I tried to shoot it with a frost one and it just died. Yeah, I didn't know. I was like, there's got to be a way to combine this, right? But to put them in parentheses, so it means like, oh, yeah, it's... <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm dead! <laughs> he killed me because I didn't do any damage to him. Because I thought I had my sword in my left hand and I had this stupid frost thing. God damn it. <laughs> I have one HP, by the way. That's the build. That's the build. Die to a slime. The risk was calculated. But boy, am I bad at math. That's pretty much it. Okay. We've done it. Regal Weasel. Did it. I can put all my stuff back on. Hell yeah. Uh
You don't think you've ever seen someone get killed by that guy? World first. <laughs> World first. Oh, mustard bread, so good. Well, I've got my entire body back, right? Do I have any coins? I don't have any coins. Unfortunately. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's no way out here, is there? Alright, let's think about this. There's other things to find. I just don't know what yet. That fairy. I've done this. I've done that. This I haven't done. This I haven't done. No, the goop didn't go away. Secret gathering place, the quarry, East Forest, the Great Library. The East Forest one, let's go solve that one. I know how to solve that. That one's pretty straightforward. I hit the button and it didn't teleport me. Did you see that? Because I was right on the edge. It cast an ability and it missed me. Because I was off it by the time that it went off. That was really interesting. That's a weird one. No, no, that's... It looks like a door. It's got a... Damn right! Sick. What the hell is that? Okay. Right. Then up. Right up. Right. Up. Maybe it's the side of faces too, right? 
It may be the sight of faces. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be the number of faces. One, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, right? One, two, three, up. Two. And then one. And one. Done. It's four, three, two, one. Right up, right up, right up, right up. Done! That's a neat one. I like that. Can't believe it's not one, two, three, four. Yeah, the music is neat. I like the music. I like that it's it like speeds up and slows down. It tries to add like a little bit of red herring to it, basically. Which is sort of interesting. Where like you think the puzzle is more complicated than it actually is. I like that. That's fun. Solved this one already. That's already done. Or did I? Actually, let's make sure let's see which one that just solved. Okay. There we go. So East Forest. So we gotta get we gotta get the the big golden chunk. Which means I gotta go this way. I'm over here. We gotta move all the way down over there for the big golden chunk. Oh, it's right down there. How do I see it? We gotta go down. Wait, 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 wait. Five. Two, three, four, five. Stop. Stop binding those. Stupid game. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Is this going to be six? It might be six, seven. So... Okay, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dots! Hey, here's another one! I love these, dude. They're literally everywhere. Like, once you start looking for all the geometry and everything, they're just everywhere. They're literally just everywhere. This is awesome as hell. I love this game. This game is freaking red. How do I get down below? I don't remember. There we go. Yeah, what? <laughs> it's the uh, the little squares around the pond. Uh, the little squares were actually in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all it was. Yeah. You. You're one of the pieces. Prince Green. All right. That's going in an MS Paint over here. That's one of the chunks, but it's not the only chunk. How do you input the numbers? By pressing up and down on my arrow keys. So I'm pressing in the direction that they are, and the bottom right is down, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is one of the chunks. Where's the other chunk? Where's the other chunk? I don't think I've ever seen the other chunk, have I? Is it over here? It's not on the map. Where is it? Is a chunk of the water, like, in, in this place? Is that what you're saying? Because I, re I remember we've seen it. I just don't know where. Oh, 
I'll find it again. This is part of the Golden Path. This is the bridge area. Is it this? It might be over here. I remember seeing it. I remember seeing this down here. I think I had to jump on the thing, and I always made fun of I was thought it was weird. We had this chunk. You narrate the audiobook and release it for us? On it, dude. There's a piece. Oh boy, this is going to be a hell of a thing, ain't it? It's a little piece. It's not even the whole piece. Well, maybe that's enough. Get another MS Paint going. Okay, I have another MS Paint with another chunk on that monitor. That's only one of them. There's got to be another one. And it's kind of big, too. Hmm. Oh, ads. We must wait on the great evil ads. It is the only way. What time is it? 1.32. Dear God. But I must beat this. I'm up, I'm, I'm trying to beat it before my D&D &D game at 6 p.m. Oh. Oh, my bones. I didn't need any bones. They're gone now. My bones are gone. My bones are gone. I have so many messages. Oh, dear God. So many. So many. Like a million messages. No, I didn't poop my skeleton. I've just been... I'm getting a ton of messages. Like a ton of messages, dude. I guess now God can be defeated after getting the body? Can be. But to be honest with you, I got all enraptured by doing these puzzles because they're so freaking fun, man. They're like really, really good. And I've gotten a bunch of them so far, just kind of meandering around. There's one in the Great Library. Hmm. How did I get to the Great Library? I think I have a teleporter there. I should go do the one in the Great Library. That one needs to get done. <clears throat> but there's also a chunk missing. I don't know where that chunk is. Which is weird. Because there's a chunk like there. And it's not listed in gold on the map. So. I don't know where the other chunk is. Rap or hammy? I don't know, dude. Crunch traps are amazing. Moons of my hammy are amazing. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You don't have to do that. I'm going to go to the tower. Because this is finished. It's all done. Don't have to care about any of that. Whoop. <laughs> the more you want to do it. Oh, this is the wrong one. Unfortunate. Which one was the tower? Is the bottom right? Might be the bottom right. 
I'm not using reverse psychology. I mean it. Oh my god. Goblins. Yeah, I set treat stream back up. I did. This is the one. Okay, so there's gonna be one in here, it says. What are we looking for? No symbols on any of this yet. Maybe something in here. On the walls? No, there's nothing on the walls. Wait. These. Oh, it's so complicated. How does this work? Let's look at this. This one here. That one becomes a line. So... It's this line right here. Got it. That one's done. These are fun. Can you explain how you're reading the inputs? Yeah, absolutely. So check this out. If we come back down here, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. You see this line? This golden line going across the carpet? I'm reading the inputs by pressing up on the arrow key and then right on the arrow key, and then down on the arrow key, and then right on the arrow key, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, down, left, down, right, left, and you have to do it fast. Because if you don't do it fast enough, it doesn't accept the input. And that's all it is. I'm just following the line. The problem is they keep obscuring the goddamn line in all these crazy different ways, and it makes it really, really fun. Which is why I've taken those pictures of all the golden pieces around. Because those golden pieces have those lines on it, which means I have to mentally reconstruct the golden pieces. <sighs> yeah, walking the golden path, that's exactly what it is. The world is full of sacred geometry now. What I have learned today is, Thor eats puzzles for breakfast and asks love for seconds. I love Also, them. the odd bit amount is to get back to an even amount. Happy birth 7,777,777 day Thor. Why are you like this? Thank you very much. Great library is checked off now. So, the quarry and the east forest. The east forest is going to be the golden statues one that we're collecting pieces for. The quarry... I think the quarry is up top, isn't it? Yeah. So... How do we get to the quarry now? Actually... See blocks. No, that doesn't come into play. These are all the sacrifices, the offerings. Thor, I hope I don't spoil you with tis. It's just supposed to make you happy. You have not seen the best puzzle yet, and when you inevitably will, you will have the biggest grin. I am sure of it. Good. Thank you for the 100 bits. This is super fun, man. Like, the puzzle... You have no idea how much I love puzzles. You have no idea how much I love puzzles, man. I already love it. I already love this game. The thing is, is I'm, I'm like the perfect target audience for this. Like, I'm a giant puzzle nerd. I li I'm literally like a massive, I'm an award-winning puzzle nerd, my dude. Like, <laughs> it's like the perfect game to just rot my brain, right? Like, 100%. I'm a huge nerd. I love this, dude. I love this stuff so much. At first, I was like, this is like a frustrating adventure game, right? And then later I was like, this is just an insanely good puzzle game. What do you want? Pizza. When do you want it? Pizza. Wah! Jeanette, with a Crunchwrap Supreme! Thank you. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much. That's really, really nice of you. You didn't have to do that. Now I'm gonna have a Crunchwrap in like 30 minutes. 
Gonna, it's gonna go to my face. That's where it's going. Already did this one. How do we get into the quarry now? I don't remember how I did that. Do I have to go this way? Yeah, they literally ordered me a crunch wrap. I have a system set up called Treat Stream, where you can send me food, and then it goes on a 12-hour cooldown, so you Happy can't do it again. Happy birthday, my dude, got here around. What? Little ham. 5,000 bits, dude. That is a lot of bits. That is a, that is a lot of bits. You don't have to do that. It's a lot of bits. Oh, man, that's a lot of bits. Thank you. Very much. Very, very much. Seriously. No. No. This will start in the middle, so you can never go two to the right. There has to be a way to solve this puzzle. And it has to be based on the math. How do these numbers align for a pathway? Plus four. No. There's no alignment there. You're telling me this puzzle can be solved? Every puzzle can be solved. Even ones you don't know are puzzles. Even ones not meant to be solved. The whole point of hacking is an interesting solution to a difficult problem. And I live for it, man. I will! If it does work in Europe, Jeanette, you should check it out. When you're playing with your bro, you felt especially proud of this one. That's cool. Hell yeah. So it doesn't seem to be in the bordering. The bordering is exactly the same everywhere. The symbols at the bottom are not a mirror of each other, but they start with the same rune. And I don't know what that rune is. Because I don't know how to read it. If I were to do this, let me think. Do you go to school for reading? What? What do you mean? I used to read a lot when I was in junior high school, and I was like a huge nerd because of it. Only Thor was literate. God damn it! <laughs> I could try to translate it. I mean, I was thinking about doing like um, frequency analysis on it to see if we could figure out if it was like a one to one with. English letters. Been streaming for four oh days. Boy, tunic. Oh boy, Gopier nerd, Gopier cheer. How are you doing? Let's go on. Thank you for the hundred bits. I wonder if that puzzle is the one for the sub. I don't know if it is or not. I actually have no idea. It might not be. There could be another. What the? Whoa, okay, that was a camera. I don't know what just happened there, but you know, we went to space. That was neat. Let's try that again. I want to see if that happens again. Get inside the grade. <laughs> it does it every time you enter in here. That's weird, dude. We really have to get you in the game. Deeply. Deeply in the game, dude. You want to see a fox explode? Pretty good, right? 
I have one HP. Oh, wait. My corpse causes a nuclear bomb to happen, so now I can't pick it up. Alright, we're good. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. I made a huge mistake. Let's go look inside of this. Oh, wait. I'm still on? Yeah! Still here! What's up, dude? It's the weekend! I'm tired. But I'm also trying to solve these puzzles. And there are so many. So many. What are we looking for? We're looking for... This. We're looking to see if there's any fairies in this zone. I don't know if there are. So I'm doing a once-over to see if there's any patterns that I can see. Because I'm quite good at seeing patterns. And I've found so many of these so far. None of them. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. What can I do with this? Why am I up here? What does it do? But why? But why? How much longer till we're solving the language puzzle? I'm definitely gonna try. I don't know if I'll do that today. Are you even supposed to be up here? I don't think so. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be half the places I am in this game, though, to be honest with you. Did you know I didn't even know I could run until I beat the giant robot spider boss? I had no idea. I found out I could run after I beat it. Now you understand how my brain works. Give me the complex puzzle, tear it apart. Give me the easy puzzle, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Wait a minute. This is a chunk of the door. Interesting. Why is there a chunk of door there? And another chunk here. I didn't find the shield till after the giant robot spider. I don't know if I actually had a shield during the giant robot spider. I don't think I did. I think I might have been the same. Yeah, you're not supposed to be alive, but let's not tell God about that. True. God doesn't need to know. All right. We'll pay her a visit later. God straight up cheated, dude. She one-shot me. That's not fair.
They gave me a new page. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Six. Twelve, eighteen. And then the interiors. That's so many different combinations. That's so many different combinations. Because you have 18 of the exterior, you have 18 of the interior. And any combination of any of them? Let's look at this. That's not a one-to-one -one transposition cipher at all. It's an interpretive language. How would you read that? Because if you look at this, this here means sword. This means fox. Oh, it's the back cover! What is this? More rune language. It looks like it means sword, yeah. The one that's circled there? <clears throat> Let's think about this, because this is 18, and this is 26. Wait a minute. No, it's 18 and 24. 18 and 24. So you have 18 and 24. What are these numbers at the bottom? Twenty-eight plus thirty-four. That's in quotations there. For additional support and secrets. We haven't solved this yet either. The thing that's interesting is we do have some of this. There was like a piece that we learned for this earlier. Yeah, the seeking spell. So it seeks in that direction. But there's also this. That creates the stars for it. That is the seeking spell. I think we have to 100% this before this actually works. But all the fairies are here now. The wall puzzle? We can definitely do the wall puzzle. Alright, King Luigi. You have a good day. Thanks for being here, bud. I'm going to check in here and see if there's anything that I missed from before. There is not. I 
I'm basically going through every environment now and just rechecking everything. Because there's so many things that I didn't understand before. And I do now. There's like a ton of stuff. I gotta say, you figured out the pattern thing so much faster than I did. I'm a... So, like... I don't know why, but I'm very, very good at pattern recognition. Like, incredibly good at it. And that's why I compete at DEF CON. Like, that's the reason. So, like, this kind of a thing, I'm so into. It's... I just love it, man. This is, like, the superpower that I have is the pattern recognition, right? Yeah, the text on my shirt is green screen. It's true. It's quite funny. <laughs> So I love doing this, man. Like, this stuff... This gives me vitamins. This is how I get my vitamins. Nothing left in here. I wonder if I can try to solve this without having the final piece. Maybe not. It's kind of chunky. Kind of, it's a little bit chunky, the chunks are. Oh, I gotta tell Shay that the crunch wrap is gonna be here. Oh my god! You guys wanna see something cute? You guys wanna see something super cute? Wanna see it? Wait for this. Shay? Went and took Meatball on a walk. Look at him. Look at him with his tiny little slit eyes because he's outside. He's on a he's got a leash and a harness, dude. Cat for a walk. Look at him. Look at this cat walk, dude. Look at him. Look at him. He's outside. He's outside. It's very cute. I did, I opened paint. It happened. Okay, I already did this. You take cats out for a walk? Yeah, you can. Absolutely. Give them a harness, teach them. They're into it. I think I want to try an attempt on the boss. So I think I'm going to go try to do that. I'm going to do this with my current build, which is I have no HP. Because I'm interested to see how much damage I do, which is probably not going to be very much. Wow! Okay, so I don't do any damage at all. There's no point in doing this build whatsoever. Even with, like, the damage that I was doing... There's... It doesn't make any sense. It makes zero sense to do that. So. I was like, dude. I thought maybe I could just dodge a whole bunch. And like, just blitz, you know? But this is like the most amount of damage you could possibly do in the game. Unless I can find more secret damage ups. Hmm. Uh. Uh. What if we just shoot her with a gun? What if we shoot her with the magic of gun? We did that. I'm going to try shooting her with the magic that is gun. With the ultimate power. I'm going to try that. With the ultimate... The ultimate damage setup. DPS cap? I don't think this is a DPS cap. I really don't. Because like... 
I got all the stuff set up for this. Depobal? I don't even know what you're saying to me. That actually... That looked like it did a ton of damage, actually. Wait a minute. If I don't screw this up, I might be able to do this. Magic gun. Magic gun. Trace freeze bolts? I could. But instead, I want to see magic gun. Yeah, the sword is super long. Mister. Oh no, I hit her. That's bullshit. You're bullshit. Whoa! That works. That actually works. Hmm. Hmm. That was almost 25% of her HP. Unlike a shitty attempt. And all my potions would be mana. Hmm. I need more potion. So this is the problem. I don't have enough of these in. See this? I'm missing a whole bunch of these turn-ins. I did notice that we both fell to the ground at the same time. I notice that every time that happens. If I die... She dies. She dies. I probably also die. Today we choose gun. In this house, we choose gun. Hmm. Ads are happening? F. Don't worry. It's just going to be me running around looking at nothing right now. If there is a puzzle, I will stop. My eyes are burning. So day sight it is then. Got Deus here a nerd. Day of sight? Seven. We must kill the deity. Yeah, I'll stop at puzzles, don't worry. You will survive. I believe in you. Yeah, they're blue because they're mana potions. Yeah. Imagine living in a region where Twitch actually serves ads. F. You do exercises? Sitting for too long is not good. You're probably right. I also need to go, like, wash my face. My face is doing this thing where it's both salty and greasy now, which is probably, like, the most gamer thing I could possibly say about my face. So, I think I'm gonna get up in a minute here and go wash my gross gamer face. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that in a minute. But in still, in, until then... I'm gonna run around in a, in a direction like this, trying to check every little piece of this map for anything that I can do. While I'm making my way towards the, uh... The golden... Or not the golden, the wall. The wall puzzle. Stream keeps freezing for you? Yeah, it's not... It's not going to be on our end. Sorry, bud. Because it's... I'm streaming at 8 megs a second. There's no way. It's perfect, too. Zero drop frames in 13 hours. Oh. Hmm.
We already did this one. So that's not it. I toss more coin to the well? Ten of them to so far. I don't have any more coins. I have a sneaking suspicion that I can get more than that. But it's ten right now. We've done this one. How was it that I got to the quarry again? I think the quarry is inaccessible right now. Because I can't get to the little platform in there. Actually, maybe I can. See this? What is this? Because the quarry is broken off right now. But what is that? Maybe it's just off in the distance? Because it's supposed to be right here. But maybe it flew away. Maybe I can clear this out somehow? It doesn't work. Can't get in it. There's gotta be a way. Hmm. Ruined Atoll. That's the other one that got destroyed. So the Ruined Atoll, and it looks like the quarry can't be accessed, but the quarry is where one of those fairies is. Is the only way forward to kill this boss? Because I don't think I can get to the quarry. Can you get to the quarry without using the teleport? I've tried. There's a giant wall of purple death, basically, is the problem. Oh, this one is a dead end. There's no way I can do anything here. I remember this. Hmm. There has to be another way in. Let's go this way. Yeah, giant wall of death. Giant wall of death. So if we go up here, I can actually get to where you would normally get to the quarry. I think it's where you would normally get to the quarry. Like, right here. So this is where you would normally get to the quarry. Like this. But when you do this... This. This is the nightmare. And you can't get past this. It's like all gremlinized. There's nothing we can do about this. So I don't know how to get there just yet. We're gonna have to wait and see. Wait, 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 wait. What about... What about inside of there? Can I get in there again? Is it possible to get in there? Maybe not. Hmm. Inside of there, I don't think I was. Not while I've been a dead. Not since God came out and wanted to rumble, right? What's the term for all the knobby bits on sci-fi nonsense? I have no idea. And we've already done this one, because it's... And nothing happens now, so we did that. There would have to be... Maybe a route up through this? Because this is to the top of the mountain, and to this sort of stone statue thing up here. The door at the top of the mountain. The only thing I can think of is maybe we have to go through that to get there. I don't know. And yeah, Sprinkles, 
Don't hit. Don't hit anything. You rob the fun when I don't get to solve it. I know you want to help. But you rob the fun. Let's think about this. This is going to be... If I wanted the answer, I'd look up a guide. This is this puzzle here. The Door in the Mountains. None of them are duplicates. It doesn't appear to be a math puzzle. They're not primes. It's not like a Fibonacci sequence. There's no pattern in which you can add and then subtract any to move up and down on this. Oh, thank you. The items have arrived. You need to reapply your human skin. How dare you? It's bingo. It all makes sense. What? Wait a minute. Bingo. We have something that's numbered already. It's the pages. Page 12. What is that golden square doing? Hold up. I'm going to screenshot this, and we're going to go look at the pages. Okay, I've got it screenshotted. I'm going to put it on my other monitor. I need to look at page 16. Look, it's in the background. It's in the background. Look at it. The line. There it is, the golden line. Oh, shit. This is going to be crazy complicated. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Oh, no. It's literally the book. It's literally the goddamn book. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare, dude. Let's look at 34. There's the golden line. Look. We see where it says Frog's Domain. This is it. That's what it is. So it's going to go from 34 to 46. And then this, there it is there. And then from 46 to 28. <laughs> 28 is going to be this one right here. So it's going to go from 28 to 22. It's going to go up. Oh God, this is going to be obnoxious. Is this it? Is it the outside edge like that? And then over to the left, so it's going to go from 22 to 15? And it's this line here, now. So it'll go from 15 up to 27. That one's a cross. What do you do with that one? I have no idea. This seems like it's the right path. But also, I don't have all the pages. So I don't think we can solve this until I have all the pages. Please, for your sanity. Oh, I'm going to. I was just doing a test to see if it would actually work. And it looks like it will. I need to draw. I need to draw it. Let's go to 12. The problem is, is 12 is a box. And it can't be a box, can it? I mean, not really. Unless it's meant to be one of these two arrows here, like... Right? Maybe it's just the things inside of this, so maybe it's got two sections, so it repeats back into 12 at some point. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, maybe it actually runs into, like, it's the, the blue lines inside of the golden square, maybe? So it's got, like, a thing like this, and then another thing like that. Box may signify origin, but box may also signify the encapsulation of the square of 12. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I miss painting. So this, what I'm saying is, the box here may make it go... Oh, come on. It would go like this, but also there'd be another one that goes like that. If it's this, right? Because the origin's down here. This is the origin, so we'd go up like this. That makes the most sense to me. So then if we go to 16... Sixteen, you can see the, you see this gold line behind the menu on sixteen. So with sixteen, it would go like this. Like that. And then for thirty-four... It would come out the side, because it's the golden line there, and it would go here, down, over, up, left, right, and then up, like this. See how they're connecting like that? This is the golden line, all the way along this entire map here. This code is held in, input, by the way, it, it looks like it so far. So it's going all the way. Then the next one would be 46. And 46 goes like... It's the little wiggly line here, right? That's the little bit. So that would be up. And then over this way, that way, this way, and then over this way. And then... 28. Be sure to use controller in for that? I don't think so. I'm going to go with a no on that one, bud. 28. The only thing that I can see on 28 is going to be this little bit. That seems like the one, right? That seems like it would be the one to do it. That would make sense. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, LTL. That's the only piece that I can see on here. Yeah, we're going to use that one. I'm going to do that. So that'll go to 22. See you around, Captain Photon. That's a confusing one. So with this one, I think it might be because the, the imprints are offset. So it starts here, and it goes up, 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 around, and then over, and out of 22 to 15. I think that one makes the most sense to me. The problem is you're not going to be able to test any of this. Right? How would you test any of this? You either get it right or you get it wrong, right? 15. So 15 is going to start here and do one of these. To 27. They're all aligning so far. It's actually working. Here's where I get stuck. How do we do this? It's got a golden cross, right? You cannot test this. This bit is one of two things we ought to look up because we made one a take in one square and were completely unable to find it. Maybe it has to be the golden cross? Let's start trying to fill in all of them instead of following just the line. I'm gonna go to 48. I don't think it'd be multiple choices. I think it'd be one choice. This one right here? 
Very obvious. We're going to put that in for 48. So 27 might be a straight line. I don't know yet. We can figure out what it's supposed to mean by the ones that are around it. I may have enough pages to solve this outright. Because if we get enough of them, we can determine what the other ones are going to be. Look, there it is right in the middle of the screen. This is going to be 11. Then it'll go to 21. It's this right here. There's 21. So this one comes down, goes to that direction, and then goes over here and goes to 4. Oh my god, it's totally going to be an up and down. This is going to be an up and down one for sure. We're going to go to 4. There it is. It's hiding in the back. Look at that. It's two pieces. So that one goes like that. Let's go to two. Oh, we don't have two. We don't have two. Let's go to six. There it is, right here. That's the one for six. So this one comes from the bottom. And goes to 52. Do I have two? Is this one two? Oh, I guess it is, isn't it? It's this right at the bottom. I thought this was not an unnumbered page. So this just does this. But it has a bar in it, which means that this one also has a bar in it, which we know how to use the bar. That means press it again. See the bar right in the center? So 27, if we go to 27 real fast, this is up with a bar. There we go. Let's go to 50. Where is it? There. You can see it connected to it. So, it's the yellow lines in the background in the cracks. It does this. And then it also... It looks like it also does a C shape on the right. Okay. So it goes like this. 52. Yeah. Like a bracket. It's up here at the top. It's this. And it looks like it has a... It looks like it has a bar at the top. So it goes... Yeah, there's a bar at the top for sure. You can see that, that line there. It goes this way. Up. Over. Down. Like this. And then down at the bottom. And there's a bar on this one right here. Alright, that works. Now we'll go to 42. Where is it? Can't be this. What does that even mean? What about that one? You see it? Is it the background, maybe? Oh, yeah, I guess it could be the background. Because you could do this, and that would match up, and then back out again. Okay, I could see that. Does this, and does this. There we go. 33 is the next one. There. It's in the sun and the cloud.
There we go. 31. This has got a lot of yellow lines. Wait, it's this. It's not all of these. These are a red herring. It's this on the wall. Look at that. Forty. There's coffee stains on this. Could be that. Doesn't match. There it is. It's this right there. See that? Inside of the coffee stain, so it's gold. There we go. Oh, there's ads? Okay, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for ads. Sorry about that. Oh. <sighs> Gotta wait. Ads are running. Twelve is clearly wrong. Not yet. Not yet. We don't know if it is or not. That's what looked the most correct. We don't know yet. We got 45 seconds. Nine, 55 may be the end point. So what may happen is it may go around to like here. And then like this. I don't know yet. We have to wait. Do we have all the pages? I don't know yet. We're going to find out. And does your brain work like this? I don't know. I'm a robot, dude. Don't tell Twitch, though. They'll find out and then I'll get banned because they'll think I'm a bot. 15 seconds. Oh, I want it so bad. I think these are correct. I think these are 100% correct so far. Can you pass a CAPTCHA? I don't know. <laughs> Is this not a CAPTCHA? Please. All right. Ads are over. Let's get back on it. I need 18. There's so many little pieces this could be. There it is. It's in the dotted lines. It's got a bar even on it. So this one goes like this. And it has a bar there. Let me redo that bar. Just like that. There we go. So the dotted line is done. And now 44 is the next one. See that? It's down the center of the door and then into this pattern. And it has a crossbar in the center there. Clever. Love that. Oh wait, I put that in the wrong one. One sec. Goes here. That would have screwed up everything. Thirty-nine. There it is. It's the top bracket. That's the one. So this one is going to go... It connects. And then nine. I think we have all of the pages. Oh, God, wait. Come back. 
I think we have them all. Where is it on nine? to fit something going up and I'm not seeing anything. That's weird. The only gold that are on here these. Where's the gold? Huh. Is it in the background? No, it's not in the background because it's a white line for that. It's not the load bar. It's not this. Because that's the only gold in the page is those three things there, but the load bar doesn't have everything it needs. The gold is the menu itself? No. What if we have to go to the save data menu? What if I have to turn off the game and go to the load menu? If I hit quit, will I repair, appear in this same spot? Do you guys know? Does anyone know? Because I don't want to have to run all the way back up here. No idea? You didn't save here? Zoltrol and you don't know. At your save? Maybe go rest again? Auto save? Zoltrol, you've never played this game. I don't know when the last time I saved was. Actually, I think I do. I think we're okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. No, not near his bonfire. It actually did it here. It did it to the closest thing. So it looked like it was just a straight up and down line. Which is weird. Is this just a straight up and down line? What? What is that? You tell us? I What the hell is this? It's the line! It's the line! It was in a weird save! This is freaking amazing. This game is freaking amazing, dude. Holy shit. Okay, we gotta write that. We gotta draw it. I gotta go draw it. I gotta go draw the line. Okay, 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 okay. I'm drawing. 
It's up. It is the adventure line. And then it's to the left. And then it's up. And then it's to the right. But it has a bar on it. And then it's up. And then it's back to the left. This is outrageous. And then it's up again. Just put me back in the same spot? It does. Okay. It's the Stanley Parable Adventure Line TM Tatadananadienadam. Tatadananadienadam. It's true. Tatadananadienadam. All right. We've done it. There's just one last page, and that's 55. And I'm going to get back to the, the door, and then we're going to do it. That's awesome, dude. That's freaking awesome. This is it. This is everything we've been waiting for. Where's page 55? Is this page... Is that it? It just ends. Is it just... Is that just... That's just it? Okay. This is gonna be a tough one. I screwed it up halfway through. <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare to do, dude. You can't screw it up at all. Oh, you can't screw it up at all, man. Oh. It is wise to turn on the accessibility thing for input it goes. No, I'm okay. I'm all right. Doing it again. did it! I did it! That's a lot of puzzle. We did it! We did the puzzle! That's freaking rad! What a cool goddamn game! How do you put it in? You have to do it with arrow keys. So, when you look at this, you press up. You press to the left. You press down, left, up. Left, down, up, you know, like, or left, and over and over again. When you reach a bar, this is up, and then up a second time. This is right, and then right a second time. And that's what it is. That's the puzzle. <clears throat> yeah, the line breaks are double tap. Well, an extra tap per line break. It's a page. Achievement unlocked. Thank you for playing. It's the cover. Dear player, you've come a long way, haven't you? You've probably found a lot of secrets. Maybe you stumbled across the hidden trophy room. I didn't. Perhaps you even freed every fairy. I didn't. Imagine having missed one of those line breaks. I know, it would have sucked. We hope you've had fun, but there's at least one more thing for you to do. If this is your final page, you should pay a visit to a certain someone and share your wisdom. Thank you so much for playing. A certain someone. 
Wait, there's a little bit more. Keep this letter. You never know when it will be useful. Do not dispose of or eat this document. Wait, there's a star on it. There was another place we had a star. Under the notation. But it wasn't a notation like this. There it is. On the ocean, wait 60 seconds. Huh. That's the only other place there's that star. This definitely isn't the last puzzle in here, though. There's got to be a lot more. We haven't even found all the fairies yet. How do you know it's said on the ocean? I don't. It's just ocean. The image. So wait 60 seconds was on there. 60 seconds. I'm guessing it means 60 seconds. But it was a picture of an ocean, right? So on the water, maybe? On the ocean? Yeah, the game was made by one person. Yeah. Dip the letter in water for 60 seconds? Hell yeah. Let me just go dunk my computer one sec. We'll see if it works. It's a good idea, right? Right in the bathtub. Have you tried eating the paper for 60 seconds? Oh, I'm on it. It's also a very good idea. I love this art, too. It's quite cool. That was a fun one, dude. That was a fun one. Do you have all the pages now? I'm pretty sure I have them all. I don't think I'm missing any now. I might be, but I don't believe I am. Because I had to use almost all of them for that. Wait a Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This looks like a line going here, there, 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 there. Yeah. Nah, chat. That is liquid on that page. Thor clearly needs to butterfly on it. Also, Why are you like this? Thor, this was the puzzle I was referring to earlier, and like I expected, you loved it. It oh, was so fun seeing you solve it less than three. didn't work. Why didn't that work? It's a little bit weird. You would think to start here, wouldn't you? I'm thinking of going from here, up, right, down, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, right. Maybe I should go backwards. Left. Didn't work. Maybe there's another one somewhere else. Ah, wait a minute. There's this rock over here. Okay, let's think about this. That one doesn't work. Because that one would be aligned with this one. How would that even function? And then that one, I think, is aligned with this one up here. How does that even work? Because then you'd have to choose this direction or that direction. I think they're aligned with each other. 
They're not. They're not actually aligned with each other at all. This one's not aligned with anything. Because it would be right here. Top right corner can't be aligned with anything either because it's all the way out of the way. That one aligns with it, but it's through the wall. Maybe that's fine. Let's try it. Screwed it up. Might not matter, but it's not working, so... Nope. Doesn't work, even with that extra one. Maybe it's a puzzle of what's not there? Maybe. Maybe this one doesn't count. Is wall a breakpoint? I tried it as the wall as a breakpoint. Didn't work. Start at top right. I could try that. Maybe it's just trees? They're not... I don't even know if they're trees. They look like stones. Normally what you would do in all the other ones is you start at a central point. The central point is like a circle. And that's this, right? So I'd expect that to be it. So up, right, down, left, up, right, up, left, down, left, up, right. Doesn't work. Yeah, I think there's snowy rocks. Why is this one not working? What did I get wrong here? Yeah, this is not the first solo dip. Not at all. I'm gonna eat a food. I have a food. Actually, I'm going to try one more time. Then I'm going to need a food. Nope. Maybe one more. Nope. Now I'm going to need a food. One sec. Food! Sitting here typing while I'm trying to eat. Got it. I got it. This one right here counted as a break. So it's double tap. And then we had to go to the one on the bottom over here. Nice. Eating a crunch rat. Delicious crunch rat. Very tasty. Trap is delicious, and it's from Taco Bell. Have you ever played the game Fez? Yes, and I loved it. I'm very sad there's not going to be a Fez 2, but I understand why.
It was a beautiful game. One of the most beautiful games I'd ever played. Keep eating this. Jeanette, thank you very much. It's delicious. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. That big flower is the start point, isn't it? Sure as hell looks like it. Let me think about this. Dude, this thing happens at, like they're, they're everywhere, man. I'm like trying to eat. My mouth is full of crunch wrap. And I'm like walking through an environment. I see this damn thing. Ugh. How does this one work? I think we can go left, up, right, up, right, left. No, that one doesn't fit. Let's think about this. It seems easy, but this isn't really aligned correctly. Yeah, you just start noticing them everywhere, man. Yeah, I think it's probably going to be up, and then left, right, down, this way, that way, that way, that way, this way, down, yeah, okay. So we're going to do up, left, down, left, down, right, wait, no, I screwed that up. Up, left, down, left, down, left, down, left, up, right, down, right, right, down, right. There you go. Pink is a start. Yeah, big dot is always start. We don't have very many left. Holy moly. No, he didn't. So, Sprinkles, it's not just that. It's not because of arguing on Twitter. I think that's that's kind of painting it in a very incorrect light. It's a bit more than that. How's the game going? See, this game, this game is amazing, dude. I'm eating a Crunchwrap Supreme and solving puzzles with one hand. Look at this puzzle we did. It's crazy. This stream is sponsored in part by Zultra Technologies. Hell no. <laughs> Zultra Technologies is the leading manufacturer of the most advanced adult diapers on the market. <laughs> With our new light up adult diapers, you can find you the old people in your life even in the dark. Zultra Technologies, making tomorrow Zultra today. Lord, you almost killed me. I literally had a crunch wrap in my mouth and I was swallowing it when Brian said diaper. And it almost came out my nose. The cheese sauce did. Oh, my God. All right. I'm not dead. By the way, Steets, I've been doing the side recording on this thing the entire time. I don't know if it'll work or not. We'll find out. With all the audio channels and everything. Yeah, no, I absolutely remembered. Okay. Hello. I ate one of them. The other one is can be yours. You can have it. 
Shay is pillaging the other Crunchwrap Supreme. Goodbye, Shay. <laughs> it's good seeing you. Yeah, there's two. I have something in my mouth. What if I did this and my whole face peeled off? What would you do? East Forest. East Forest. I think I have to go back into... I have to go into the gold tablet for this. I don't even know where I'm at. Old house. What even is in the old house? Ads. Don't worry. You're not going to miss anything. It's just me moving around. Let's see. This place is so neat, dude. The fact that it has all of these. Like the little things that you turn in. All of them are there. Like, like all this stuff is here. Oh, what's that? What? Oh, you can just sleep in it. Oh, that's really nice. That's actually really nice. Wait, it's daytime now. Oh, you can... Can you switch? Has anyone told you you look like a fully evolved form of Michael Reeves? Are, are you saying that Michael Reeves isn't evolved? It's incredibly rude. This is sick. Wait a minute. Does that mean that I can get back to the quarry? Is it only like this during the night? You ate half instantly, Shay? Nice. Well, no, no one's ever said I look like a fully evolved form of Michael Reeves. It's quite damn funny, to be honest with you. Oh, man. I changed it back tonight. Wait. There's flowers again. Okay, they don't align. They don't seem to align with anything. I'm looking for patterns everywhere now. I'm same. There's flowers all up in here. <laughs> Goddamn puzzle. I love how my fire sword just spreads. Look at that. It's actually terrifying, to be honest, because it'll kill me in one hit. So it said that the other one was in this location. in the East Forest. And there's another one in the Fortress of the Eastern Vault. Actually, there's two in the East Forest. One of them we know is going to be that big golden statue thing. This. And I've been collecting the pieces for that. That's... We've got that. I've got two of the pieces over on the right monitor right now. So we've got that in place. But what I don't have is a lead on what this next one is. The other one. Is this game doing good on sales? Dude, if it's not, I'm going to be sad. Hmm. 
Maybe we have to come back here during the day. We can also go to the quarry during the day, because I can't get in there during the night. That might be the way. Maybe the day actually allows you to come back into this place. Oh? What are you? What are you, secret chest? There's a secret that I've never seen. Aha. You. What is she doing with her hands? Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, down, left, up, right. to go over there. Hmm. Let's go back and watch her again. Maybe I have to do it when this is open. wait for it. Go to her? I don't know if I can. I might be able to. Let's wait and see. Yeah, I'm gonna see if we can get over there to her. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Shooting off guns. Yeah, we might need to get to her. Which I don't know how. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think I can get up anymore. Wait, is that a bomb door? Nope. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Super nice of you. There we go. Thank you very much. Up, down, up, down, right, left, right. Oh, wait, no, it's that's wrong. It's up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, down. Got it. Hell yeah. Got one. So that's one of the two for this area. The other one's going to be the golden box, which we don't have everything for yet. Fortress of the Eastern Vault, and then a couple of things that we don't know, and the secret gathering place. All right, getting there. Yeah, it's a, it's a tuning fork thing, like a big golden statue. It's broken up into bits, and all the bits are gone, right? And we found two of them, but there's definitely more bits that are out there in the world, and I have to take all those bits and take pictures of them, and then we can go and pull them up. think. Let's go back here, and I'll make it daytime and try to go to the quarry. Oh wait, that's not what I want to do. way that we need to 
do this is we need to go to the old house and sleep. And then we can find out if maybe... Maybe during the day, the horrible black corruption garbage isn't there. I don't know yet. We're going to find out. Hello, I am a wizard with one HP. Also, I have a gun. It's fine during the day. We can go back to the quarry now. Okay. Now we're on to something. The quarry one is finished, that must have been the stones one. But we can go back to the East Forest, we can go to the Fortress of the, For of the Eastern Vault again, too. I'm gonna go to the Fortress of the Eastern Vault. Watch out, he's got a gun! Yeah, we can go to the end of the stairs as well, too, that's true. Man, I blasted them. I'm terrifying. I'm a terrifying teleporting wizard of death. God, I'm horrifying, dude. <laughs> no escape. No escape. I die in one hit, but so do they. That's the build. Okay, let's see. This is probably going to be what it is. What is this going to be? I th you thought I finished? I did not. It could be the lines. Could be the lines. But it seems kind of unlikely. Because they don't really go in a flowing pattern in any way. Hmm. I did not yet, Critchley. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, is if it was that, it'd be the bright light area, right? But it doesn't do anything. It's only like four steps long, so... Right? At time, Zultra Technologies' new, most advanced senior adult diapers Feature the newest in wiper technology. Who made this? The wiper way? series will wipe your senior with an antibacterial solution as it's removed, making your senior ready for wiping. With innovative advancements in senior care technology, it's no wonder how Zultra Technologies is making a better tomorrow today. It's the worst. This is the worst ad I've ever heard in my life. And I've heard many ads in my life. Thor is an adorable, terrifying, Teleporting, wizard of death with one horsepower. This is how you know a fox is dangerous. Single horsepower? <laughs> oh my god. At time. Wet pasta. We are short ads.
No magic for you. Only magic for me. No magic for you. No magic for you. Yeah, single horsepower. Imagine a fox with the power of a horse, dude. It's not what you want. As long as HP is above zero, everything is fine. True. My HP can only be above zero. Or zero. Exactly one point above zero, technically. Tahoe Lumina, thank you for the prime subs. Very nice of you. Could this be? Could this be? There's a broken piece here. Maybe it needs to be down, left, down, right, down, left, down, right. No. It lit that bomb on fire, I'm terrified. Staying away from that. Yeah, my health only is two states right now, alive, dead. And I'm always really close to dead, you know? Needs to be restored? Can't be. I have a build right now that keeps me at 1 HP permanently. Artemer, gifting a tier 1 sub. That's very nice of you. I don't think this is the puzzle, and the reason why is these lines don't actually align with it in any way. I am going to follow the line, though. We're going to go in an dad, adventure dad line and see. Trailord said a thing. He said he's better at games than you, Dad. Punish him, Dad. <laughs> is it okay to call Zultra Lord Zultra now? Mr. Lord Zultra Lol. Kingdom Con, from now on, you have to call Zultra Lord dead. Only you, though. Nobody else. Zoltra Lord is now your father. That's right. Sorry to say. Let's go down here. It's gotta be somewhere in this zone. I just don't know where yet. So many coins, dude. Ah. I hate that one because I press down instinctively because I'm like, oh yeah, the next door is down. And then I walk back through the, the door for this and then I get stuck. Could be the candle clusters when looking in there? Maybe? I don't know. Wait a minute. Three, four, 
five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. That's really funny. Is that the only one from this place? It totally is. Unless those things up top are meaning that, which I don't know if they are or not. I did. I walked past it a ton of times, man. The solution? Here, look. That puzzle was lit. <laughs> puzzle was lit. Thank you for the 100 bits. This is one candle, two candles, three candles, four candles, uh, five candles is here, and then six candles is there. So you say right, left, down, right, up, left. And that's it. So we're still playing Tunic. How big is this game? Yes. We've got five left of these. East Forest, we know what that one is. Secret Gathering Place, we know what that one is. I don't know what the next one's going to be. We're going to have to go hunting because they're all obscured. I don't know what the language means. Eat it. You too, bud. If you're a wizard working the candles, you're a candelabra cadabra. I like that. It's quite funny, actually. Five left. Am I going to solve them, too? I'm going to try. I don't have any leads in this next one, so... think about this. We've got them at the secret gathering place, which we know where that is. The east forest is the big golden, you know, giant rune piece, basically. And then we have these other ones that I don't even know. One of them is... I already got one? Have you learned how to read yet? I have not. I have not learned how to read. I've done all of this without reading yet. Because I'm unable to read. It's great. I might be able to solve with the pieces that I do have. I might be able to solve with the pieces that I do have. For the large golden tablet. But I don't know. I don't think I have enough pieces for that to actually do it. Let's take a look at this. Poor streamer can't even read. I know. It's awful. It's very sad. We got five minutes left until the next ads, by the way. It's going to be a little bit. Thankfully. Let's go check this out. So this one... I actually solved a massive puzzle in this place. And the massive puzzle was actually... It was that I had to solve all the pieces around the outside edge, and then it activated a thing in the middle. And then I could use it as a teleporter. And I think that took me to... the statue thing? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I don't think there's any pieces in here, though. Wait, can I go in this? I can, but for what purpose? Crabs are way more terrifying. Father, this world is a terrifying place. Your use of binary life power is the only thing that is more terrifying at this point, Father. 
You are an immortal fox, father, and you hold in your grasp the power to end the universe. Nice. Father, your power exceeds that of the cosmos. The only thing holding you back is Zul Trailord. Zul Trailord is holding binds you to this mortal realm, father. You must break this tether if you are to become your ultimate self. Good luck. Why can't I do that? Father, you are almost there. Zoltra Lord can't stop me. Soon no one can. Thank you for the 145 bits. So I've been in here before. And I don't think there's anything else in this one. Because this was the great library. We only had one. So that's probably done. But this is great library during the day, so I thought I might as well check it. Yeah, this is the this is the one that I got right here. The creepy robot thing. It's weird. It's weird what you are. Hello. Come alive at night, I know it. Hmm. Can I get out of here? Oh, that's weird. Can I pray at this, maybe? Oh! Well, that's cool. <clears throat> Not today. You die. Come on. What? How dare you actually survive my attacks? Ever. How dare you survive any of my attacks? Disgusting. There's still secrets that I haven't found. Somebody tried to scam you with Bonsai Buddy? That's even- f that's funny, dude. That's actually just really funny, to be honest. Those are way scarier now. Like, way scarier. Because they kill me in one hit. Easy.
Got him. All right. I don't think there's anything else that's in here, man. There may not be anything in this place. Let's try this again. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Kind of at all. I think I may have solved everything in this place. What was that envoy hiding? That one was hiding a sticker, like a stamp from before. I managed to get it, so it was fine. That was ages and ages ago, so I got everything past him. Wait. What is this? That's definitely one. All right. Got it. Bam. Easy peasy. Hey, what's up? How are you guys doing? Thank you for the rating party of 32, man. What were you streaming today? Tell me about it. I've got four left. I got four left. Yeah, it's the flowers. It was the flowers. There's one of the chunks. I already have a picture of that chunk. I've never been here during the day. That's a new kind of enemy. And it's way nasty, too. Holy crap. That thing has a ton of health. What is that thing you found about 60 seconds in the ocean? I don't know yet. Yeah, I have no idea. I've never been over here during the day, uh, the day at all. Nothing here. Interesting. There's got to be some way through this. Yeah, Irish John. Thanks for the raid, though, man. Was working on some tutorial system for Rise of Piracy, but basically messing around, as we do on Saturday. Yeah, I like to play games on Saturday now, and we've been playing through this game Tunic all day today, and I'm trying to basically 100% it at this point. It's been freaking bonkers. It's an awesome game. Really, really good, dude. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. How long was Amori? Like 21 hours, 22 hours, something like that. That's how long I played that one. Problem is, today I have Dungeons and Dragons. So, I do eventually have to stop playing. Although not anytime soon. Got a couple more hours. I do. I got D&D &D today, man. Two hours left. Oh, 
What's your character in D&D? His name is Barnaby and he's a wizard. It's quite fun, to be honest with you. But how? I don't know. Wait a minute. What is that? I don't think I've been here before. Hey! A chest. A chest full of stuff. Wait. What? Is this a secret inside of a secret? No. Is he... He's totally walking the route, dude. He's walking the route of the puzzle. I just gotta wait and see what it is. Oh, he's walking diagonally, so this is gonna be the reset. Down. Down. Right. Up. Right. Down. Left. Right. Up. Right. Down. Down. And then he goes back. So down, down, right, up, right, down, left, down, right, up, right, down, down. There we go. Hell yeah. We did it. Can I kill him now? I wonder if I can. Can I reach him? Uh, <laughs> I can't reach him. Okay, that's another one done. But which one was that? I actually have no idea. We got one more and then we have to do the golden block. And then I know, I know where the secret gathering place is. That's where all the fairies show up at the, at the last thing. I did. Now, I got this one by accident because I was like, what is that in the waterfall? I wouldn't have gotten this one, but I literally, like, looked away and hit this. And it went behind there because we were talking about the block game server. Look at this. It's because of this. You see that little white, like, that light area? It looked weird. <laughs> that was it. So let's think about this. We have one more that needs to be solved, and it's a puzzle that I can't read. So I don't know what it is. I kind of want to do the secret gathering place one last, because that one is... Well, where the fairies are, right? Hydrate? Yeah, you're not, you're not wrong. I am still online. So... East Forest is the large gold block one. We don't have all the pieces. I've taken screenshots over the other monitor, but we haven't done that. That last... I don't know what that is, right? It's written weird. It's all done in the rune language, so I'm not really sure what it is. Hey, listen. You can't use this item right now. Hey, listen. You can't use this item right now. Uh, uh, how dare you. How, d how dare you come into my house and tell me the hey listen and give me the navy treat how dare you you're a smork dude you're like 10 smorks you know that it's true is the um is the block game server back up by the way it looks like it's up to me 
But I wanted to make sure that it's up, like, actually up for you guys. So, please let me know. <laughs> please. It's up, yes? Is everything running fine? Are all the monsters, like, the proper monsters and everything like that? I'm hoping so. Is it in the dark little cave? Maybe you can see more in the daytime? Maybe? I don't know what that says, though. And I feel like I need to start learning how to read the language. You know what I mean? Because I just haven't done it yet. There's very few areas that I haven't really checked yet, though. So, like, maybe I could just go check some of the areas that I haven't really looked at. That might be fine. Have I slept? No. No, I haven't slept yet. But that's fine. It's all right. Kicking some butts. Right? You know? A little bit... A little bit of butt kicking, a little bit of puzzle solving, a little bit of fun time, Seth. Oh. A little bit of my eyes burning, you know? It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We could do East Forest. So East Forest is the golden block. That's the golden block. And I don't know what that one is. I have no idea. Yeah, no clue. That being said, we might be able to guess it because I have two of the golden blocks and it looks like they were both on the river, so maybe we just need to follow the river. That might be it. That might be what we have to do. Hmm. That may be it. Let's go follow the river. Because the river is where all those chunks fell off, right? Because it fell from... Oh, where is it? It fell from the, the forest... And then it traveled along the river. The first chunk was there. We didn't see another chunk along this whole way. And then there's another chunk there. Maybe there's another chunk in here? Because we have this chunk. And we have the chunk that's like there. Right? The EXP bar is back with levels? Try killing monsters and see if it gives you, like, block game experience. Yeah, there was, like, a translation with the manual earlier. I just haven't done that yet. Problem is, is I'm trying to solve these right out of time. Where am I? I'm gonna go downwards. I solved this one. This was one of... I think this cube was one of the fairies? Yeah. The cube was one of the fairies. You need to find the Rosetta Stone that consists of the translated versions and the nicknames of Dave Ryder from Space Mutiny and <laughs> You're funny. You're ridiculous, dude. That's really funny, actually. Mm. Trying to think. Oh, just one of those would have killed me. There's a statue here. Interesting. When I hit their shield, they still burn. 
I didn't know that. That's actually really awesome. Okay, now I'm down here on the beach. What's in here? Did I go in here before? I did. I think this is where I saw the first fairy. I'm pretty sure this is the first fairy room, wasn't it? The very first one that I found? Was it a fairy? Or was it just something else? Wait a minute. We talked about this before. We were going to take the invisible path and turn it into a puzzle. Hold up. Yeah, no, it's totally going to be one. No, 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 the invisible path, dude. It's a square. If we use the entrance of the doorway, it would be up, left, down. Wait, now let me do it again. Up, left, down, left, up, right, down, up. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So... What was that? Was that horrible noise? Stop that. It's making sounds while I do that. It's really off-putting and weird. Got it. I had to see the path in my head. And I think I was doing the sinking spell on accident. That's very funny. Yeah, I think I was use I think I was doing the seeking spell instead. I had to close my eyes and see the path in my head or I wasn't gonna be able to do the damn thing. <laughs> seeking spell is um it's one of the spells that, like, summons a bunch of little fairy, golden fairy things. It's this right here. I think it was accidentally doing that. That right there. See, look at him go. Wait a minute, does the seeking spell actually show me where the puzzles are? Oh, it totally does. Oh, dude. I didn't even use it for that the whole time. We have like two of these damn things left. Oh wait, maybe it's just maybe it's just taking me back here. I think it's just taking me back here, guys. It totally is. So this one is the secret gathering place. But I guess that's only one of the last two, right? So you got me. <laughs> oh, so with this one I have to read the things on the walls. That's all it is. Clueless Cloud, you're a clueless cloud. No, not that. There it is. That's really hard to see, but I have to watch it to match it for the other one on the other side. I think that's all I have to do. You're five clueless clouds, by the way. How dare you? How dare? 
How dare you enter my home and call me a clueless clown? How dare you? Are these both... No, these are not the same, are they? Oh, wait, they are. Okay, they're the same, which means that I could use this to read it. Right? Yeah. Okay, that'll totally work. So... Okay, so that's not correct. I was super, super close to that. Down, right, up, right, up, right, up, left, up, left, up, right, up, right, up, left, down, left, down. Right, down, left, down, right, down, right, up, right, down. I guess I screwed it up in the middle there. Down, right. Got it. We've done it! One fairy left. One goddamn fairy. One fairy left! And I know which one it is. It's the one where we actually have to go and do the gigantic golden garbage blob that is somehow in the lake, I guess. I have two pieces, two chunks of it that I've taken pictures of. But those chunks don't take up the entirety of the thing, which is not good. So... All I have to do is find the last piece. And I know it's out there. I just don't know where. Eat it. That's not where it is. Did I ever dip the manual in the water? No. I don't think you even can, right? What? How many times do I have to attack that thing before it actually gets attacked? Okay, I guess never? Can that one not be attacked with a sword? That's weird. All the other ones could. It doesn't appear that I can attack those with a sword anymore. And I don't actually know why. That's really weird, actually. I can shoot him with a gun, but I can't attack him with a sword. A little bit weird.
never went over here. What is this? A bracer? Okay. Sick. Never got that. That's new. Don't know yet. Hmm. Hmm? I'm gonna go try to solve with the two pieces that I have. I don't know if it'll be enough, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, Directive Athena, it's actually quite good. It's amazing, honestly. The ad is here. How many pieces am I missing? What I think is just one. It looks like it's just one chunk, and it's like the corner piece, right? I'm gonna see if I can pull up the logs for block game, by the way. I wanna see what's going on with this. It might just be one, yeah. Yeah, I don't know who's doing it. We'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. I have two so far. I think there may be one more. I think there might be one more. I'm not sure. It may be more than one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go to the Land of the Dead. My guess is it's not actually on the map I'm currently on, because they've pretty much scoured this place at this point, right? So I think it's time to really start looking at the other ones. And I probably just overlooked it, to be real with you. This game is a manual, like in-game? Yes. How do I get down below? I need to get down below... And I don't know if I can. Can you not get down below unless it's nighttime? That might be the issue. Because I don't think I can get down there any other way. Was there a ladder on the right? Yeah, the waterfall foam looks really good, dude. Ah, you're totally right. I missed this, dude. Sick. I don't think that's going to make it, man. No, I can't get over there. 
Oh, wait. I got it. Yeah, we're good. There's another one. That was easy. <laughs> that is not all of it, though. That is definitely not all of it. Shit. Because I have this one, I've got that, and then I've got this. So it's definitely not all of it yet. Because we need a top piece. You know, top piece with like a corner on it. Maybe one more? My guess, maybe? Ugh. Yeah, it's probably going to be like a piece with like a, like a top L, is my guess. Let's try getting out of here. I looked on the map where there's golden markings, and it doesn't have it. Because this one has a golden marking, but then this one down here does not, because it's right, it's right there, right? Huh. Yeah, it's not on the map. It's just unmarked, right? I remember that you came across that last piece. Do you remember where? <laughs> I'll find it again, don't worry. I just have to look in places I wasn't already looking. The problem was is I was looking always in the same spots, so... Maybe it's in that, like, dark zone. I'll go up there. Stream for 15 hours. So I'm over by the entrance to Dark Tomb now. I know there's like some broken up stone bits up here, but I don't see anything that it could be. Also, I'm trying to look to see if Block Game is still imploding itself. Hmm. No, it's still having trouble. I'm going to have to find out what the hell's going on with the server, man. I think somebody's messing with it, like, purposely. Tried to look in West Guardian yet? I did. There was a piece there. Oh, somebody's just crashing the server's ultralong. That's all. We'll figure it out. It's not a biggie. Seem to be over here. Quarry? No, I never. So, Quarry is really dark. I never saw any gold when I was in there. Yeah, we only have three pieces. I don't know how many pieces there actually are. Actually, I have no idea. I have three. There could be five, six. I, I don't know. I have no clue. I'm going to start that server back up. Failed to start server. This node is currently offline. Actions cannot be performed on it. Please contact support. So our server node is now offline. Maybe it's on their side? It might actually be on their side, the issue. Yeah, our node is dead. Yeah, it might be on their end. The server kept going down over and over, but it, it looked like something was taking it down. I wonder if something took it down so hard that it's just gone. <laughs> or like the node went down. Hmm... I'm not sure. Yeah, it's probably from them. 
That'd be my guess. I can't hit those. Why can't I hit undead? And why can't I hit robots? You notice that? Something's wrong. Like, my weapons don't work on them. And I don't know why. It's like I'm doing so much damage that the game won't let me do it. Might be immune to the god sword magic. That might be true. Yeah, no, uh, I can't attack robots. Like, the, the turrets with my sword goes right through them. Doesn't work. Wait a minute. Maybe the Ash Trinket? The Ash Trinket makes it so that my mana, or my health potions turn into mana potions. I don't think that's related. Or at least I doubt that's related, you know. Back off. Somewhere, man. Have you restarted the game since encountering this problem? No. I have not. I died. Ah! You think the peace was here? You remember a lot of islands? But where? Let me check the server again. Yeah, it looks like the node is still completely dead. I'm going to send a ticket to support real fast. See if we can fix that. Looks like that. All right. That should do that. That should do that. All righty. Emails out. What the hell? <laughs> Nobody wants game bar. I pressed the Xbox button and it just blew up a whole bunch of garbage on my screen.
Wait a minute. What if it was right near the other one? Yeah, watch this. Can't hit it. Literally does no damage. Like, I can't attack them. The only thing I can hit them with is the magic. So something is definitely wrong. I can't attack undead, and I can't attack those turrets. It's like I'm doing too much damage for it to work. Is it in the daytime? They only exist, like, during this time. So yeah, it seems like a bug. And before speedrunners analyzing your VOD to find out how you get into this state, that's true. It's really weird. It's definitely a super strange one. I don't actually understand how it's happening, so... Fire damage immunity? I mean, I'm still hitting him with a sword, right? gonna die. Your sword now deals fire, fire damage? It does fire damage extra? So I wouldn't expect it to do like full fire damage? Maybe it does? I don't know. That might be the issue. That is a little bit weird. It's not what I expected, but you know, maybe that is how it works. Get bad. So there's the second chunk that I found. Dude, connect to one that is, I'm actually fighting. Come on. Come on, game. There we go. Yeah, it's really kind of an oddity. Maybe it's over this one? Nope. So that's not it. Yeah, the right trigger does, but sometimes it doesn't allow you to cycle. Sometimes it doesn't, you know, it doesn't think you can cycle. It's kind of a weird thing. There's like weird problems with the cycling on it. Well, I'm trying to think. Maybe we can just try it without the piece. No, it's probably going to be, like, wicked complex. It could have, like, extra blocks. There'd be no way to solve it. There'd be absolutely no way to solve this. Hmm. Oh, how do I get down there? Actually... Where am I? Oh, that was weird. I think I teleported past the door. That's kind of funny. Let's do this. Now I have an idea. That was a small path you talked about? I'm going to follow the river down this way. And see if maybe the chunk... Hey guys, I found the chunk. Hey guys. Hey, hey guys. The chunk. I found it. There it is. Alright. It's funny as hell. <laughs> oh man. God damn. 
some chunks. Chunks in my river! Turn it back to nighttime. <laughs> We're almost there. I've almost done it. I've almost 100% completed this in a single setting. Sitting? Setting? We're almost there. Are you looking for a golden chunk? Not anymore. Got it. It's my golden chunk now. Is it this one? I don't remember if it was this one or not. With some minor exceptions? It was not this one. This was the mistake. It's the one that floated away. I remember now. It's this one. We still have to beat the boss. I still gotta beat the boss. Oh! Alright. Alright. I don't like that. I don't like that. That's fine. It's fine. You want to be that way? Drink some mana real fast. Not that I... Rude! Sir. That is rude, crude, and socially unacceptable. You, get out of here. You, get out of here. Absolutely outrageous. You, you too. Okay, that is for that. I just wanted to kill all those because it was fun. Yeah, I have the 60 second thing still too. Which I'm not quite sure how that works. Figure it out. Wait, can I not do this during the day? Or during the night? I might not be able to do this during the night. I may actually have to do this during the day. Unless I can go down this, I might be able to go down this. Ah, I can do this. <coughs> Blah! Haba! Yo, dog. I heard you liked bits. Happy birthday, Thor. How dare you? How dare you, sir? All right. Let's let's align our powers. Let me think about this. I'm gonna take all these take all these chunks. I gotta like rotate them. Let me. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build a masterpiece on my other monitor real fast. I'm building it. I'm building. I'm building a beautiful, beautiful masterpiece. Okay, it's going to be. We did it! It's the final one. It's the final one. I get close to these damn blocks now. Be gone, blocks. Be gone. All of you MS Paint instances. I'm done with you. What happens now? What? What happens now? Even they don't know what to do. They're just leaving. Let's go over to the, uh... Let's go to the... The fairies now. Am I still missing pages? No. I don't think so. I, I don't believe I'm missing any pages. It's scary how good you are with inputting this stuff. Honestly? I think it's probably because I've been practicing it this entire time. 
How am I stuck on that? That's weird. Am I winning? A little bit. I need a bath? Yes. Yes. How many pages do you have? I don't know, but we solved the one where I required like a billion pages, so that was the thing. Alright. What was I doing? Fairies. Yeah, the 60 seconds one I haven't done yet. But that requires me to, I guess, sit in water for 60 seconds? Maybe with the map open? I don't know yet. Were there? No, this is the other one. That is the other one. Where is this one? Damn, we're still playing? Yes, I've solved all the fairies now. I'm at that bridge. I need to go to the other bridge, which is this bridge. This is again the wrong bridge. There's too many bridges. There's water here if I want to try. It's not deep enough. I think it needs to be like deep. Aw oh, man, during the night time there's no... Oh wait, I can do this. Oh, it's totally fine, never mind. There's like no ladder. But I think we can just do that. This is the wrong- Where are the fairies? I don't remember where they are now. I thought they were inside of a bridge. God damn it. I thought they were inside of a bridge. That's like all the bridges. Is it not- Is it- Is it this one? No. Where are they? Is it that? Is that little tiny weird thing? Take me to the fairies! <laughs> oh no! Oh. I don't remember where they are. All is lost, dude. I feel like they were down here. Right? Right? I don't know what this is, but I'm in it now. I found a plant. I don't know, Zoltra Lord. I have no idea. Right now, I don't even know my own name, dude. Game Maker? For database access? I don't know. You could do it over secure web sockets. That I know. Your name is Cheese? It's probably true. Alright. I need to find out where these fairies are. Because I don't remember. Where are they? Why do I feel like they were in this? Are they in that? Are you there? I feel like they were in the waterfall. And then that waterfall? Is that the one? I think it's that waterfall. Next to the dark tomb? I'm pretty sure it's next to the dark tomb. I don't know why I thought they were under a bridge. But I did. Hello. Yeah, they're in a waterfall. Alright. I cannot wait to go see what happens when I have all of these. There we go. Okay. Trolls live under bridges, not fairies. Fairies are trolls. It's true. 
Oh, they gave me another chest. Spring Falls. A little gold thing. And that's it. We did it. Well, the last thing now is to make my character stronger. Or try over and over again to kill, well, that. And that's kind of scary. So we're going to do it. I don't have any more coins. I don't have any more coins at all. Ads? All right, good. I'm going to I'm gonna chill for a minute. What do I think? I need to switch this out. Can't do this. I need to find out what the bracer does. Oh, and the water thing. Yes, and the water thing. What is that symbol? It's defense, but also something down. Right? At time, Zultra Technologies' new, most advanced senior adult diapers feature the newest in wiper technology. This the wiper worst. series will wipe your senior with an antibacterial solution as it's removed, making your senior ready for wiping. With innovative advancements in senior care technology, it's no wonder how Zultra Technologies is making a better tomorrow, today. Who made you this way? Is Aura's gem more magic damage? And minus weapon damage? I don't know what that is. Fire and no hearts. Magic echo. No idea what it does. Dagger strap. No clue. Scavenger's Mask is great. Yeah, no spoilers. No spoilers. I just don't know what that symbol is. And then also... 60 seconds water. Shh. We need to find some deep water. Or maybe, maybe it's a reference to Earthbound, where you have to sit behind the waterfall for 60 seconds? Maybe that. I don't know. Not to spoil anything, but 60 seconds equals one minute. Uh, that is true. That is, that is actually true. It was, Earthbound's was three whole minutes, and it was awful, by the way. It doesn't mention the ocean, it actually just shows an image of water, right? Did you find the last gold thing? I did. So we're doing the water now. Yeah, Earthbound's, Earthbound's thing of, of sit behind the waterfall for three whole minutes was hilarious, dude. Have we figured out how the language works yet? No, not yet. I think I might be too tired for that. Maybe. The deepest water that I know is here. On a pathway in which you walk through water. Did you sleep, sleep last? I don't know. Forever ago. This is the deepest water I know of. Do we just have to sit here and wait?
Look for a star? It said shh. Wait a minute. I probably can't see it. Because I'm not wearing the muffling bell. Where could the ocean be? I don't think this counts. This is wet too, but I don't think it's... I don't think it's this. What are you doing? I don't know where they are. You having allergy problems? Yeah, check the bathroom. Actually, Shay, that bag over there. Hey, look, it's my corpse. Nice. The muffling bell lets you be quiet. So if the thing, if the hint is saying shh, then that's what I'm thinking it would work with, right? My favorite torrenting site? None of them, dude. I don't torrent in anything. I know that may seem weird. Seeing as I'm pirate software. But yeah, I don't. No, legit those sprinkles. Stop trying to give hints, man. All the mods have been doing this. Mods aren't on a power trip. They were told to do that. So, cut it out. Okay, this is pretty deep. I think this is the deepest of any of the water that I've seen so far. I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and see. Are those stairs going down in the water? Maybe. I'm not moving though, because if I moved. Yeah, over on the right side, they are. Yeah, they are. I feel like this has probably been more than 60 seconds. I know exactly where it is. Should have looked at the front page. Yeah, I know exactly, exactly where it is. Let me in! We simply read the book.
Oh, out of energy. Feels bad, man. right there. And now we wait. And now we wait. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's got thunder. Thunder and lightning, dude. Come on. Has it been 60 seconds left yet? This is like the longest 60 seconds of my life, dude. I guess that's true. It is. It's a long time, man. Oh, I'm sure this is the right spot. Yeah, it's done 60 seconds. Because if you look at this, see that right there? That is this. That's what this is. So I don't know, man. What? What? <laughs> Where did it go? I don't understand. What in the name? What? What in the wadding what? What? It says shh. No? I don't understand. Shh. Shh. It's just gone. The puzzle's hint disappeared. This right here... It showed this location is just missing now. I'm super confused. Maybe that means that this step is completed? Oh, it's back. Why is it back? What?
So, if we're actually taking a look at this now. It has hexagon, like hexagonal bonus, or borders around it. And then it has an interior that looks like it can do up to six points. I don't actually know how that ties in. Additional support and secrets. This could actually mean anything. I have one hour left before I have to go to D&D. I am going to kill the boss. I'm going to try to kill the boss in the hour. That's my plan. I don't know how to solve this one just yet. And it is going to require me to solve the language, which is probably going to take me more than an hour. Just a heads up, we're gonna have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. Oh. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. All right. No idea what it'll do. My Probably is ready. nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst I would not case, like the translation some of that. Tumors, Thank you, though. Which we'll cut out. It sounds bad. Let's do it. Alright, so... I would like to do this, do that, do this, and do those two like that. So I'm going to be very, very tanky this time. We're going to look at my magic. Magic is pretty good. It's in a really good spot. We're going to save this. We're gonna go forward and go fight the boss. I don't think attacking her with a sword makes a lot of sense. I think attacking her with a gun really makes a lot of sense. Zultre Lord is a meme. It's true. Yes, I'm once again firing back at Zultre Lord. He still didn't respond to my taunts from earlier, the coward. Oh, damn. I was, like, spamming the button and it didn't do it. That one's bad. Come on. What is that? Holy shit. New attack. Mess that up. Got her at half. You won't, will you? 
No, you won't. It would be too easy. I understand now. Didn't know she had a round two. It makes sense though, last boss. Get all the fairies? Yeah, I got all 20. Now understand, I don't even have all the upgrades either. I need them, but I can't find the damn things. Oh, that's a shit start. She didn't do that last time. <sighs> that attack is really hard to dodge because you don't know where it's actually coming from. Nah, I'm just gonna die here. I don't have enough potions to go through with it. Maybe not? Yeah. They don't have enough potions to go through with it. She used different moves that time. Ones that we never actually saw. We never saw the the triple hit like that. The uh, the triple blast wave on the first round. That never happened last time. So it looks like there's different weight, like weapon, like stuff she can do based on the encounter. Which is really weird. Does she keep her moves from the second form after you die? No. So her second form did four explosions. Her first form did three, but the first time I fought her, she didn't do the three explosions in the first form. So, like, something's definitely wrong there. Or, not wrong, but it's RNG, right? Like, it's obviously RNG. How do you exit Ghost form? It's a secret. I hate that move. Jesus Christ, it's like all of my health, dude.
What? Die. I can't even see the too much wiggling shit on the screen. Dodging all that is rough, dude. Wait. Is she actually dead? Come on. I think that's it. But now what? Wait. That's what it means. Sometimes when you win, you lose, guys. Well, feels bad. What a beast, commigrations on beating the game. This is the end, right? The end is never the end, is never the end. It's never the end, Leon. feel like that's the only ending. I don't feel like that's the only ending at all. Oh, there's the power-up symbol. We got that. I did, I found the fairy fountain. <laughs> there was a bug in the text there, it was quite funny. As Tunic was sliding up, it was shifting up and down. <laughs> funny little stuff like that. Did you get all the pages? I'm pretty sure I got all the pages. I got all the fairies. Got all the pages. 
Yeah, some bugs are just... I notice them and no one else will ever notice, right? It's because I make games. That's how it is. That was legitimately phenomenal. The puzzle design was fantastic. The gameplay was very fun. The physics were iffy and shitty at times, but I expect that from an action or like an action adventure, to be honest with you. Power ups were interesting. The fact that the game tells you effectively nothing while hinting you in the right direction at the same time. It's very, very good. But I think the thing that's so interesting about this game is that you could probably only ever play it once. Because the moment you understand how the whole world works, it never works the same way again. That's it. You experience it, and then it is done. That's phenomenal. Really, really good. Now I just gotta figure out the 60 second thing I do. What do you mean, New Game Plus? What is New Game Plus? What is that? What do you mean, most items? Do I keep my crown? Okay, I got my little lantern. Oh no, I have to dodge like a plebeian again. It took my crown away. No! No! But it left me with my gun? I can have my gun. But I can't have my crown. Mm. Uh. I don't even have magic yet. It's quite funny. <sighs> well, everyone, I believe that's it. We've done it. Oh, this is weird. You can do the true ending now, I think. I'd have to play through everything all over again become powerful. It does look like it took away none of my power-ups. It just took away my crown. Well, Cardboard Cowboy, I just did a 15-hour long stream in which I beat all of Tunic in one sitting, and I found all of the secret fairies in it. I believe it copied my save, and if it didn't, then next time I play this, I'll do it again. Is it 16 hours? Bananas. Actually, bananas. Answer the question. What are you still doing on? I have no idea. We just ended. It finally happened. So now I'm just kind of standing here. Getting another stick. In any case... We did it, guys. That was a fantastic game. You should buy this game. I'm going to link this in chat. Tunic. Go buy this video game. Legitimately, go buy this game. This game is freaking fantastic, dude. Absolutely amazing.